YouTube, welcome back to another gummy versus real food challenge. It's been a long time since I've done it, a couple months. You guys really enjoy it. Today is episode number eight. That's right, you guys really love it that I had to make eight episodes of this, and you guys requested this constantly. Here we go, you know how it works. We have different rounds, each round gets a little bit weirder and weirder, and then we're gonna see. We're just gonna see. All right, here we go, round number one. As always, I don't know what's underneath here, so I will be just as surprised as you guys will be. So, I guess here we go, let's check it out. We have here, okay, that's cool. We have a gummy controller. Like, uh, I guess it looks like a PS4 controller. It can be whatever you want. And then we have here, a PS4 controller. What the heck? I don't even have a PS4, that is insane. Does it turn on? Pretty awesome, dude. I haven't held one of these in forever. I gotta um, taste test and see if it tastes delicious or does not. So let's start with the gummy controller. Cherry, it looks like cherry, but I might be wrong. It might be watermelon or blueberry. Mm. Yup. If this was actually a controller, I would be eating this and playing at the same time. I'm playing some Call of Duty and eating this. It's really tough. Like, it's really hard to chew. It's like a boomerang. It kind of looks like a boomerang. <sighs> it's gonna break my jaw if I keep doing this. And I was correct. It is cherry flavored. Use it as a weapon, for real. Hey, you! Oh, snap. That's not good. That is not good. That is insane. You can see where it struck. It struck here on the uh, L1, L2s. I'm telling you, this thing is really tough. It's really hard for me to like even get that little piece because it's so thick, so hard. This is what it did. It went like, whoop. I can just put that there. I feel like that's a cool little design. So I'm just going to leave that there. There we go. It's like nothing ever happened, you know? See, it doesn't look like there's a hole in there, so. That thing tasted delicious. Let's see how a regular PS4 controller tastes like. Here we go. Tastes like plastic. Here, let me try uh, just the joystick, because it's a little bit squishier than the, uh, the actual plastic here. Ooh, that tastes a little bit bitter. I think I broke it. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh dear. All right, I'm gonna have to give the winner to the cherry one because it was a little bit hard to, to eat. At least it had flavor. This one just tastes like straight up bitter. If you want this controller, comment down below. I'll sign it, I'll give it out, I don't mind. Round two. Oh, hello there, welcome to round two. Okay, let's see what we have for round number two. Remember, each round gets weirder and weirder. The controller was weird already, but it is cool. Let's see what we have here. What is soap? Oh, it's a flower! Look at that. We have a cute little flower, right? I am a water! Oh, shoot. All right, well, we have these flowers. Let's check out what is in here. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to eat some flowers. A gummy flower. Let's check it out. Oh, it has like a little bit of watermelon flavor. That's pretty cool. They need to invent a watermelon flower. This is delicious, dang. Wow! Woo! I'm gonna be like a, I guess like a bumblebee, cause bumblebees eat flowers, right? What kind of flower is this? Is this real? Oh, it is real! I smell it, it smells delicious. But does it taste delicious? Ah! Ah! It tastes like a perfume store, like, ah! This thing tastes like a combination of a perfume store and a soap store. So it kind of tastes like soap, but then it has the fragrance of perfume. So I'm gonna have to give the winner to the watermelon Gummy flower. Round three. Okay, round number three. What's round number three have in store for us? Here we go. Bam. Oh no, let's close it back up because I'm not trying to eat that today. I'm trying to fix this hole. All right, there you go. I think that's good enough, right? I don't think it's gonna fall. It's pretty stable right now. Put a snake tongue. Oh my gosh, not again. What'd you give me? This is a tongue. This is straight up a tongue. I've eaten this before. What, what kind of tongue is this? What animal? Human tongue? No, 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 no. Why is this round number three? Ew, what is that? Look at that. Ah! Ah! Look at the bottom of this. Look at that. You see the follicles coming out? It kind of looks like a foot. Like, ah, look at my boots. There's a snake in my boots. Get it? Because there's a snake over there. <laughs> All right, I really hope that's delicious. I'm going to enjoy this while I can. Very delicate. We have a snake tongue looking thing. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. Mm hmm it's good, it has like a, like a sour apple feel to it. It's pretty good. Mm. This is good, this is like, 
the tastiest thing I've had in this video. So sour apple flavored tongue. Delicious! Now we have this tongue from whatever uh, creature this is from. What is this up here? This is a tongue. Is that the tonsils? Should I eat it from back here where the spiky things are? Comment down below. Spiky thing? Alright, alright, let's do it. Alright, wish me luck! Is this safe to eat? <laughs> It tastes like pork, but liver. If you've never had pork liver, people like pork liver sometimes, but I don't like the, the texture of it. It's like all uh, soft and like uh, the flavor is like all dark. I don't know, man, but this is what's inside the tongue if you guys are wondering. Oh, what, what was that? You want me to eat the other part? This part? Okay, sure. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Just the fact I'm, I'm eating a tongue, it's like imagine eating your own tongue, that's what it feels like. Definitely gross. I'm gonna have to give the winner to the Gummy Tonga. Gummy Gummy Tonga. Hey, what's well, good? Round four. Bam. Okay, all right, we have a, uh, I guess that is a gummy, a fruit roll up. For you guys who don't know what a fruit roll up is, it's this thing where you unwrap it. It's a really delicious thing, to be honest. And then you just eat it. It's just a really flat layered, Kind of like tape. So I'm pretty sure what's under there is tape. And then we have tape. <laughs> we have the tape. All right, that's cool too. Here we got we have some tape. Let's do this. I guess it's gummy tape. We can call this gummy tape. Mmm. Mmm, that's delicious. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna just enjoy it while I can. Remember when I said the tongue was the most delicious thing in this video? I lied, I take that back. This is very, very good. It takes a while to eat though, because it just gets stuck in your teeth. But the flavors just keep magnifying, because it's just soaking up your teeth and giving you cavities. It's so good. I've never tasted tape before. Let's see what it tastes like. As you can see, it's tape, non-adhesive side, and this is the adhesive side, see? I guess I'm just eating adhesive. Mmm, mmm. <laughs> I've never tasted tape, but it's not bad. Mmm. 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 All gone. That wasn't that bad, actually. That was kind of good. That was kind of good. Um, this is the final round. Um, if you want us to do another one, and if you guys really, really want another one, let's get this video to three likes. All the other stuff is being shipped at the moment, so this is the only gummies we have at the moment, and we figured we'd film it and then do another episode, episode nine, because you guys really, truly enjoy it. Thank you all for watching. Today, my Tesla is going to control what I eat for 24 hours. Will I throw up? Will I get food poisoning? Or will I poop my pants? I don't know. Tesla, where are we going to first? I'm feeling hungry. Mm. Jolly Bee. We did that last time. But I'm gonna do it better this time. Okay, our first stop, Jolly Bee. What's up, Jolly Bee? Yo! This is like the cleanest Jolly Bee I've ever been into in my whole entire life. Can I order 20 Chicken Joys? I'm just kidding. Just three. 10 peach mango pie, two pineapple drinks, spaghetti, and a burger. Aloha burger. And uh, that's it. Tapos na. Okay, so our food is ready. Come on. Wow, we got the Chicken Joy. We got the peach mango pie. This is so nice. Look at this beauty. This is paradise. Anong pangalan mo, ha? Maganda ka. Kain na anak? Okay. Mmm. If you've never had Jollibee, you're missing out. So we got the Chicken Joy, we got the Palabo. Mmm, ang sarap sarap naman. Hey Jollibee, when are we making guava pie? I know you got the peach mango pie. How about a guava pie or a guava cheese pie? Don't let me do this again. We're gonna make a commercial right now. Here's a commercial, you ready? Guava cheese pie. It's not sponsored by Jolly Bee. I just love Jolly Bee. Aloha Burger. Kumusta ka ba? Mmm. Mmm. That's juicy. You know it's a juicy burger when it goes like this. Mmm. Spaghetti. Mmm. Magandang umaga. Of course you can't eat the chicken joy without the gravy. So this one's limited edition. This is the banana langka pie. It's just like banana jackfruit pie. Look at that. Wow, this reminds me of my youth. Oh, 
Jollibee was so good. Okay, Tesla, where to next? I'm hungry. In and out burger. Let's get some in and out. Oh yeah! All right, guys, we made it here at In and Out. Let's get some food, baby. All right, let's get a big custom burger. Okay. Hey, have you seen the Guava Juice show yet? Episode one's already out. If you haven't, you're gonna have bad luck this week. You better watch it. Hey, what's your largest burger here? It's up to you. So give me a six by six. You want anything else? Nah, that's bussin'. That'll be uh, 15, 67. Nice, okay, thank you. Oh yeah, let's check this out. So I got the six by six. Look how big this is. <laughs> thank you, Tesla. Let's try this out. Honestly, for the second meal of the day, this is pretty good. You're really warming up my stomach. All right, I'm gonna finish this burger. And let's see where the Tesla takes me next. Wow, that was a beefy burger. Okay, we're moving on. Where are we going to next, Tesla? Ooh, give me something sweet. Mochi nuts. Sounds like donuts. Let's go. All right, so the Tesla brought me here to Mochi Nut. Let's find out what they got here in Mochi Nut. Come on. So I ordered a whole bunch of Mochi Nuts. If you don't know what it is, it's just Mochi made into a donut. Let's try it out. Mmm. Mmm. Excuse me? Did you make this? Yeah. It's good. Oh, thank <laughs> it's like you. really good. Thank you so much. Mmm. This is like a strawberry cheesecake. Oh my god, this one has ketchup. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. It's like jelly. It's like a jelly jam. Yo, those donuts though, did you see my face? Mmm. Where to next, Tesla? I'm hungry. Boba guys! Good call. I'm thirsty. Alright, y'all. Boba guys is over there. Let's grab some Boba! We made it here to Boba guys! Oh man, there's so many choices here. Mmm. Okay, I think I've made my choice. Can I get one classic black? Strawberry matcha latte. The oob latte. The strawberry tea fresca. Caramel matcha latte. Black sugar hojita. And can I get water with Boba? Just regular water. Oh my gosh, look at this bowl. It's so nicely like decorative. This is very visually appealing. And it tastes bussin' bussin'. I think I ordered way too much. Mocha hajita? Mmm. Strawberry matcha? Mmm. Mix, 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 mix. Oh my gosh, that one tastes like a strawberry cheesecake. All right, this is your classic black. Mmm. Wow. wow. Mmm, thank you Tesla for bringing me here. I've been thirsty all day, I've been eating so much. Caramel matcha latte, how you feeling? Whoa, that one tastes like um, candy. Mmm, wow, it's ube. Last but not least, we got boba with water. The reason why I ordered this is because you want to taste the tapioca pearls and it's utmost raw state. Mmm, delicious. Tesla, where are we going to next? Elbows mac and cheese. Mac and cheese? Someone Tesla took me here. Elbows mac and cheese. I wonder if they have mac and cheese. <laughs> hey man, how's it going? Can I get like your most messiest dishes? Yo, honestly, I have never had mac and cheese from a mac and cheese restaurant before. So if they specialize in this, <gasps> we got winging it right here. This little pulled pork, and we got piece of my heart. I'm feeling a pool here. Oh. Oh, that was really good. Okay, let's move on to winging it. This is like two of your greatest things here. We got chicken wings and we also got mac and cheese. For this last one, since it's pulled pork, before we hop back in the Tesla, there's one thing I've always wanted to do. Okay, my eyes are still burning from mac and cheese in my eyeball, but we gotta eat still. Tesla, where are we going to next? Navigate. Hungry. Shoots. Hmm. I don't know what that is. All right, Tesla, you took me to shoots. Let's see what's at shoots. Let's go. All right, what's up, man? Hey, how you doing? Good, good. Can I just get like three of your top things? I can sure. Oh, thanks, man. Where'd you get that? Guapajuice.com. Oh boy, oh boy. Woo, look at this. Oh, we got the drinks too. Whoa. It's bussin' bussin', baby. Let's eat again. Tesla, I approve of this dish. <laughs> so this is their most popular dish. We got the mac salad with the chicken. That is the juiciest chicken sandwich I have ever had in my life. It melts in your mouth for some reason. This is the shrimp tempura musubi. Let's try it out. 
Wow, good job, shoots. This is the spam masubi. Ooh, look at this. Wow, this is the loco moco. Oh my gosh, look at that. It comes with this sauce right here. This is a little gravy, the loco moco sauce. What you got in your loco moco here, ready? Mmm, bing bong! So this is the mac salad over here. Let me grab this, dip this in the sauce, wiggle it a little bit, grab a little bit of meat, some rice. I love you, Tesla. I'm extremely full right now. But we can't stop now. Where are we going to next? Oh, this is the backseat. Shoots, delicious. But I'm getting extremely full, but I gotta keep going. Tesla, where are we going to next? Pizza Nista. We're getting pizza. Ugh, I'm so full, but I gotta keep eating. Hello, just give me like your best pizzas. I trust okay. you. Okay, everything's put in. Um, should be ready in about 15, 20 minutes. Okay, sounds good. All right, we're here at the Pizza Nista. Let's see what this is. This should be the meat Jesus. Oh my, oh my God, let's just look at the, all the pizzas. That's the meat Jesus. This is the white pie. Oh my, it's so shiny, it looks like the sunshine. And then you got your good old pepperoni pea. Oh my, the colors are so pastel. This is the juiciest pizza I've ever had in my life. Pizza Nista. Mm. Oh, it's so good. I don't even gotta say anything. Just look at my face. Ooh, thank you, Tesla, for bringing me here. Look at this cheese pool right here. Best pizza I've ever had in my life. I am definitely full, definitely full now. What's this? It's our special heart-shaped pizza. Oh, that is so pretty. Pizza Nisa also has this heart-shaped pizza. So let's try this out. I normally don't like vegan pizza, but this doesn't taste like a vegan pizza at all. This tastes like a regular pizza. Very flavorful, super saucy, super juicy. Ugh. We're not done yet, the day's still going. Let's go to Tesla and see where we go to next. Pizza was delicious, but my stomach is so hurting. Let's go. Navigate to, I'm feeling hungry, Wanderlust Creamery. I'm getting a little full, but let me try to apply for the job. Maybe it'll make me work there. Who knows? Let's try it. It's worth a try. My stomach hurts. <laughs> All right, so Tesla took me here to Wonderlust. Let's get some ice cream. Let's go. So my Tesla brought me here to Wonderlust Creamery and I have no idea why I'm behind this counter, but I guess I work here now. So this is the, uh, what's up? So you're just gonna scoop. All right, so we have your girl, Ube Crunch here. Let me scoop a big scoop for you here. Uh, there you go, very good. Hey, what do you want? Rocky Road? Okay, I got you, check this out, check out my scoop. The reason why Wonderlust is so good is because each scoop is majestically paradisical. That's enough. Okay. <laughs> and then I just put it in a cup. Okay. Cup, yeah. Don't touch the ice cream. Oh, here. I'm sorry. I mean, it's not okay. Should I do another one? Cause Yeah, this is so gross. Let me make this up to you. I have you a cone. I can put it in a cone. Here we go. Just for you. Mm. What? Oh, can I have some toppings on this? No problem. There you go. All right, have a good one. Right now, we're going to make some ube cones. Bia has taught me how. We're gonna grab a scoop of ube batter, slap it right here in the middle. Oh, I like that. And then you press start. We're gonna have to get ready to mold it. We're gonna push it in. Okay, this looks about right. Moment of truth. Yo, check out my cone. So this is the ube cone. This is my favorite flavor. I'm gonna get a scoop of this. The book of Bandan. Oh yeah. And last but not least, we got the passion fruit. Oh, I hope I do this right. I'm gonna add a little bit of this one. A little bit of sprinkles. And voila, Wonderlust ice cream. Thanks Tesla for taking me here. I made my own ice cream. Ube cone, everything good. <laughs> I don't know if I have space for any more, but we gotta keep going. Where to next, Tesla? I'm hungry. McDonald's! Not like this. Not like this, Tesla. <laughs> Not like this. Oh my gosh, I am getting so full. I don't know if I can keep going, but let's keep going. All right, guys. So we're here at McDonald's. I'm going to order some chicken nuggets. Hello, how's it going? Can I get 50 McNuggets? I'll get an ice cream cone as well. All right. 
I got my nuggets. I got my ice cream. Mm, let's get out of here. Oh my God, I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. I am so sorry. I was so happy with the nuggets. Are you just gonna film me? Just help, help, I need help. You know, when you eat too much, your brain just goes cuckoo. <laughs> Every single time I get McDonald's, I drop it somehow. I'm so sad and so mad. Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Ho -ho! Ha! Hey everybody! Today, we are going to be eating like Rick and Morty for 24 hours. We're gonna start with breakfast, snacks, lunch, more snacks, dinner, and dessert. So, come and join the journey of eating like Rick and Morty for 24 hours. Big thumbs up if you love your mama. All right, so for breakfast, we have eye holes, strawberry schmiggles, and the fleep juice, just to get our caffeine for the morning. For you guys who don't know what eye holes are, eye holes appeared in the episode Interdimensional Cable 2, Tempting Fate. So, this appeared when Jerry was opening the kitchen cabinet, pulls out an eye hole, and then eats it, and then gets attacked by the eye hole man. So hopefully we won't get attacked today, but this is the eye hole, okay? We actually recreated it, which looks pretty cool. And eye holes are just like eyeballs of interdimensional alien. Obviously, this is the real eye hole, okay, from the show. And if you wanna know what it's made out of completely, it's just a donut. This is basically a donut flavored eye hole. I gotta make sure that I don't make this attack me. Are we good? Okay, we're good. Let me say, let me say. So, off the bat, I hope it's delicious. Definitely a breakfast food because it really has that donut flavor. But then, in retrospect, it also has this alien weird texture, which makes it kind of cool because you're eating like Rick and Morty for 24 hours because that's what a video is about. And Rick and Morty for 24 hours, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was delicious. So come here, take a closer look. Eye holes, basically just like that. And just goose with like eyeball fluids, which is green. And that's the eyeball man, which is cool. Oh, isn't this great? Next breakfast food we have is strawberry schmiggles. It appeared in the commercial in the show. This leprechaun here eats the strawberry schmiggles. And then kids actually, it's very graphic, so I'm not gonna tell the rest, but let's just say it's very, yeah. Okay, today we're gonna just, we're gonna, oh, let's just dive into it. Think of it like Lucky Charms. If you eat Lucky Charms, what's the best part about it? The wrapper. No, I'm just kidding. The best part about Lucky Charms is the marshmallows. And then put a little bit of milk. That's probably not the healthiest thing for you, but it is very delicious. Do you know what marshmallow is? You're eating sugar, water, cornstarch, and milk. Mmm. But it's so good! Oh my god, why is that so good? Morty, wow, this is so unhealthy. <laughs> but you can look at it right now, and then you just you just get sick, because it's so unhealthy. <laughs> but yeah, that is the strawberry schmiggles. And just to end off the breakfast, we're gonna go here. Fleeve juice! This is fleeve juice. We got this from Planet X. If you don't know where that is, I can't tell you. You have to follow me through my portal. If you watch till the end of the video, you'll, you'll see where I got this. Fleeve juice actually appears in the same episode as the eye holes. So, if you look at this creature right here, this is called a fleeb. And if you squeeze a fleeb well enough, it creates fleeb juice. And fleeb juice kind of reacts like an energy drink. It just gives you caffeine, it makes you hyper. So here we go. If you ever watch the show, if you're wondering why Rick burps so much, it's because he drinks a lot of fleeb juice. Uh, <coughs> Morty. <coughs> Woo! That's yeah, strong! If you take a sip of this, like, it's just making me, like, more hyper and hyper, so it's kind of, like, making me energy and just giving me caffeine. I'm already pretty energetic already, and it's making me more hyper, and then I... I can't! Wow! That was, that was a crazy five seconds. All right, so this is the breakfast of Rick and Morty. Eye holes, strawberry schmiggles, and then the fleeve juice. Oh my god, we're gonna snacks, and then we're gonna lunch, and then we're gonna... Welcome to snack time. We have two snacks for you. We have the turbulent juice, and then we have a bag of bobbish. We're gonna start with the turbulent juice. This appears in an episode, check out the clip. So there are two functions for the turbulent juice. It can be used as a cleaning supply, it can be also used for a supplement. We're gonna use it as a cleaning supply first, okay? So we have here a cup, 
a blue cup, all right? So what it's supposed to do is supposed to clean it really well. So we're just gonna put some turbulent juice around it and we're just gonna massage it thoroughly around. And then after some time, if you give it some time, it should be super duper clean. Looking good, looking good. And there you go. The blue cup is actually a clear cup. All right. What does the turbulent juice taste like? Let me tell you. It's uh, <laughs> it tastes like, it tastes like toothpaste. <laughs> So honestly, I think it's better used as a cleaning supply than it is an actual snack. But if you want to have a super nice breath, then you go for it. The turbulent juice is right for you, okay? So, we're done with that. So this chip right here appears in the same episode as the eye hole, as the flea juice. So this is when um, a character called Steely ended up stealing a bag of Bobbish chips. So in the Rick and Morty universe, it's really just a bag of potato chips. Hmm. If you have had laser chips, it kind of tastes like that. My question is, what does it taste like with the turbulent juice? If you put turbulent juice, just give it a little bit of flavor, a little bit of good supplement. Mmm, I think it's time for lunch. <laughs> Mom! Welcome to lunchtime. So we have three things for you here. We have the chicken McNugget from McDonald's and some Szechuan sauce. We have Pickle Rick. Say what's up, Pickle Rick. And then we have some Pent juice. Can you say that? P-E-N-P. -E Pent. What's the, how do you say that? Pamped, 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 pamped. <laughs> so we're gonna start off with the Szechuan sauce. So if you don't know the meaning of this whole Szechuan sauce crave, there's an episode where Rick goes on a rant about how McDonald's doesn't sell the Szechuan sauce because in the Disney movie Mulan, McDonald's sold Szechuan sauce for a limited time after the movie released. And ever since then, never seen again. That was in 1998. Ooh, that was before some of you guys have been born. Isn't that crazy? So after the episode aired, McDonald's actually brought it back. And people bought it on eBay for $1,000, which is crazy. People actually lined up in front of McDonald's, long line buying this sauce right here. So we have some Szechuan sauce here. We're gonna try it out with some regular McNuggets. Honestly, not trying to be a hater, but it tastes okay. <laughs> I can see why they stopped making it, cause it's not, I mean, it depends on you, but honestly for me, sesame sauce is okay. But you know, Rick loves it, so therefore I love it, right? But if you wanna take a closer look at the sesame sauce, look at that, pretty nice, pretty cool. People actually paid $1,000 to buy a big bottle of sesame sauce, is that crazy? When you can just buy it from McDonald's for like $10. So whoever sold it on eBay made a $990 profit, this is crazy. But honestly though, the, the chicken McNuggets is pretty good. All right, moving on to Pickle Rick. If you don't know what Pickle Rick is, it's like this iconic meme from Rick and Morty. So Rick turns himself into a pickle because he doesn't want to go to family therapy. So he just becomes a pickle instead. He goes, Pickle Rick! So that's really the basis of the whole thing. He just becomes a pickle and tries to escape. So we have Pickle Rick over here. All right, we couldn't afford to get the actual Rick. So this is his cousin, Pickle Nick. Okay. What's up, Pickle Nick? <laughs> so let's just uh, dip him in the Szechuan sauce. Here you go. No, God! Hmm. I don't like pickles, it's just me. I'm not a big fan of pickles, but for this video, I'll eat some, okay? All right, Pickle Nick, any last words? No, okay, God, bye. please, no! Wow, but yeah, that was it. I just ate Pickle Nick. <laughs> Goodbye, Pickle Nick. All right, moving on to pent juice. So the thing about this, this comes from a creature called the pimp. And then this is just the stomach fluids of the pimp. This juice can cure anything in the world. And whatever pain you're feeling, what, if you're feeling stress, you drink it, you feel good. If you have a sickness, you drink it, you feel good. So in this case, we're gonna test it on Pickle Nick. As you can see, Pickle Nick is dead. So we're gonna drop him in here. And then I'm pretty sure, oh, whoa. There, there you go, Pickle Nick, is that you? Wh what? Oh, okay, Pickle Nick. Okay, it kind of cured him, but Pickle Nick has three eyes now. <laughs> so I, I feel like it cures you, but it has a consequence, okay? Nothing can be perfect. There's always a consequence that lies behind perfection. So no one's perfect, right? So Pickle Nick, how you doing today? You good? No! Okay, I'm up. All right. Pickle Nick, you okay? Oh my gosh, it's cured again. Oh no, Pickle Nick is blind. <laughs> What happened to Pickle Nick? Okay, so um, the pep juice does its thing, but what does it actually taste like? I'm gonna take a, remember the flea juice that makes you really, really hyper? Okay, let's do this. 
Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm feeling really hyper. Okay, okay, I gotta drink this pizza. Okay, I'm, I gotta go. Oh my god, that just feels good. Mm. I think it worked, but I'm slower. I need to balance. I mean, everything will be fine. Let's see if, uh, let's put a chicken nugget in here. Let's see what happens. So after some time, if you leave the chicken nugget in the pimp juice, it'll become ah! a, ch <laughs> a chicken. <laughs> okay, does it taste? And it tastes delicious still. So pimp juice, good job. Thank you for doing your magic. Thank you for curing my life and the world. Let's move on to snack time, number two. All right, we have two really, really delicious snacks for you here. We have Simple Rick's wafers right here, and we have Yummy Yum. We're gonna start with Simple Rick's wafers. So this comes from the episode where they take Rick's most precious memory, and then they extract it and put it all in this wafer. So if you take a bite of this wafer, it just brings you back to your most precious memory, and it just releases serotonin and makes you super, super happy. So first of all, Check out the wafer, really nice, really cool, really simple, simple rigs. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mm. I remember my most happiest memory right now. Mm. Yo! Yo! Oh! 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 Get out! Get out! Oh! Ah, I remember that moment like it was an hour ago. I really had to go, and then I just went, and then after that, it just made me really happy, because I actually went. So that was a really happy moment. So that is what Simple Rick does. It takes you back to a relatively precious moment in your life. Um, let's move on to the Yummy Yum. So the Yummy Yums is the complete opposite. So this one invokes you with happy memories. This one makes you violent. So this comes from the episode where they go on a purge. So Yummy Yums contains an ingredient called purginol. And what Perginol does, it makes you violent. So let's open this Yummy Yums over here. It looks like this. Here's the back of it if you want to see it. I'm so scared. Ooh, that's, that's crunchy. Ooh, so far so good. I don't think it's gonna be violent at all. Okay, cool. So if you think about Yum Yums, the flavor is very like dark chocolate-ish. So there are three types of chocolate. Milk chocolate, white chocolate, and Yo Mama. Hey, Yo Mama. Uh, you're wrong? And dark chocolate. So this one is dark cho- uh, Okay, I thought I felt something for a look. And I'm good, that's it. I feel good. So all you gotta do, if you wanna balance out the yummy yums. Just take a bite of Simple Ricks. Oh, happy moments. No! Oh! Oh! Won't come out! Oh! Hey, get out! Get out! Oh! oh! I remember that moment like it was 10 seconds ago. All right, let's move on to dinner. Moving on. Welcome to dinner. So we have three magnificent things for dinner, okay? We have the brapple, we have tiny food, and we have blood. So this brapple correlates to the Bobbish chips we saw earlier, okay? Steely used some brapple, which is a currency in Rick and Morty. So imagine a dollar. This is one dollar. One dollar equals one brapple. If you look at it closely, it's just an apple core with a pink chicken drumstick, okay? So that is called a brapple. You can also eat it. That's why we are making this video right now. So let's just try it out. It, could, it can't be too bad, because one, an apple is sweet, Chicken salty, and then we have the, the pink frosting to make it even more sweet. So it's kind of like dessert, appetizers, and the main course all in one, just for dinner. The apple's good. Let's check out the bottom piece. All right, that was like an interesting combination of ingredients, but I do taste the saltiness and the sweetness from the apple, because first off, okay, it tastes weird. I'm not gonna lie, okay, I'm trying my best. Honestly, the good thing about this is you can choose what part to eat, okay? If you're feeling more sweet, you can eat the top part. But if you're feeling more adventurous, just eat the bottom part. Or what you can do, next time you go to the store, instead of giving them a dollar, just give them a brapple. That'll be one dollar, please. Okay, here you go. Take it. <laughs> hey, Yugi boy, you want some brapple? You want some brapple? Here you go. It's debating really hard. 
Are you good? Are you okay? Here. Here, get some prep. No? Okay, cool. All right, give me give me a hand. Okay, he's fine. All right. So, grapples, that is it. That is the currency. Moving on to the tiny foods. So this appears in the show when they go to Lil Bit's restaurant. Basically what happens is we have human beings with big heads, big baby heads eating tiny foods because it's delicious. So we have here dinner. This is literally dinner. We have a hot dog, some peas, and some potatoes. Oogie, you wanna eat this with me? All right, so let's try to eat this tiny food right now. We have, a, uh, let me grab my fork. Let's try to chop it up. Oh, sorry, boy. All right, Oogie, I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. Ow, I hurt my tooth. Mmm, <laughs> tiny food, that was delicious. If you wanna go on a diet, this is the best way to go. I'm pretty sure this right here, total of four calories. The best way to wash everything down is with a can of blood. So blood comes from an episode where the Galactic Federation on Earth wants to replace every single human being's blood with blood. Okay, so this is just artificial blood. Um, so we're technically, we're gonna be drinking some blood from Rick and Morty right now. Mm. Morty, Morty, Morty. Morty, how you doing, Morty? <laughs> All right, I'm a bad, that was really bad. Let's move on to the cherry on top, the finale. Thank you for sticking to the end of the video because we're gonna move on to the dessert. The dessert. Let's go move on. All right, last but not least, this is the mega seeds. It comes from the fruit of a mega tree. You open the fruit, you have the mega seeds. So Rick uses this in his research because if you take a bite of it, and if you crush it up and just eat it, it gives you super intelligence. <laughs> I need some of that, let's go. Here we go, so let's take a bite. Let's take this, ooh, look at that. Straight up mega seeds. Look at that, I have three of them right there. We were able to obtain three mega seeds, right? Isn't that crazy? It, let me tell you, it wasn't easy at all. It wasn't easy. So here we go. Super intelligence, here we go. That's it! That's it! <laughs> okay, so this Mega Seed does give you intelligence. That's good to know. All right, let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite Rick and Morty food. I'm gonna take another sip of this flea juice. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no! 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 Not again! No! Ah! This is the Pocky One Chip Challenge. <laughs> One chip contains 1.5 million Scoville units. This is six Pocky One Chip Challenges. To give you more perspective, a jalapeno has 5,000 Scoville units. Habanero, 150,000 Scoville units. Carolina Reaper, 1 million Scoville units. What's up, YouTube? Will this help? Absolutely not. So we're gonna be playing a game called Would You Rather. The game's simple. I will be given two prompts of Would You Rather, like this. Would you rather instantly learn the piano perfectly or instantly learn the guitar perfectly? If I choose the least popular answer, then I will have to take a one chip challenge chip. So in this case, I'm gonna say guitar. So that is the more popular answer. That means I don't have to take it. But if I chose piano with the 40% vote, I have to take it. This is the one chip challenge times six. Okay, enough of that, enough of that. So I don't want this to be red. So let's start the game, shall we? Question one, would you rather wrestle an alligator or wrestle a bear? Well, if you think about it like that, I think bears are more smarter than alligators and bears run faster than humans. So I feel like I would wrestle an alligator. I really hope I'm correct. Is that the least popular answer? Okay, we're good, 60%. Okay, good, we're doing good. Okay, come here for a second. Okay, so if you open this, it contains a chip contained in a little bag like this. And if you open that bag, it's gonna be this is the chip of death, okay? This contains all the bad things in the world, and I will eat that if I get this wrong. Woo! 
but even smelling it is bad. That's what 1.5 million smells like. Okay, here we go. Question two. Would you rather tell your most embarrassing secret to the 10 people it would matter most to, or eat 5,000 licorice jelly beans as fast as you can? I would eat the jelly beans. I feel like that's very doable. Okay, cool, 56%. We're doing good. The pain hasn't started yet. Would you rather take a picture or have your picture taken? What kind of question is that? It's like, would you do this or would you do this? Okay, which one are we gonna pick, huh? In my opinion, I would rather take the picture, but some people would like to have a photographer. It's just a matter of who wants to be. Hey, help me out. Comment down below what you think this answer is because I'm having a little bit of trouble. If we're going for the most popular answer, I feel like more people would have their picture taken. Let's see if I'm right. Last time I did this, I only ate one. I don't know how I'm gonna survive with all six. Switch it back, I'm scared of red. Okay, here we go. Oh, that smells like death. That smells like death. That smells like all the evil in this world. One second guys, let me just take a, let me just coat my mouth with milk. Okay, here we go. One chip challenge, three, two, one. Oh. Okay, let's keep going before he starts kicking in. Okay, question two. <clears throat> when you walk in a room, would you rather have everybody stare awkwardly or have everyone look away in disgust? If I walk in a room, I would have everyone stare awkwardly. Then, would you rather have, have people like, like this? Or like this? Bruh. Uh, I would rather do this awkwardly one. Please be the more popular one. Okay, good. Would you rather go to prison for five years or watch every episode of Full House? Full House. Easy. That's a really bad one. I'm just, I'm just, would you rather be invincible or invisible? It depends. If being invisible, you can be a super creeper if you like. Invincible, you just never die. I would jump off a building and survive. Easy. Oh wow, 44%. 7,670. You guys are all creepers. What you gonna do with that invisibility? You, you, you gonna go to a bathroom? Don't do that. Every time I breathe, it keeps hurting. I have milkshakes, I got, I'm prepared. Would you rather eat only humans remains for the rest of your life or starve to death? Would you rather eat human remains or starve. If I gotta eat, I gotta survive. I gotta eat my meat. So humans, that's fine. Ah! Y'all rather die than eat humans. You guys would rather die than eat humans. I guess we gotta take this second chip challenge. This two chip challenge, I guess. Cause you know, in this channel, lava juice, one is not enough. That's why you have six. <laughs> bon appetite. Mm. Mm. Okay, lights up, please. Thank you. Would you rather be extremely unattractive or be extremely attractive but have a hand that smells perpetually like poop? What? So you're you're attractive, but your hands smell like poop, or just be ugly and attractive. I would be attractive, and your hands smell like poop. Like you can just wear gloves. Am I right? Fifty-eight percent. You guys are smart. Good job. Would you rather be a girl with a buzz cut, or be a boy with a thick, long, curly hair? What kind of this? sexist? Is it sexist? I don't, I don't know. I guess I'd rather have hair. I guess I like my hair. Right? There you go. Seven two percent. Good job, dude. That's cool. You're cool. I'm going crazy. Let's try to read this in reverse, okay? Okay, so the blue. Yep. Not be able to see the colors purple, red, or blue, or see everything in black, white, or gray. I feel like I would still want to see things in color because you still got green and all the colors. So this one, for sure, good job. Would you rather always have sticky fingers or bad breath? Well, if you have sticky fingers, you're gonna be like Spider-Man. <laughs> so I'm down to be Spider-Man. Easy. Would you rather take a cold shower every day 
or only take hot showers just once every two weeks. I mean, if you guys still have the opportunity to take a hot shower, take the hot shower. Take the hot shower. I am so mind blown that it's 70% and 30%. You know what they say, a cold shower a day might give you pneumonia. This is chip challenge number three. This happens all the time. Every time I keep talking, I die. It hurt when I did cheek. Would you rather have blue skin? Or would you rather have red skin? This question is like, would you rather be a Smurf? Or would you rather be Satan? You'd rather be the good out of the two. So I would pick blue. I hope you're correct. Okay, you're good. See, no one wants to be that guy. No one wants to be the bad boy. Everyone wants to be good boy. <laughs> I don't understand why I keep doing this, man. Like, you guys really like this? It's cool. Like, I just want to say thank you for being a loyal subscriber. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. I'm not done yet. I'm just recovering. Still got three more chips to go. I feel you. I figure like the only way to sustain my sanity is to just keep moving. Like, if I stop moving, I just gotta distract myself somehow. I feel like if someone stabbed me right now, I wouldn't feel pain because this is even like even more painful. All right, let's go. I think I'm good. So for the next incorrect answer, I'm just gonna eat the last three just to get this over with. Not a good idea, but I'm dying. Here we go. Would you rather have hair covering your whole entire body, like Chewbacca, or be bald? Like, uh, I don't know, Vin Diesel, I guess? Uh, Chewbacca. Who doesn't wanna be Chewbacca, dog? Like, I would wanna be Chewbacca. As promised, I will take all three one time. Lights on, please. One, two, three. One point five million Scovilles. Three million Scovilles. Four point five million Scovilles right here in the palm of my hand. I love you. Let's give this video to a million likes. <laughs> I guess let's go. Mm -mm. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's spicy. <laughs> oh, this one hurts a lot. This one hurts really, really bad. I think we gotta go. I think we gotta go to hospital so that I'm not feeling good. I can't really breathe. What's up guys? The doctor just gave me some stomach pills. <laughs> he said I'm okay, I just gotta just heal. He told me I might poop really bad, but for the most part, I'm pretty good, so a lot of rest. Don't try this at home. Yeah, have a good day. Oh! Oh no! Oh! What's up YouTube? Today we're gonna make pixie sticks cotton candy. So growing up, I used to eat a lot of pixie sticks because they were very addicting. If you've never had a pixie stick before, you are missing out because look at this. Look at this. We have different colors. We have red. We got orange. We have grape. We have so many colors. The blue pixie stick, it's my favorite one. All right, here we go. We're going to cut the top like this and check this out. This is my favorite part. You just pour it all into your mouth. Ready? So good, wow. All right, just letting you know, I'm not exactly sure if this is going to work or not. That's why we are trying it right now. So I'm gonna use the pixie stick container for the little handle, and I'm gonna use the blue one first to make the extra cotton candy. So let's cut the top of this, and here we go. I really, really hope this works. And we're going in. We're going in. Oh! I see it. Come on, Pixie Sticks! <laughs> where is it? Pixie Sticks! Where are you? I need you! Oh gosh, if you look at here, it's like smoking. Please don't catch on fire. All right, so, oh, look at that. Oh, let's try it again. So I let this thing run for 10 minutes, so it should be pretty warm enough for me to try again. So hopefully this time, 
there will be cotton candy. So let's do this. So here we go. Please work. Please work. Oh! Oh no! Oh! It's working! Oh! oh. <laughs> yes! Oh my goodness! Oh, this is gonna taste delicious. Oh my! Oh! Wow! Wow! There you have it, everyone! Pixie sticks! Cotton candy right here! Oh my god, I cannot believe that worked. Like, I got scared after the first one, after it didn't work. But I guess you just really have to just leave the cotton candy machine running in order to do this. Oh my gosh, I am so happy. It's still going. It's still going. Oh my. All right, let's turn this baby off. Wow, look at that. It's a perfect sphere. Taste this. Does this taste like pixie sticks? Oh! Oh, so good. Wow. Wow. Wow, let's do another color. All right, next up, we have grape. So let's do grape flavor and please work. Oh, man. Oh, oh it's working. What? Oh, my grapes. This is so great. Oh. Oh my goodness, grape is coming out really, uh, really stringy. Kind of looks like um the webs from all the spiders. Wow, this is amazing. I cannot, honestly, I cannot believe this is even working. I guess you can just put any sugar or any kind of sugar in cotton candy machine and they'll just come out like cotton candy. Wow. All right, there you have it, guys. Great. This is like, this is like my favorite part. Just like taste testing because it's so delicious. Ooh, here we go. Gray flavored pixie stick, cotton candy style. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> I'm about to cry because this is so good. Oh my goodness. Wow. Here, you want some? It tastes good, right? It tastes like pixie sticks and beautiful. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. Woo! Orange pixie steak in three, two, one. Ready? Aw, oh, man. This is not working. Ah. Uh. Oh. Yes, it's working! Yes! Oh, for a second I thought orange would not work, but aren't you glad I'm doing this right now? This is this is great. Taste testing the orange pixie sticks cotton candy. Here we go. Um. You know what, I'm just gonna ball it up. Wow, look at this. If you ball up a cotton candy into its densest form, it's just this. It just looks like this, like bubble gum. It's just, mm. it's like super crunchy though. All right. All right, cherry, here we go. Oh. oh, give it some time, there we go. There you go, there you go. This should do the trick. I'm gonna start a cotton candy business and just have the most amazing flavors because I feel like there are no flavors that are very exotic. It's always the same flavor, like blueberry, orange, cherry. If you want me to start my own cotton candy business, let's get this video to 100,000 likes. I'll start my own. Here's cherry. It kind of looks like bubble gum. I thought it was gonna be a lot redder than it is, but remember, I'm allergic, so we're about to find out. Ooh, that's good. I'm getting lightheaded. Oh gosh, I'm getting really lightheaded. Cause it's so good! <laughs> I'm gonna end it on this note, everybody. This is a very happy video, this is amazing. Um, shout out to Pixie Sticks, please sponsor me. And uh, yeah. Welcome to the best channel on YouTube. I am your host, Roy, AKA Guava Juice. And in today's video, we are ordering the entire Jollibee menu. 
For you guys who don't know what Jollibee is, Jollibee is a famous restaurant in the Philippines. Famous fast food restaurant, to be exact. And we're gonna order one of each thing here in America. It's different in the Philippines, but we're gonna order everything. I need some help here. Russell! I've been standing oh. here the whole time. <laughs> My bad. Can you um, go to Jollibee and order the entire menu for me, please? Um, One of each. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. I guess. Hey, can I go too? We're going to need sound. Please. Oh, okay, fine. He can go. That's, that's cool. Um, I got to film it. Fine, everybody goes then. Yay. What am I gonna? All right, have fun. Here you go, Roy. Thank you, very good. One of everything on the Jolly Bee menu. Here's your receipt. Wow, receipt. Enjoy. Hey, thank you. And my credit card number, if you zoom in really closely, is this. Bad thing it's blurred. <laughs> I present to you the entire Jolly P menu. entire menu from Jollibee. Just letting you know this video is not sponsored by Jollibee, but Jollibee, if you're watching, please, I would love to be sponsored by you because you are delicious. <laughs> Let's go from this side all the way to that side. Um, Jollibee is known for their spaghetti. Filipino spaghetti is different from regular spaghetti because we add one secret ingredient, sugar. Sugar is so good, and this this spaghetti is sweet. The reason why our spaghettis are balling. This is the jelly spaghetti right here. Let's give it a taste, okay? Mm, love it, okay? We, this is amazing. Here's what makes it so special. There's tomato sauce, ground beef in here. There's hot dog, okay? A big part of Filipino spaghettis are hot dogs. If you don't have hot dog in your spaghetti, are you even eating spaghetti at all? Mm. You gotta try it. Mm. Jolly Spaghetti, you can get this for $3.99. Pretty good. Moving on, this is the burger steak. It's really simple. We take simple burger patties that they use for their hamburgers, except we add some little bit of gravy on top, smother with some mushrooms, and we have rice, but not any ordinary rice. This is adobo rice, okay? If you've never had Jolly Bee's adobo rice, oh, you miss it out. Ooh. So how I usually eat this, I take a little piece with it using a fork or whatever, your hands, whatever you wanna do. Add a little bit of mushrooms here. Mmm. Oh, wow, I'm crying. <laughs> mm. Just to demonstrate to you how delicious this adobo rice is. Once again, this video is not sponsored. Watch my face. My face will tell you the truth. If you combine the burger stick, the mushroom, the gravy with the adobo rice. Oh! 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 We're gonna move on to the sandwich burgers area, okay? This is the one with the buns and the buns and the carbs and the buns. So this is the Yum Burger, the basic burger from Jolly Bee. Let's try it out. like I'm in Manila. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm. I can see why they call it yum. Because yum backward is moy. And then moy yummy. I. Mm. Mm. I'm out. Let's 
Give this video a big thumbs up if you want me to deliver some jelly bean to your house. I don't mind. I'm so happy. Okay. All right, we're just gonna stop with the drinks. This is the regular pineapple juice. I'm um, really popular. I'm um, drinking jelly bean. Just drink it. <coughs> that was delicious. I just drank it raw because I was too excited. You know what I'm saying? This is the chicken sandwich deluxe. Pretty sure this chicken is different from the chicken joy, the most popular dish on Jollibee right now. <sighs> mm, so let's take a bite. Oh yeah, light fact, if you want a burger to stay stable without everything falling off, turn it upside down. That way the heavier side is in the bottom holding all the weight. Okay, it's good. That was good. That's all I gotta say. I mean, probably not my favorite out of the ones I've eaten so far. For sure, this is probably up there. This adobo rice, super underrated. Next time you go with Jollibee, order some adobo rice. It's so good. So the chicken sandwich, this is good. Nothing more to say, nothing under to say. All right, moving on. Not a lot of fast food places sell hot dogs, but this is the Jolly Hot Dog. Really simple. Um, we have some sweet cheese. Um, same cheese they use in another dish called ensamada. Okay, it's a good dessert. Sweet cheese and um, some, I don't know, I don't know what sauces they put there. But in the Philippines, we love sugar and we love everything fried. That's why Filipino food is so delicious. Mm. The cheese is what makes this thing so memorable. The cheese is so sweet, it's like you're eating a hot dog with sugar. If you've never had that, it's so delicious. If you've never had a corn dog with sugar, you should try that as well. That is good. We're gonna move on to the Big Yum, okay? This is the Yum Burger's older sibling. It comes with a complete package of two patties, some sauce, mayonnaise, lettuce, we got some tomatoes, some uh, cheese. Here we go. So, low key, Jollibee burgers are really good. If you want a good, like, fast food burger, Jollibee has some underrated burgers. This is the pineapple float, okay? It's just a pineapple juice with some uh, some cream on top, some added stuff, and it's just a pineapple float, okay? I've never had it, but that is so good. Oh, This is the Aloha Burger. It's the same as the Yum Burger, except they add bacon and they add a pineapple. Let's get that Aloha. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> The pineapple adds a different level of sweetness. It's like sweet and refreshing at the same time. Aloha burger, I like it. <laughs> Maybe without the bacon, but without the bacon, it's good. So another um, popular dish here for the, for the kids, we have the chicken dippers, okay? It's just a whole bunch of chicken strips. What the world is this? It looks like a dolphin. What? Oh my gosh, it's a turtle. So chicken dippers, really good, easy, mashed potatoes, and some gravy. Mm. Mm. All right, not, not much to say about that one. You're, you guys already know chicken fries and mashed potatoes. All right, moving on. So this is palabok. They use um, some pancit noodles here. We add a little bit of ground beef, some chicharron flakes, and then this orange stuff. It's just uh, shrimp cubes. If you don't, if you know what shrimp cubes are, it's shrimp cubes melted into water, added with substances like milk or whatever you want to put here. Some eggs and some shrimp. I'm allergic to shrimp, so I'm not gonna eat the shrimp. And what you're supposed to do when you get this is mix it really, really well. And then you take this, spin it around, get some chicharron flakes, some ground beef. I don't know how to explain it. You just gotta try it. If you go to Jollibee, you wanna be adventurous, trust me, this is good. Try the palabok. Palabok, sorry. Palabok, palabok. Go to the cashier and be like, excuse me, Paul, can I have isang palabok, please? 
That's all you gotta do. It also comes with corn. Corn is a really, really loved dish in the Philippines because it's sweet. We love sweet corn. Mm. Sometimes you put condensed milk in the corn to make it even sweeter. I don't know why, it's so good. We went through all the food section. Now it's time for the dessert. This is the Jolly Bee Sunday. Let's try it out, okay? This right here. Let's try the taste. I've never actually had this one. It's good! This is like one of the most popular pies here, the peach mango pie. Okay, peach mango pie. It's just a little pie-like thing. They kind of deep fry it because we like everything deep fried. And then we put like some mangoes inside. So when you bite into it, we have a whole bunch of like mangoes like gushing out like that. Look at that. It's delicious. Trust me. Jolly Bee, I love you. Mm. 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 It's very crispy on the outside, sweet on the inside. All right, and the ultimate dessert, we have the halo halo. Halo halo means mix mix in Tagalog, okay? And you like, it's called mix mix because it, it contains a whole bunch of beans, some gelatin, beans, whatever you want to put in there, some ube ice cream. And you kind of just have to mix it all up together to get the right consistency, and then you just take a sip. Ah, oh, ah, Whoa! Today I bought a whole bunch of giant candies and a whole bunch of regular sized candies and today we're gonna do giant candy versus regular candy. Let's do this. He didn't miss it okay? So I have a lot of candies ranging from sweet tarts, Pocky, Sour Patch Kids, Nerds, we got some Skittles, and we have uh, the world's largest gummy worm up in here. So let's start off with the Pocky. Let's open this up first. Here we go, let's open it. And inside the giant Pocky, <laughs> it's not even a giant pocky. It's just a whole bunch of small pocky. <laughs> oh no! I was expecting like a giant pocky. Come on, man. Okay, let's open the regular pocky. The packaging inside the regular pocky bag is bigger than a singular pocky. But anyways, let's just open the two containers. This is from the giant pocky. Oh, actually, I take that back. This is the giant pocky inside the giant pocky uh, wrapper. And this one is the regular size pocky. So there you go. Exactly what I expected. Does it taste the same? Man, that's delicious. Regular pocky, delicious. Giant pocky, delicious. <laughs> But anyways, I'm gonna have to give the winner to the Giant Pocky. This one has a lot more chocolate in it, and when you bite into it, the chocolatey flavor just squishes into your mouth, which is just amazing. Next up, we have Giant Skittles versus the regular Skittles. Are there actually Giant Skittles in here, or are there just a whole bunch of little regular Skittles? Probably regular Skittles, but let's find out anyways. What's inside the Giant Skittles box? We have... A giant Skittles bag. <laughs> that is so deceiving. I can feel it right now. They're just regular Skittles. But let's just open the regular Skittles box anyways. There you go. There you have it, guys. Oh, yeah. Exactly what I thought. Mmm. I love Skittles. What's your favorite Skittles flavor? Comment down below. Mine is Limon. <laughs> Mm. Well, obviously, I'm gonna have to give the winner to the giant Skittles box because it's a big box. A lot more powerful than the smaller Skittles box. All right, next up we have the giant nerds versus the regular nerds. I'm really, really assuming this one has regular nerds, but let's hope that it has giant nerds inside of it. Here we go, why don't we open it? It says pull tab here, okay, and now slide. Okay, oh, that was a cool way to open the box. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh man, this is so disappointing. Big Mama, I, I'm gonna call it Big Mama Nerds because it just gave birth to a whole bunch of like little baby nerd boxes. Not a big fan of nerds, but I am a big fan of nerds rope. I love that thing, I don't know why. This goes out to uh, my little nerds out there. Actually, it's not that bad. <laughs> nerds are not bad. Wow, I haven't had these in a long time, so I forgot what they tasted like. Mmm. So I'm gonna have to give the winner to the Big Mama Nerds because look at the look at the packaging on this. It looks like it has a set of arms. Hey, hi, how are you? See, that's pretty dope, right? If you want one of these nerds, comment down below why you want them. I'll deliver it to your house personally. What? 
Next up, we have Giant Twizzlers versus Regular Twizzlers. Obviously, this one is a lot longer than the Regular Twizzlers. Let's open it up and see. This is how long the Giant Twizzlers is. And this is how short the regular Twizzlers is. Oh, but I'm not really a big fan of Twizzlers because it gets into my teeth and I don't really like the flavor. So if you like Twizzlers, I'm sorry. I don't like this. But I don't want to waste food, so. I still don't like it though. Next up we have a giant, I don't know how to say it, chupa chups. And we have a regular lollipop. This is called a whistle pop. It makes a whistling noise when you like use it. So here we go, let's open this thing first. This is very difficult to open. Oh, wait. Oh. Seriously, how do I open this? Whoa! That is amazingly awesome. Whoa, look at that. You can kill someone with this. This is very dangerous. It tastes good, too. Mm. Alright, now let's open this little whistle pop. Hopefully, it'll be very interesting. Look, it's an actual whistle. It's not doing anything. Okay, it's not working. But it tastes good. All right, no lie, this whistle pop tastes a lot better than this. This is a little bit bland. It doesn't really have a flavor. It has a flavor, but it's not really like pungent and strong. All right, winner goes out to the little whistle pop. Next up, we have the world's largest gummy worm versus the regular gummy worm. So let's check this out. Oh man, oh man. Look at this one. Wow. Imagine this thing crawling up your bed in the middle of the night and just kissing you in the cheek. This is very frightening, I must say. <laughs> on this end, we have the regular gummy worm. Look at the size difference on this thing. Oh gosh, this thing's eating everything. Stop eating the nerds, bro. Look at that. The blue side is really good. The red side's really good. Whoa! Here's the regular worm. That's really good too! Yo, no lie, gummy worms never fail me. It's like my favorite gummy. Tell me down below, what's your favorite gummy? Mine are sour gummy worms. What happens if you combine a chupa chup or whatever with a giant gummy worm? You make a giant chupa worm chupa. <laughs> Alright, next up we have the Giant Sour Patch Kids versus the regular Sour Patch Kids. Comment down below, do you think this container has giant Sour Patch Kids or just a whole bunch of smaller ones? Let's find out. Here we go. Let's open this up. Yeah, you might be a little bit wrong on your answer. It contains a Giant Sour Patch Kids box. A little bit. Okay, let's open this up though. Yep, you're right. Look at that. Look at all these Sour Patch Kids. Look at that. That is, that is great. I don't really eat Sour Patch Kids because it gets stuck in between my teeth. So whenever you eat candy, everybody. Buddy, make sure you floss your teeth or else your teeth will fall out and then you'll be really mad and sad the rest of your life Not gonna eat it or anything, but now we know what's inside the giant sour patch kit box It's a small one and then a small one. I don't know if that makes sense Last but not least we have the giant sweet tart versus the regular sweet tart. Do you think Inside here contains giant sweet tarts or just a whole bunch of smaller sweet tarts comment down below All right, let's find out All right, if you said it contains smaller sweet tarts you are Right here we go. Check this out So many sweet tarts. What's ironic is the sweet tarts in the giant sweet tarts are smaller than the ones that I have on my right hand Which is the regular container. Look at the size difference. This one is from the giant sweet tart and this one is from the regular sweet tart. But they're both probably really sweet. Back in my day in elementary school during Valentine's Day, remember when they put out all those bags with different names? I would just put one of these on everyone's Valentine's bag like here you go happy Valentine's and then I would pick it back up and put it in my bag because I was I was a mean boy. I think it should be good enough. Oh! What is up YouTube? You guys guessed it. Today we're going to be mixing all of these chips together and we're gonna see what it tastes like. And in the finale, I'm gonna put one of these in there. The Ghost Pepper Carolina Reaper Super Spicy Chip. 
Honestly, I don't think it's gonna go well because I'm gonna die after this, but who knows? Maybe all these other chips will dilute the flavor of it, making it more bearable. If you guys are wondering what all these chips taste like together, we're about to find out. Think of it as an ultimate Chex mix, because that is just crazy. Let's start off with the Limon Lays. I like the fact that this bag has this mouth because you could just go like that. <laughs> okay, comment down below. What is your favorite chip? You wanna know what mine is? I don't know why, it's just addicting. Once I eat one, I eat like 20 more, and then after I eat 20, I'm like, I'm done. And then I eat 50 more, and I end up eating the whole bag. So I don't know why, I just like this. Perfect for car rides. Comment down below, what's your favorite chip? Hey, Philip, what's your favorite chip? Uh, sounds good, cheddar. You like the cheddar one, eh? Talking about this, you like this one? Do you guys like sun chip, cheddar chips, or whatever? So let's put that into the mixture here. Some of these chips I have not heard of before, like the sea salt popcorners. <laughs> it's sea salt. There's like popcorn. Imagine popcorn and a chip. And we got some sweet southern heat barbecue sauce. Did you know there are probably five really unhealthy foods out there? Donut, because it's just donut, sugar, and then carbs, bad for you. Two, popcorn, butter, sugar, carbs, bad for you. Potato chips, like they provide no health benefits. I mean, they're good, makes you happy, but they're not good for you. But people still eat it. All right, I'm gonna put some of these ruffles in here. Oh my gosh, there's a popcorn version. Oh, 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 oh good. And we have uh, Cheetos. I'll put this in here. And if you guys are wondering how I'm gonna mix it together in the end, stay tuned. I used to think this was a cool, really, really nice bag. It used to be my fifth grade snacking thingy. Oh my god, never mind. It's still very delicious. I don't know why I stopped eating it, but it's still pretty good. Fun fact the maker of the Flaming Hot Cheetos, he used to be a janitor, okay? He loves elotes, which is like corn and spicy seasoning. And he came up to the president of Cheetos. Let's make this. And now he's part owner of this. See, you can start from the bottom and go away to the top. As long as you believe in yourself, you're confident in your product, you can go really far. Here's some bean chips. Benitos. Benitos! Yo, that's good. <laughs> wow, perfect. For some reason, I don't like plain chips. Mmm, I just think it tastes weird. Do you guys like plain chips? If you love potatoes, just the flavor of potatoes and salt, perfect for you. Oh boy, I just like anything flaming hot. So here's another flaming hot Cheeto. It's like puffiness. So nice, look at that. Wow. Did you know flaming hot Cheetos? Most sold thing in the Cheetos lineup. So shout out to that janitor. Hey, here's another one. This is sour cream. Do you love sour cream? I can mess with sour cream every now and then. Right. Yeah. Oh, here's another popcorners. White cheddar version. Ha. All right, guys, let's take a break. Let's see what we have in here. So far, so good. Seriously, it's like a giant Chex mix. It's just insane. All right, here's another one. Barbecue flavored. You guys like this? Honestly, if this is in the pantry, I'd eat it. Yo, jalapeno chips. Started getting addicted to jalapeno chips not too long ago. Pretty tasty, to be honest. Hey, Raymond, what's your favorite chip? What you like? You, you guys like chicharrones? You did this in vinegar? Ooh! Ooh. Vinegar! Ooh. Ah! Let's put down Raymond's favorite chips, the chicharrones. You know how you feel. Here we go. Out of all these chips, so yeah, you guys have to guess this, okay? I learned this like probably like last year. What is Barack Obama's favorite chip? Can you guys guess? This one's pretty simple, like simple guy. I can understand why he likes this chip. In an interview, someone asked him what his favorite chip is. President Obama's favorite chip is the plain old Doritos. He loves Doritos. You can't go wrong with the Doritos, dude. Whoever invented these Doritos, super duper good. All right guys, so enough chitter chatter. Uh, I just realized there's so many more chips to go. Check this out real quick. It's flaming hot ruffles. What? Ah! That's delicious. I put some of this right here. That's good. Okay, so update. Uh, currently, there are four chips left. Well, five. Uh, seriously, looks like a giant Chex mix. It's like the ultimate mega powerful Chex mix. Four more to go. Here we go. Oh yeah, if you guys are wondering what I'm gonna do with all these chips later, as you can see, they're all here on the floor. I'm just gonna donate it to the local food bank after this, and uh, yeah, everyone will get free chips today. Hey! Oh! Here we go. Sun chips, French and onion. This is a good one too. Put this in here. Protein chips for the gains. The regular classic lace chips. I don't really like this one. I think they're lame. <laughs> and last but not least, we got the guacamole Takis. Eh. <laughs> 
put on drop. And then last but not least, Pakwi, Pakwi. I don't know. Oh my gosh. It says, any last words? Yes, I will mix you up with all the other chips. So I will put you here. Oh man, this is gonna be the worst. Try not to touch it because sometimes I accidentally rub my eyes. The deadly Pakwi chip. Okay, so I have here a little mallet. So uh, let's mix it together, shall we? It might get a little messy, but all you gotta do is just grind it. We really gotta grind it as much as possible here. There you go. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Woo! All right, here we go. Here's the big, powerful, mighty mallet. Oh wow, I just sucked it in. I thought I was gonna go like But I really just sucked it in. Wow, okay, I did not expect that. All right, the question is, where is the spicy chip? Where is that spicy chip at? Honestly, don't see it, but just gotta keep mixing and see what happens here. Gotta keep mixing, boys. I think it should be good enough. There you go, as you can see, it honestly looks like Chex Mix. How well did I mix this thing? Cause if I didn't mix it well enough, uh, I'm just gonna eat it and I'm gonna have a really horrible day, but it's okay. So this is what I got, a mixture of everything here, mixing every chip together and eating it. It's good! It's good! It's really good! Wow! Wow, that's good. It's not bad. It honestly tastes like Chex Mix, but I like this one better because there's like a total of like 100 chips in there, so it's really not that bad. Mm. Philip, you wanna try some? How is that? That's not bad, eh? Really good. It's really tasteful. I'm just surprised, you know? Just because you have so many flavors in your mouth, it's kind of unbelievable. Mm. Wow. I'm gonna start a new chip lineup. It's gonna be called Juicy. Oh! Like, it's gonna be banging. Here, you guys try some. Go. Oh, there you go, right? All right, that's not bad. Oh my gosh, look at all these. Oh my man. Try a little bit more. Mm, I guess that's it, really. To summarize the video, this is what a whole bunch of chips mixed together look like. Crumbled up chips that look like Chex Mix, but it's very, very delicious. For the Pakwi chip, I taste a little hint of it, but it's not overpowering, you know? It kind of adds that little spiciness, but it's not overly spicy and overly unbearable. That is crazy. Oh, that's weird. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to a new series. This series is going to be called Chocolate versus Real. You guys love my series that is called Gummy versus Real, where I take gummy foods and I take the real food compared to it and eat it. This time it's the same thing except instead of gummies we got some chocolate food. Same concept, we'll go five rounds. Each round gets a little bit weirder and weirder and we're gonna see. If you guys really like it, I'll do another episode. If not, then I'm just gonna eat all the chocolate I have in storage. <laughs> Welcome to Guava Juice Chocolate versus Real! Chocolate versus Real! Underneath these things are the things. I don't know what is in it prior to the video, so I'm gonna be just as surprised as you guava juicers. <laughs> what is this, a tree? It's a Christmas tree? We have here a Christmas tree, and here we have the chocolate. That's pretty cool. Oh man, this is kind of awesome. Really quickly, let me just try out the real food real quick. Oh, this is a weird vegetable. Okay, that's the weirdest vegetable I have ever eaten and put in my mouth. This thing's really hard to unwrap, to be honest. I'm not sure where to start. Should I start up through here? Oh, here we go. I found it. Look at that Christmas tree! We have a whole bunch of ornaments. We got some leaves. We got some merry-go-Christmas thing. So here we go. Let's try this one out. Oh, it's very hollow inside too. Mm. It tastes like chocolate. <laughs> Duh. In comparison to the two, I'm gonna have to give round one the chocolate Christmas tree. Just cause this one doesn't really have flavor. I don't think it's edible. We can plug it in at least. Wow. The lights definitely gave it a little bit of flair. It changes colors too. On to round number two. Three, two, one. Oh, it's chicken. <laughs> we got some chicken in here. Wow. I'm so excited to eat this. I'm so hungry. So if this is chicken, this is going to be chocolate chicken. I'm so excited to see what this looks like. Bam. Wait. <laughs> what is that? What is this? What happened? This is not a chicken. It melts it during shipping. Oh, dude, that sucks. Apparently, we did have a really nice looking chicken, but it melted. Look at the eyeball. The eyeball is like melted. And I feel like that's where the head is supposed to be. But since it melted, the head deformed and then melted right. Look at the eyeball, though. That's definitely an eyeball. Oh. Yeah, that's definitely an eyeball. All right. So uh, let's compare the two. This is going to be a really hard round because you're comparing chicken with chocolate. The best part of the chicken is not this part. It's the thigh because, you know, it's, it's juicy. That's why you got to stay juicy. That's why I like it probably. Oh, look at that. Oh, mm. oh, mm. all right, good. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, yeah. 
Mm. I don't know what to say. That, that chicken was really good. Let's do the chocolate chicken. I'm just a little bit sketched out. If this thing melted during shipping, I wonder if it changed the whole, you know, ingredients formula. I wonder if it's poisonous. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, that piece tasted weird. Let me try another piece. Uh -uh. The texture of this chicken, I guess since it melted during shipping, tastes like chalk. It's not smooth like the Christmas tree. It's weird. So I'm gonna have to give this round to the real chicken. Mm. It's good. <laughs> you know what's better? If you just crisp the outside of the chicken. So I have here this. There you go. All right, it should taste good now, huh? Mm. 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 That's so good. Let's try the chocolate chicken. Let's see how crispy you are. <laughs> Ew! Yeah, that just burnt. Round three, let's go. All right, round number three. Let's see what is under this thing. Here we go. I'll let you guys see it before I do. One, two, three. Well, what is it? What is it? I don't. I don't know. Here we go. What is that? Fish? Is this fish? All right, we're about to find out right here. I'm gonna say this is fish balls. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, wait, it's a shark? All right, here we go. Let's try this out. This is a shark. Is this safe to eat? This is real shark. Here we go. Three, two, one. Mmm. Huh. Whoa, that's good. It's tough and chewy. Most of their body is just muscle. It's really good, though. It's just really hard to eat because it's so tough. Dude, I haven't done like these kinds of videos in a while, so I really miss it. It brings back the days when I did the gummy versus real. You guys want me to do another one? Comment down below. I stopped it because you guys didn't like it anymore. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of seafood because I'm allergic to like almost all of it. I'm probably gonna die after this. Hopefully not. All right, let's try this shark. The chocolate shark, the tail has snapped off, but it's okay. All right, we're gonna perform surgery to connect your tail again. Does that work? Oh, no, that did not do anything. All right, anyways, let's try out this shark, this chocolate shark. Three, two, one. Mm. Oh, mm. very different, a lot better than the chocolate chicken. It's not as good as the chocolate Christmas tree, but this shark has just a little hint of mint. So there's a little bit of minty flavor along with chocolate. Do you guys like mint with chocolate? I like it sometimes, not all the time though, but it's refreshing. What happens when you add two sharks together? Mm. You get a chocolate shark shark. I <laughs> get it? Huh. This one's hard. This one's good, but that one's good. But this could be better, and this is good, but I don't like seafood. So I'm gonna have to give the winner to round three to the real shark. It's like surprisingly good. Like you see it? It's like these little squishy thingies. Look at that. But it's really good. I'm not a big fan of the mint, but if it was like the taste of the chocolate Christmas tree, I would have liked this shark a lot better. Round four, let's go! <laughs> Um, there are five rounds. Each round gets weirder and weirder as you can see from the shark. I am going to assume and guess that this is a weird one. Bang. What is this? Is this a Hot Pocket? It looks like a toaster strudel or something. Oh, that definitely does not smell like a toaster strudel. That's more like seawater. All right, this is definitely something in the ocean or water of some sort. So I'm gonna say fish, but we just did shark, so I don't think it's fish. Am I right? In three, two, one. What is it? Oh, yeah! It's a crocodile or an alligator. I don't even know. Is this a crocodile or alligator? Alligator? We have an alligator right here. I've had alligator, but not this beefy thingy. Uh, alligator, real life alligator. In three, two, one. Mmm. <sighs> I don't know what to say. It's really, really tough. That's all I could say. It tastes okay. I think my mind is saying like, hey, you're eating an alligator. You should spit that out. They live in the swamp. In my mind, I'm like, oh my, I'm eating swamp water. I mean, I guess I could try it again. Here we go. Huh? Who's that? My dog is barking. Let's try the chocolate alligator this time. Ready? This one tastes weird too. I don't know. It's not as pleasant as I hope. In a way, this thing kind of tastes a little stale. It's like chocolate with no flavor. It's bitter. That's what it tastes like. It's bitter. Ew, it looks like a poop poop. Ew. <laughs> nope. Alright, this one's a little bit hard because, um, one, it's bitter. It's not flavorful. Alright, for the first time in these series, I'm gonna have to give it a draw. These two are equally not good. Let's move on to the final round, okay? We need to get the final round over with because there's gonna be a weird one. I know it's gonna be weird. I didn't pick out these things and I know that it's gonna be weird, so let's go! Three, two, 
one, boom. Oh, is this a heart? Oh, that's a heart. You can see the artery holes right there. Oh, what kind of heart is this? Human. Human heart? No. Pork. You sure? It's probably not human. It's not human, so it's pork. Okay, I'm just gonna say this is pork heart. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Look at that, look at the inside of the heart. This is where blood goes in and out. Oh, that's weird. All right, well, let's see the chocolate heart. In three, two, one, boom. Yo, that is cool. They look very similar to one another. Oh, that is so tight. We have the two artery holes right here, and then we have two artery holes right here. One, two. Look, we even have the veins. You see the veins here? We even have veins right here. That is insane looking. Wait, do I have to eat this one? You know, this is raw, right? You gotta do it. I'm gonna get sick. It smells like metal. Why is it not cooked? Hi. Oh, you're scaring me. Just kidding, we had cooked ones all along. Oh, man, you guys had cooked ones all along. Okay, so this is what a cooked heart looks like. Ooh, yikes. These are a little red, is that good? Pork heart, here, three, two, one. Ah, oh, all right. Why does it taste like metal? Why does heart taste like metal? Oh, I can still taste it in my mouth. Wow, that tastes so weird. I think it's because blood goes in and out of it so much it marinated the whole heart. That is weird. Here we go. This is the chocolate heart. In three, two, one, go. It tastes like metal! I'm just kidding. It tastes good. <laughs> oh. It's not like the Christmas tree where you bite it and there's like nothing inside. This whole thing is a chocolate. Alright, seriously, I didn't mean to do that. I was just trying to crack the heart so you guys can see that there is stuff inside. It's been a long day without you, my friend. But the heart was just so heavy that I cracked the plate. Yeah, dude, heavy hearts to the plate for your death. <laughs> It's like a rock. Like, you can see that it's so dense. Yeah, like my heart. My heart is so dense. Did you know your heart is actually in the middle, but then you feel it on your left side because the blood pumps on the left side. But your heart's actually right here. Fun facts, huh? Fun facts! All right, well, I gotta get new plates, I guess. Dang it. I didn't mean to do that. I seriously didn't mean to do that. It's just crazy how heavy this heart is. The winner of the last round goes to the chocolate heart. It's just filled with chocolate, which is insane. You can use this as a weapon, dude. Look at that. You see how flat that thing got? That is insane. <laughs> what is this? Mm. Oh! oh, look at that! <laughs> YouTube today we're going to do something we haven't done in a really really long time you guessed it from the title We're doing another round of gummy food versus real food where we take a gummy food and take the real food version of it And then just eat it see if it's good see if it's not yeah Make sure to hit that bell if you love guava juice and make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video for something really really special Round one all right here we go round one. What's underneath these little covers today? We're gonna start it off with Oh, look, it's a Happy Meal. Check it out. Ooh, ooh, we got the Pokemon and then the Hello Kitty over there. <laughs> That's nice. And I go over here. Oh, look at that. There's a Happy Meal version of gummies. I'm so excited. What the? Let's just try this out, okay? So let's open this Happy Meal, okay? If you've never opened an Happy Meal, it's really just, uh, what is this? Yogurt. Um, we have a toy, a little hamburger, and a cute little thing. Look at this. This thing was so much bigger when I was younger. I don't remember it being this tiny. Look at that. Let's just try it all out. Mmm. 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 This is kind of disgusting. Sorry, McDonald's. It's just patty. And then we got the meat, ketchup, mayonnaise, onion, pickles. <laughs> that is so basic, but it's still so good. Oh my goodness. They do this nowadays? Check out this toy. You get your own Latios Pokemon right there. Oh my goodness. Okay, whatever. They do this now in McDonald's? They give you Pokemon cards. Let's see which one I got. I got a Pikachu! Pika! <laughs> uh, and then Gogurt. So I'm just gonna leave that there. I don't really like Gogurt. That is the real food version of the Happy Meal. Let's try the gummy version of it. Oh, this is really hard to open. I'm so excited to see what's in here. Oh my goodness. That is super cute. First, we have this one. I think this one signifies Coca-Cola. All right, we'll leave that there. And then we have fries. Similar to the McDonald's fries, we have ourselves little fries as well. <laughs> this is so cool. Mm -mm. And you can't have a Happy Meal 
meal without the burger. Check that out! Look at the difference! The only difference is Gogurt is replaced by Coca-Cola, and then this thing doesn't have toys. Okay, so let's try it out. Let's check out these fries real quick. Ooh! That's good! Very lemony, very sour, which is great. And then here's some Coca-Cola, okay? Let's just drink the Coca-Cola. Mmm! They come in like little noodles. Is this supposed to be like soba noodles or something? Mm. Mm hmm Tastes like Coca-Cola, which is pretty cool. Pretty awesome, actually. Mm. Last but not least, the hamburger. The only bad thing with this is there's a top bun right here, which is split up. Bottom is just like this plastic layer. Kind of disappointing. I guess it's good. Look at this. Look how amazing this burger is. <laughs> it's smart how they did it, because right here, that's supposed to signify ketchup and mustard. But if you take it out, this is so smart. It's just a cute little gummy bear. Oh, no, I messed it up. I am sorry. All right, let's just take a good big bite, okay? Ready? Oh yeah, that's delicious! If I had to pick a winner between the real food or the gummy food, I'm gonna have to give the winner to the gummy food. Just cause look, this is so unique, you know? It comes in a Happy Meal thing. So much flavor, so much variety. And let's just move on to the next gummy food versus the real food round. Round two. Round number two. Let's see what we have underneath here. It's stuck! It's literally stuck! Hold on. Uh-oh. Oh, look, it's a watermelon! A watermelon! Look at that one! Oh, I'm so excited. If you didn't know this, I've done this so many times in videos. This is the fastest way to eat a watermelon, okay? The regular way to eat it is like this. So here's the hack for it, okay? If you want to eat a watermelon really fast and you're like really crunchy, eat it sideways like this. Three, two, one. <laughs> Okay, I did it so wrong. Ow. <laughs> Enough of that. That's a great watermelon. Let's try this gummy water. Look, check it out. Look at that. And then you go to the back. Ooh, look at that. So let's try it out. Like, we have little seeds here. Like, I wonder what that is. I don't know. I feel like it's like the same flavor as that licorice from the Coca-Cola. Oh. <clears throat> mm. It's fucked up. Mmm. Mmm. That tastes like watermelon. That's just amazing. Look at it. <laughs> If I have to give a winner, I'm gonna have to give it to the giant gummy watermelon. If it's beautiful and it tastes amazing, that's the best thing that could ever happen. On to the next. Round three. All right, here we go. Round three. But before round three, make sure to hit subscribe. I'll give you three seconds. Three, uh, two, one. That's right. Hit that bell too. One, two, three. Yes. Okay, round three. Let's go. Pop, pop. Woo! Oh, it's a pizza. Did you guys guess pizza? Because if not, it's okay. You're a subscriber now, so let me give you a piece of this pizza. So we have pizza. So therefore, here is a gummy pizza. Oh, look at that. The thing about this one is compared to the last two rounds, the last two rounds are like, uh, there's a fruit, and then there's a watermelon, and then whatnot. What do you think this one will taste like? Because you already know what this is. Cheese, a pepperoni, a little bit of like bread. So let's just, ah. Uh, mm. Mm. Okay, I'll save this for later. That was very good. <laughs> mm. I love pizza. Yum, 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 yum. Yo, I love pizza. Pizza. Ooh, 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 ooh. That was delicious. All right, let's try out this gummy pizza, shall we? Take a good look. Look at all the details. Check the back. It's all crust. So let's take a bite. Ugh. Okay, that was easier to chew into. Hmm. Hmm. It tastes like this. If you've ever had this candy called Starburst, it tastes like the orange flavor combined with the yellow flavor. Mix them all together, you get a pizza. That's what it tastes like. I know what you're saying in your mind. Guava juice, what does the pizzas taste like together? I got you, I got you. We're about to find out right now. Here we go. Three, two, one. It's not bad. It's kind of like you take a pizza, you add a whole bunch of like sugar. That's really it. It's not bad. That's pretty good. Woo! And the winner of this round, I'm going to anoint the real pizza because nothing can beat a real pizza. Even if it's a gummy pizza, like it looks beautiful, but pizza, you know, pizza is like one of the greatest inventions of all time. Round four. All right, here we go. Round four. Here we go. Three, two, one. Woo! Oh no, I accident. Oh. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no, the butter! It's all right, it's okay. I'm so sorry. That's what happens when gravity does its thing. Oh no, the butter's there. Well, obviously, the next round is a waffle. There's a gummy waffle? Oh no, I keep getting stuck on the thing. Oh no, it's stuck again. Ah! Oh, look at that! Wow! Look at this! 
That is great. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So you can't have your waffle without your syrup. So get your syrup, syrup, and just go syrup it up. So let's try this one. I want to dedicate this to a girl named Eleven. Shout outs to you, L. Mmm. Mm. This used to be like my morning routine. Make an ego, go to school. Make an ego, go to school. Make an ego, let go to school. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, yeah, yeet. We got ourselves the um, gummy waffle. Yeah, yeet, yeah, yeet. All right, so let's get this waffle here. I wonder what this tastes like. I feel like they made it like the flavor of syrup. Hopefully it's the flavor of syrup. Let's try it out. It's stretchy, it's gooey. Ooh, look at that. Whoa, okay, let's try it. Count down with me in three, two, one. <laughs> Hmm, 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 hmm. Yep, that tastes like syrup. But like I said earlier, you can't have a waffle without syrup. Regardless if it's a gummy waffle or a regular waffle, you always need syrup when you waffle. Uh -huh. I want to know I'm probably not good for your body, but it is delicious though. Wow! I anoint Round 4's champion to... Who do you think I'm gonna pick? The regular waffle! Because nothing can top that regular, circular waffle. I mean, this is just too sweet, you know? There comes a point where things just become too sweet! But this one is just like the right amount of sweetness. Yes! Wow! Next round! Round 5! Round 5! Yo, yo, yo! Yeah, what the what? It keeps getting stuck under the thing. No! Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Did we already do this? Oh, cool. All right. So we have ourselves French fries. Oh, look. It's like one of those things where you peel and then you win. Look, one and four wins. Let's see if we won anything. You win a snack size McFlurry. Woo! All right. Let's try this one because, you know, we already tried it earlier. So let's get it. Mmm. Delicious. Wait, I'm confused. We did fries earlier. So what is under here? Count that with me. One, two, seven. Whoa! Whoa! Look how amazing that is. Like, who does that? This is called a French fry bottle flip. Ooh! I bet you I can't do it twice. Oh! Three times a charm. Oh! What? It's a UFO. <laughs> Well, I guess it comes in two separate parts here. This can also act like a tongue. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> That's awesome, too. It's a mustache. <laughs> Just kidding. This is awesome, dude. It's like so smooth, so nice. Do you hear the squeaking? <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> oh, that sounds good, beautiful. So let's try it out. Mmm, <gasps> cavities. <laughs> That one for sure tastes like Starburst. Just the yellow one, okay? If you take a whole bunch of yellow Starburst and melt it, shape it, this is all this thing. Let's try the container part of it, okay? Ready? Mm. Okay, that one tastes like cherries. Mm. No, actually it tastes like red jello. And it's kind of messed up, but the container actually tastes better than the french fry itself. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. I can't believe I said that. You know, it wouldn't be fair to eat this container and not that container. So let's try out this container. Mm. Mm. That one doesn't taste anywhere near close to Jello. All right, so for this round, I'm gonna have to give the winner to. Mm, okay, for the first time in history of gummy food versus real food, it's a draw. These satisfy me equally. Okay, like wow, wow. Like I don't know, I can't pick. They're both really delicious. This one's very filling. This one's very cavities. It's a draw. Wow. If you remember what I said in the beginning of the video, stick to the end for a special announcement. That was the special. No, not really. I'm just kidding. The special announcements. What? What are you saying? Special announcement, special announcement, special announcement. The special announcement is that there's a bonus <laughs> round, okay? Bring in the bonus round! Bonus round! Alright, if you made it to the bonus round, if you're a subscriber, you hit that bell and you made it through this whole entire video, this is going to be a very interesting round because we have ourselves. <laughs> we. We have ourselves a poop gummy. Like, it's literally a gummy. I know, like, looking in the camera, like, you're probably watching, like, oh, that's just probably chocolate. It's a gummy. You can't do this with chocolate. Ew. Ooh, it smells good, though. It smells like chocolate. So we have gummy poop versus... I'm just kidding. This is, uh, if you take a Snickers bar and just kind of roll it around, this is just Snickers bar. There's no way I would, like, eat real poop. Don't get the wrong mindset. Don't flag this video. This is chocolate. I promise you. I promise you. Let's eat this one first. I'm very curious to see what this one tastes like. Oh, no. Ah. Ah. Hmm. 
Mm. That one tastes like Coca-Cola. If you grab a Coca-Cola, melt it, that is it. Okay, so that's what the, the brown parts taste like. What does this part taste like? The white parts. Oh no, look at the face. I'm so sorry, Poop. The white ones kind of taste like Vicks. You know the Vicks vapor rub? It tastes like medicine. That's what I'm trying to say. That one tastes like medicine. All right, let's just go eat this Snickers. I know, it looks like I'm eating poop, but this is just chocolate, okay? Mmm, I love poop. If you don't believe me, here's how I made the poop. Just grab this, it's kind of like a protein bar. Take the protein bar and just squeeze it and then roll it like this, kind of like that. And then twist it a little bit. And then you have yourself some poop. <laughs> trick your friends, trick your parents, do whatever you want with this, it's a cool joke. What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be eating like Stranger Things for 24 hours. Whoa! Let's do this! All right, so we're gonna start off with breakfast, and then snack, then lunch, then snack, and then dinner, okay? So this breakfast appears in episode one. This is Mike's favorite breakfast. This is a maple syrup topped on a scrambled egg. I don't know why, but that's what Mike likes. If you don't know who Mike is, you don't know what Stranger Things is, then this video might not be for you. Have you ever had eggs with syrup? Not bad. It's not bad because it has a good balance between the saltiness of the egg plus the sweetness of the maple syrup, causing it to have this equal balance. And when you have equal balance, that's when you have telepathy. <laughs> this reminds me of a uh, McDonald's. If you ever go to McDonald's and you grab their breakfast plate, it comes with pancakes, some sausage, and eggs. This is what happens when you accidentally put the pancake syrup in the eggs. It tastes exactly the same. Good job, Mike. You want to see telepathy? Check this out. Yeah? That's what happens when you eat eggs with maple syrup. Ready, and mm. All right, let's move on. Next up, we have Hawkins' chief officer, Jim Hopper. We have his favorite breakfast, which contains glazed donut and a coffee. Super simple, that's a great breakfast. Let's try it out. Mmm, sweet. <laughs> I'm gonna try it with a coffee. Wow. I feel like most of these meals is always trying to find the perfect balance because depending on your coffee, if it's not sweet, it's bitter. But if you add sweetness to the coffee, it's amazing. Oh my god, mm, isn't that great? How does this? I can understand why people like this combo because it's pretty good. Wow, I should start eating this more. Okay, cool. So Jim Hopper, as you know, eventually takes care of Eleven. I hope that did not spoil anything. <laughs> but Jim Hopper eventually becomes a father of 11. If you don't know who 11 is, it comes after 10. Specifically, telepathy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to snack time. So our first snack today consists of french fries, okay? This is 11's First french fries. After escaping from Hawkins official laboratory, she went to a restaurant called Benny's Burgers where the guy, Benny, offered her some french fries. She's never had french fries ever because she was a science experiment as you guys would remember and recall. So this is me trying french fries for the first time. Whoa. I feel like if you try french fries for the first time in your life, I can't imagine how you would feel. Cause this is pretty delicious. Well, I can understand why people really like this because one, it's salty. I feel like you do kind of need something really, really cool just to balance it, but <laughs> why is this camera so close to my face? Get out of here, camera! Welcome to lunchtime. So lunchtime we have meatloaf and mashed potatoes. Meatloaf and mashed potatoes happened during the Wheeler's lunchtime, okay? Lucas and Dustin did not want to eat these mashed potatoes because they claim they ate some bologna prior to eating nothing. So this is us seeing what it could have tasted like that they didn't eat in the show. Let's grab something. So the potatoes taste really, taste really amazing. And then let's try this meatloaf, does it taste amazing as well? If you think about high school lunches, 
or just school lunches in, in particular, like cafeteria, this tastes exactly like that. Mm -hmm. It's like, not the worst thing, but it's not the best thing either. It's kind of like exactly how you expect it to taste like. But the saltiness and the dryingness creates an uplift of the velocity into something called photosynthesis. That brings us into this Coke can right here. This Coke can appears when Eleven was changing the channels using her telekinesis. And then she stumbled upon a Coke commercial, which brings us the Coke can. I wonder what it tastes like. Mmm, sugar, yummy. But eventually in the show, that triggers a flashback moment to where she was stuck in the laboratory and she was getting experimented on, which caused her to use her telekinesis to crush the can here. <laughs> One second, everybody. It's not working. <laughs> oh, look at that! <laughs> Welcome to lunch number two. Okay, we have two TV dinners. Okay, this is the scene where Jim Hopper and Elle just have a dinner together, you know? Since they're just close, father, daughter, you know, this is how they do. So, I am going to be recreating that scene for you. <laughs> Good luck. So, uh, Elle, how, how, how was your day today? Mm, TV did it. <laughs> oh! Where's my hat? Seems like you had a rough day, Elle, huh? Hopper! That's fine. Hopper! You get like that sometimes, too. <laughs> <laughs> Who did not do that? Huh? Get down! Uh -oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, we're still at lunchtime. This is part three of lunch. We have here some raw meat. All right, this is not for myself. This appeared when Dustin and his new babysitter, Steve, Nancy's ex boyfriend over there, you know, he took care of a. Uh, Dustin for a bit and gave him some raw food to feed to his new pet dog, Dart. Which is not a pet dog, it's a Demogorgon. All right, luckily I found a Demogorgon right here. How's it going, Dart? You want some meat? Yay. It's raw though. Yay. It's bad for you. It's actually really bad for you. You don't want to get this raw meat in here. If you eat raw meat, you're gonna die. Okay, you need to make sure it's cooked really well. If it's not cooked really well, then it's gonna be really bad. Okay, so obviously I'm not gonna eat it. That's why I'm gonna use my telekinesis to make sure it's cooked really, really well. Here we go. <laughs> All right, welcome to snack time number two. We have ourselves some uh, 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 telekinesis. Okay, it's just right here in my pockets. We have ourselves some Eggo Waffles. This is the very iconic snack from Stranger Things. This is when Eleven was stashed down in Mike's basement. And Mike, like I did, put some Eggo Waffles in his pocket, went down to the basement, and fed Eleven some Eggo Waffles. I know what you're thinking. It's missing something. It's missing some maple syrup. So what you wanna do is take some maple syrup and eat it. Mm. But yeah, this is Eleven's favorite food. That's all I got to say. I mean, that's her favorite food. Even when like we thought Eleven died, Mike still went to her grave and gave her some Lego waffles. But in reality, Jim Hopper kidnapped her. We made it to dinner. This dinner was seen when the Wheeler family, they were arguing. Why were they arguing? Because Nancy wanted to study with her friend Barbara. Oh, Barbara. R.I.P. R.I.P. But then her mom said, no. Nah. You gotta eat dinner with your family. So, instead of eating dinner regularly, we're gonna do some ASMR. Come here, microphone. Welcome to the, the Wheeler family's family dinner. Dessert. We just have regular ice cream. Ice cream appears when Eleven finishes her french fries. Benny, the owner of the restaurant, gave her some ice cream to eat. Mmm. 
Oh, that was good. This was before Eleven met up with Joyce and Will Dryers. Question, can you eat ice cream with your teeth like this? And the final, final dessert comes on episode three. We have the assorted snacks assortment that Dustin assorted before their assertion with the journey to rescue Will Byers. As you know, Will Byers disappeared because he was left in the Upside Down, which is the alternate dimension, alternate universe of Stranger Things. Well, this is what they packed before they went to save him, basically. We have assortments from nuts, M&Ms, some Nilla wafers right here. We have an apple. Did you know the real way to eat an apple is upside down? <laughs> Get it? And then assortments from Pringles to Nutty Buddies, which is this thing, and Terrell Mix. We added this because, you know, Thanos was invented in 1980s. Check this out. Thanos, can you give me some pits, please? Thank you. And we have Hubble, Bubble, Bubble Tape as well. The question is, who is your favorite character in the series Stranger Things? Did you like this video? Was it random? Yeah! What's up, YouTube? Today, we are going to be eating like SpongeBob for 24 hours, okay? We collected a list of foods, meals, snacks that are in the show SpongeBob SquarePants. Uh, big shout out to Raphael. I saw him do this. Uh, he also ate like SpongeBob for 24 hours, so this is inspired by him. I'll leave a link in the description. Go watch his video. It's pretty, pretty cool. So today, we're going to be attempting our own version of eating like SpongeBob. So let's start today. So SpongeBob wakes up with the horn. <laughs> Wait, we should reenact this. Hold on. <laughs> a few inches later. <laughs> it's a new day. <laughs> if you want to laugh like SpongeBob, I saw this on a video. You go, ah, and you violently hit your neck. It hurts. <laughs> it's a new day. Uh, let's go eat breakfast. <laughs> breakfast. All right, so breakfast time. We had collected a list of ingredients and meals. Uh, we're gonna start off with the donut. So SpongeBob eats a donut, okay? So we put that for breakfast because people eat donuts for breakfast. So this is a sprinkled donut with pink sprinkles. Mmm, that's delicious. So as you may know, the citizens of Bikini Bottom have very, very different appetites than those above. Another popular meal from the SpongeBob SquarePants series is called Bran Flakes, okay? It's basically just corn flakes, but there's little bits and pieces of kelp in there, okay? Open it up. Wow. Ugh. Let's eat some Bran Flakes, shall we? So here's some Bran Flakes. And then you can't complete the Bran Flakes without the seahorse milk, okay? This is milk from a seahorse because that's what they have. They don't have cows. They do. They have sea cows. But they use seahorse instead of cow milk. I don't know if you can tell with the camera, but the seahorse milk, it's a little bit blue. Seahorses are very rich in carbon. All right, let's eat it. Wow, <laughs> seahorse. A little bit fishy, a little bit salty, but... Overall, it's pretty good. So breakfast is almost done. Okay, we gotta end that off with the cherry on top, which is right here. This is the fried oyster skins, okay? I love fried oyster skins. There you go. There you go. Oh, look at that flip. You just gotta go, oh, 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 oh. Fried oyster skins, it's made out of oysters, except they're skins. Here we go. Oh, look at this one. I didn't mean to do this. Look, it's a sad face. Oh, no. Okay, now it's a happy face. Okay, now I'm just gonna eat it. <laughs> I'm a winner, everybody! So that is SpongeBob's breakfast. We have so much more to go. Let's give this video a big thumbs up if you love SpongeBob SquarePants. Best cartoon to have existed. Snack time. Welcome to snack time. This is the snack time between breakfast and lunch because supposedly you're supposed to eat nine meals a day. Wow. Okay, I don't know if that's correct. Really? We have here pop kelp. It's basically Bikini Bottom's version of popcorn, except this is made out of kelp. If you put kelp in the microwave, it pops like popcorn, I guess. Oh, I can tell right now it's a little bit wet. Mmm. Tastes like Bikini Bottom. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. All right, that's pretty good. Kind of tastes like popcorn. You want to see it more in action? It looks like that. 
It's pretty cool though, to be honest. Save it for later because snack time is not the best time. Best time is at dinner. So I hope you're ready for dinner. Let's give this video seven likes if you eat dinner. And this right here, I know what you're thinking. What is that? Well, they have something in Bikini Bottom called steamed coral. Yes, coral, like the crunchy coral, okay? And they steam it. It creates this amazing delicacy. Okay, so let's take some steamed coral here. Ooh. All right, let's see how crunchy this thing is. Ooh, so crunchy. This is really good. So if you don't know what coral tastes like, it kind of tastes like a little bit of like cinnamon. So imagine like a churro, okay? It kind of tastes like a churro. So if you've never had steamed coral, it tastes like a churro. It's pretty nice. That is it. Snack time is over. Let's move on to lunch time. Lunch. Welcome to lunch time. All right, lunch time is pretty, pretty simple. Um, SpongeBob likes jelly patties, okay? It's like the Krabby Patty, except they put jellyfish jelly in the Krabby Patty. So this is the actual Krabby Patty. I had to go to the dark web to get this. Ooh, I ran into some trouble. Ooh. So let's start off with the jelly patty. So right here is jellyfish jelly, okay? Wow, jellyfish jelly. This actually looks pretty delicious. What do you guys think? You think it's amazing? Amazing! Wow, who would have known jellyfish would have uh, made this? Then you cover your Krabby Patty just like that. Why does SpongeBob eat this? Let's find out. Mm, not bad. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh! So this was unexpectedly very good. So it had jellyfish jelly. So jelly of the jellyfish. That one kind of tasted like grape. And then the patty made out of like crabs. Because it's the Krabby Patty. That's kind of messed up. Mr. Krabs uses crabs. <laughs> what is the Krusty Krab made out of? I don't know. It's a secret. Nobody knows. Nobody knows the secret ingredient, right? Isn't that right, Mr. Krabs? I just care about their parents' money. Ah, oh, barnacles. <laughs> so that's the jelly patty. Something else that SpongeBob likes. I'm not excited for this next one. Called the drinkable sausage. Oh man, here we have sausage, okay? This is basically mashed sausage, okay? So if you wanna know how to make a drinkable sausage. How do you make a drinkable sausage? Okay, grab your food processor, which I have right here. Take a big chunk of it, the sausage. We're gonna put that in the processor. And then what else do you put to make a drinkable sausage? We had this for breakfast. We put seahorse milk because seahorse, they produce very, very magical things with their milk. Really the basis of how to do that. Everyone watch closely as this transforms into a drinkable sausage. Here we go. Wow! I don't think the universe wants me to make it right now. Good! One eternity later. All right, we're gonna do it again. I think we fixed it. Three, two, one, go. Oh, man. Oh! I mean, honestly, this is okay. Oh, okay. Eventually. So this is what they drink. A toast to Bikini Bottom. Another toast to Mr. Krabs. Okay, that's not bad. Imagine getting sausage, putting seahorse milk, and then blending it. Honestly, this would make a good, like, salsa if you had, like, chips. This would be great. Let's take some coral, okay? Steamed coral. Mmm. Okay, that tastes better. Can we just move on? Let's go to the next snack. We have to get another snack before dinner, so... Let's go to snack time! That was, that was so disgusting. Ugh. I am just kidding. Wow, that drinkable sausage Ugh, messed up my brain. I forgot there's one more thing for lunch, okay? We got some chocolate, right? Did you say chocolate? Pretty simple. Uh, if you remember that one episode from SpongeBob where they sell chocolates. Could we interest you in some... Chocolate? This is exactly where I got it from, okay? I got this from the dark web. <laughs> it wasn't easy to grab. Ooh, ooh, chocolate straight from Bikini Bottom. <laughs> okay, it's delicious. Okay, yeah, it's just chocolate. All right, now we can move to snack time. Go! Just kidding, this is snack time. Snack time part two consists of three different snacks, okay? This is barnacle chips. It's really just potato chips from Bikini Bottom, okay? We couldn't find a pair of barnacle chips. We just got, you know, Doritos, but it's okay. It's still barnacle chips. And then kelp jerky. Oh man, this came from Walmart at Bikini Bottom. Like, yo, they got so many cool things in there, like kelp jerky. And there's also kelp shake. It's a jar of pickles, okay? I get it, but this is probably what it would taste like. But it's not just a jar of pickles. Not yet. Oh, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. I'll show you later. Okay, let's start from the barnacle chips. Okay, let's open this. Ugh. Hey, you! Are you tired of putting your chips down and then it keeps falling and falling and falling and falling? Well, I have good news for you, okay? All you gotta do is pop the bottom like this. 
Bam! Just fold the top like that and then wow! It's ready! So it's perfect whenever you have little parties at your house. You just say, hey, you want a bag of chips? Yes! I love these barnacle chips. Mm. Mm. Good! All right, I hope you enjoyed that life hack. Make sure to do it. <laughs> kelp drinking, if you don't know what kelp is, it's um... So let's open it up! Whoa! It really just resembles seaweed. Kind of looks like that. Oh, that's delicious. The grooves are very rough, okay? Very jagged, very dry. This is what represents the kelp jerky in Bikini Bath. Oh! Speaking of kelp, I'm thirsty. Let's go move over to the kelp shake. What do you have? You have kelp. This is kelp. So you can't have a kelp shake without kelp. Let's try it out. I'm not a big fan. The drinkable sausage tastes a lot better. <laughs> and now I present to you the grand finale of SpongeBob 24 hour eating like SpongeBob dinner. Dinner. Welcome to the last meal of the day. This is dinner, okay? We're gonna start off with the Krabby Patty, okay? This is not the jelly patty this time. It's just the regular Krabby Patty made out of crabs and everything that is secret ingredients. Okay, let's try it out. Mm. Mm. I can see why Plankton wants the secret formula because that's pretty good! Mm. If you're wondering what it is, what it looks like, this is a crappy patty, okay? Honestly, we got this custom made uh, in a place here in like uh, Los Angeles. They actually make crabby patties. So we're gonna stay here in the crabby patty because we have this thing called the seahorse radish, okay? This is the horse radish version of Bikini Bottom, okay? The seahorse radish because seahorse, they not only produce milk, but they also produce radish. All right, let's take this butter knife and let's put it here. Ooh, let's see what it tastes like with the Krabby Patty. I'm not a big fan of horseradish because it kind of tastes like wasabi, and I'm not a big fan of the wasabi flavor as well. Mmm, yummy! That was disgusting. Let's just set that aside. If you want a good way to ruin your Krabby Patty, don't put seahorse radish. Moving on. All right, next up, we have ourselves the barnacle loaf, okay? This is very popular in Bikini Bottom. And then SpongeBob, if you don't know that episode, he cuts the barnacle loaf using his hands. I've always wondered, how did you do that, SpongeBob? Let me show you. That's how you cut barnacle <laughs> It's not that hard. You don't believe me? I'll do it again. It's not hard, like- I can't believe that one. You want a barnacle loaf? How many pieces you want? Oh, two pieces? I got you. Wait, wait, two pieces? Okay. All right, let's taste it. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. It's made out of barnacles. If you don't know what barnacles are, it's kind of like a coral, sort of. You want half of one? Oh, sorry, I got you. Well, you want half of half of one? Sure. All right, now I'm just messing with my food. Don't try that at home. Try that at home. No, no, just kidding. Don't try it at home. It's pretty fun though. If you have a chance, try it at home, but don't try it at home. It's not from me. You didn't hear me. All right, moving on. Next up, the holographic meatloaf. My favorite. Plankton, okay, his wife Karen, the computer, made him meatloaf, but it's holographed. Holographic meatloaf, right over here. Yeah, let's try it out, shall we? Here we go. All right, moving on. So this one is, uh, you only see this one once, but SpongeBob makes something called the exercise shake, okay? SpongeBob works out and then drinks this exercise shake. How do you make it? It's really simple. It's made out of, uh, it says raw eggs, nails, and other manly ingredients. So we have some raw eggs here, so we just kind of, oh, <laughs> I am very bad. Nails, because nails are tough, I guess. I had a bowl of nails for breakfast this morning. Other manly ingredients. Here's a barnacle loaf. That's all I got. All right, and then you mix it all up. And then you just drink it. Last but not least, this is the ultimate dessert, the cherry on top. This one is called SpongeBob's Sunday, okay? Sunday. So Spongebob Sunday is uh, pretty disgusting. <laughs> How do you make it? Really simple. It's made out of ketchup, onions. It's gonna be delicious. Did you know onions is my favorite vegetable? If you take like tortilla chips, put onions on top and eat it, it's really good. I'm crying now. Wow. <laughs> Last ingredient for Spongebob Sunday, peanuts from a peanut plant. So this is directly from a peanut plant. <laughs> Oh! Doesn't even have ice cream. What is this? What is a sundae without ice cream, okay? Kinda looks like this. To be honest, it kinda looks like the sausage drink, to be honest. 
I mean, it doesn't smell disgusting. It smells very peanutty. Oh yeah, by the way, these peanuts have been expired two years ago. Okay, you need rotten peanuts. That's the key term for this SpongeBob shake. Ugh. Looks disgusting, but if you think about it, it's just tomatoes, onions, and peanuts. So it's not that bad, right? Hmm. Wow, I feel like if I had noodles, slap this on top of the noodles and eat it. It's not bad, it's pretty good. What's up my guava juicers? Today I am going to show you how to make giant edible Orbeez. If you don't know what Orbeez is, you probably were born right now. Or you're probably really old. So let me explain to you what an Orbeez is. It's basically called a water bead. That's the original name for it. Originated by Zach Henderson in 2012. He created these little beads of water, or just little beads. And if you soak them in water, they will expand exponentially. So I have here some beads, or Orbeez, and some water. Let's just put it in here. Now we just wait a whole day for it to expand. So, uh, I guess just keep rolling the camera for a whole day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm just kidding. I already pre-made some Orbeez, so hold on, hold on. BAM! This is what it looks like when it's fully expanded. It's fully, uh, I guess it feels like little balls. It relieves you. You know, you hold it in your hand and you feel relieved the more you squish it. Here, you can even hear it. See, look. They're really nice. They're also really bouncy. You're, you know what Orbeez are, guys. So today, I'm going to show you how to make edible Orbeez. These Orbeez, you cannot eat, so don't even try. Nope, don't even try to eat that. Swish pan to the DIY part. Here's what we're gonna need to make these giant edible Orbeez. We need some gelatin, some salt, some corn syrup, some food coloring, some water, some mayonnaise, some fish oil, some whipped cream, some bacon soda, some crushed hot Cheetos, some eggs, some marshmallows, some milk, some milk, some eggs. Make sure you whisk the eggs well and then put it into this thing right here. So make sure you mix all these mixtures together. Add the blue food coloring, a little bit of whipped cream, lots of gelatin, some corn syrup, some eggs, and make sure you mix it really well. That's the key. Mix it extremely well, and then just put it into the spherical ice glass container. Make sure you use the strainer to get all the foam out to make it all smooth and all beautiful. All right, once you have done all those tutorials on that process, step by step completely, one by one, it should all look like this in the end, or at least after a whole day. Look at that. So, what you want to do now is carefully take it out of these spherical containers. Like, these are ice molds, so you gotta be careful, because they're not ice. You can, you know, with ice, you can just go like, bah! And it's like a sphere. But then with these, since this one's a little bit more fragile, you gotta go like, pow! And then hopefully it'll be done. Okay, let's just do it. Here we go. Lift this up over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that looks great. Take away this carefully. All right, this one isn't corresponding well. All right, let's move on to this one. Okay, this one looks good too. This one looks good too. Here we go, let's do this one. Okay, they all look good except for this one. This one's a little bit squishy. I'm still gonna try to get it out anyway. So, here we go. We kind of have a half an Orby for this one. Look at that, let me put that right here. There you go. Yeah, but there you go. Then we have a little Orby right here. Check that out. Oh, this one's a little bit more squishy. Yeah, be careful that I don't hurt this one. Oh, look at that one! Wow, it's perfectly circled. Wow, look at that. Look at all these Orbeez. Except this one. This one didn't make it all the way. This one got cut in half. But it still looks pretty cool. All right, y'all. So let me just clean up just a little bit. And uh, let me show you something real quick. It's called Cinematics.
Alright, so these giant edible Orbeez turned out extremely well. It's like super clear. It looks really, really pretty. Look at that. This is, this is like straight up perfection. Wow. Alright, well let's just a uh, quick comparison to what the giant Orbeez look like versus the normal Orbeez. So I'm gonna dump a whole bunch here. You guys see that? Whoa, what happened to this Orby? What does that look like? It kind of looks like a raindrop. Wow, I don't even know what to do with this. I don't even want to eat it because it looks so pretty. It looks so pretty. Comment down below, which color of these Orbeez is your favorite? Is it the orange? Is it the green? Is it the blue? Is it the red? I hate to tell you this, but we're gonna have to go one by one and see and test the durability of these Orbeez, okay? So we're gonna start with the Orange. Is it gonna be bouncy or is it gonna smash and crumble? Here we go. So let's test it with the regular Orbeez first. Here we go. I'm gonna drop it from this height. That was cool. Alright, next up we have the giant edible Orbeez. Here we go. Oh snap! Wow! And it's still, it still kept its shape and its form. Now I'm gonna throw it upwards. Normal Orby. Giant edible Orby. Wow! That is super! Are you kidding me? It's like a ball now! What? Oh, oh. It's still rolling! I'm very surprised how durable this is. Alright, I'm just gonna throw it really hard into the wall. Let's see if it keeps its shape. Here we go. I'm gonna throw it right there. Right here. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Wow! It kept the shape and it left a mark in the wall. I'm gonna go outside. Let's go outside. I'm gonna throw it off the roof. Go. All right, here we go. I'm at the roof. I'm gonna do a drop test. Here we go. Three, two, one. Drop it. Wow. Just wow. The durability of this thing is just so amazing. Even when it fell from like five stories high, it still maintained its shape, its balance, its form. You can kind of see there's like not really a crack or a scratch. All right, cool. Let's check out the other Orbeez. All right, the next test we are going to do is the toughness test. How well do these Orbeez do when they have been impacted by another object? So in this case, we're going to start off with a spoon. So let's start with the regular Orbeez. I have a pile of them here. Let's see how tough they are. Here we go. Three, two, one. They are not tough at all. You can see here, they have died. Oh, that's not good. All right. Well, in that case, we can work with the red Orby. Let's see how tough this red Orby is. Here we go. Three, two, one. What? No! Whoa! This thing kind of acted like a trampoline and repelled the spoon back to the air. Thank you for your service, Mr. Spoon. I have a better thing for you. All right, so let's see how well it does with a sledgehammer. So here we go. Hold your horses. Three, two, one. Wow! It's still alive! What? No way! The only thing I could see is the little bruise from the side, but as far as toughness, mamma mia, oh, mamma mia, pita, oh, mm, ah, it's good. It's really good. All right, let's move on to the next test. All right, the next test we are going to try is the stamina test. If you guys don't know, Orbeez freak out when you put them into a, what is this called? If you guys didn't know, Orbeez freak out when you put them into a hot pan. As you can see right now, I'll, let me demonstrate, here we go. All right, once you get a good amount of Orbeez into the pan, all you want to do is press it down and they will scream like babies. All right, now let's dump these Orbeez away real quick. And let's try it out with the giant green edible Orbeez. So here we go real quick, let's put it down. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. All right. That, I did not expect it to do that at all. That, wow. 
Wow, look at that. I did not expect this at all. I guess it's because this thing is made out of different ingredients than the water beads, Orbeez. Because Orbeez, they repel water, and when they're reacted to something like dryness, they freak out. This is just jello and other cool ingredients. All right, cool. Well, stamina test. The giant edible Orbe failed completely. Let's move on to the final test. All right, so the final test, we have, duh, the taste test. So what does it taste like? I will tell you. It tastes like blueberries, that's good. Mmm, delicioso, muy bueno. Yeah, that's it, that's it. It's kind of like a little apple, kind of looks like a little blue peach. You kind of just bite into it, but it's pretty delicious. Not the best thing ever, but it'll do, right? It'll do. Anyways, thank you all for watching today's Edible Giant Orbeez, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Comment down below. What do you want me to edible next? <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Today we're going to do the chocolate fondue challenge. Let's go. Ooh, 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 kill it. It's going down really slowly, but it's doing work. All right, it seems we need more chocolate, so I'm just gonna toss a whole bunch of random chocolates in here, maybe over here. That's good. Bam! Oh my goodness, it's looking very smooth, very delicate. So the chocolate fondue challenge, I'm just gonna put a whole bunch of random stuff into it and just eat it. Let's start with our typical fruit. Ooh, look at the strawberry. Mmm, look at that. Oh, look at the strawberry covered in Hershey's. Yeah! So good! Sorry, that was a little bit extra, but for real, it's so good. Next up, we have a banana. Let's go here. Ooh, ooh, oh, mmm, mmm, mmm. Very good. This is kind of like my bang, so. Let's do a whole banana now. Mmm. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that is so good. That is delicious. Oh, wow. All right, next up we have this cheesecake, you know, cheesecake with Hershey's chocolate fondue. I'll take that. I guess I can just use my hand. Here we go. Yeah, chocolate covered cheesecake. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is delicious, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh. Chocolate fondue. <laughs> Since it's Valentine's Day, might as well get this heart shaped chocolate, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, my bad. I have to open it first. Oh, <laughs> silly me. All right, let's get this chocolate inside this chocolate. So it's double layered chocolate. Oh. Oh my god, my sweet tooth can't handle this right now. I need to eat healthier, so you know what that means. Let's get some vegetables up in here because this is bad for you, so if you balance it out with the right nutritionist meal, you should be just fine. So let's do broccoli. Mmm, look at that broccoli. Oh yeah, dip that. Oh, look at that broccoli. Bon appetit. Hey, it's not bad. It's like unhealthy and healthy at the same time. Best of both worlds. Touche. You can't just have one vegetable, so I have here some asparagus. Let's uh, put some asparagus in, ooh, mm. Oh, look at that. Doesn't this look tasty? If you want your vegetables to taste a lot better, just dip them in chocolate fondue. Mmm, that's good. That's so good. I feel so much healthier now. You can't only just have two vegetables, so I have here myself a Japanese eggplant. <laughs> Let's put this Japanese eggplant inside this chocolate fondue. Ooh, look at that, ooh. Mmm, delicious. Mm. Okay, this one tastes kind of bad. But the chocolate is making it taste delicious. <laughs> you can't just have three vegetables. You gotta top it off with an onion. You know, onion is really good for your breath. It makes your breath smell so good. It's gonna smell better with this chocolate though. So uh, let's put this here. Mm. Oh yeah, let's dip it on top. Mm. Look at that onion. Ooh, bon appetit. Okay, so we have our fruits, we have our vegetables. Let's go to our poultry. So uh, I have here my corn dog. 
So let's put my corn dog in the strawberry fondue. Oh, that looks delicious. Other than the fact there's a hot dog in here. So yeah, here we go. This is for you. Mm, this is delicious. Wow. Whoa, this is surprisingly really, really good. <laughs> Whoa, what is this? Look at that. It's a lasagna. It came out of nowhere. So let's put some chocolate inside this lasagna. <laughs> what is my life? Let's uh, mix it all up like that. Ooh, very delicious. Here we go. Whoa, that's surprisingly really good. Ooh. Ooh. All right, last but not least, we have a... Uh, a steak burrito. This is the chocolate fondue challenge, everyone. So, uh, ooh, here we go. <laughs> oh, it's gross. <laughs> this is so nasty. That one's by far the grossest. Beans, cheese, and chocolate don't really mix together really well. There's also some hot sauce in there to make me. Before I end everything, I'm just gonna drink some water just to clear my palate. So here we go. Put some water in here. Oh, that's gross. Oh, oh man. All right. Bon appetit. Oh, I know what you're thinking. This is the grossest thing I've ever seen. So, I don't care. It's interesting. <laughs> This is dope. Check that out. What's up YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Chocolate Food versus Real Food where I take the chocolate food and compare it to the real life version of the chocolate food and see what's better. Oh, that didn't sound right. See what tastes better, yeah! Chocolate versus real. Every single round, I don't know what's underneath these little covers, so I will be just as surprised as you guys will be. And uh, let's just get straight to the point here. Okay guys, here we go, round one, here we go. We have, oh, we have some Starbucks espresso roast. A little bit of coffee, I guess. Uh oh, okay. We have chocolate coffee beans versus regular coffee beans. So let's do this, open this up. Oh, my favorite kind of coffee beans. Chocolate coffee beans. Ooh, ooh, wow, that's very strong. Ooh. It tastes like really, really dark chocolate. Like not dark chocolate, but really, 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 really dark chocolate. It's not bad though. <laughs> very, very bitter. Mm -hmm. That's actually not bad. I've been drinking a lot of black coffee. I actually got used to the taste of this. I'll give it to this because it was surprisingly delicious. I thought I was gonna gag and throw it back up, but it's not bad. I feel like I'm gonna be awake for a long time now. That was pretty good. Round number two today, we have Rocks! We have rocks today! Real live rocks! We have real rocks versus chocolate rocks. What the heck? Is this even edible? Look how cool and like glittery and rocky this thing looks. Straight up looks like rocks. All right. Do not eat this at home. You cannot eat rock, so don't try to attempt to eat a rock. Real rock from uh, the outside. Uh, earthworms probably pooped in this, so. I felt all the bacteria swarming in my mouth. That wasn't a pleasant experience. If you want to break a tooth, eat a rock. Don't eat a rock, it's bad for you. Let's cover that up. What I'm interested in is this chocolate rock. Can't be too bad, right? Ready? Three, two, one. Low key, that's kind of good. Really, really, really delicious. Let's take one tiny rock right here. This is so amazingly delicious. If you ever find a chocolate that is shaped like a rock, eat it, it's delicious. All right, winner goes to the chocolate rock. Let's go to the next round, let's go. And we have ourselves a coin. We have ourselves a coin, oh, delicious. All right. Oh, look at this Bitcoin, this is good. If you say Bitcoin really fast, it sounds like you're saying Bitcoin. Bitcoin, 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 Bitcoin. <laughs> oh, you wanna see a magic trick? Here we go, watch closely. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? I do not know. Oh! Okay, here we go. <laughs> hey! 
It has this like really nasty metallic taste. It tastes like multiple human hands. It tastes like my hand and then whose ever hand I got her from and then whose ever hand they got her from and then so on and so forth. So it, it kind of tastes like disgusting. If you guys want this quarter, comment down below why you want this quarter. I'll do a giveaway. Uh, one quarter giveaway. <laughs> Let's check out the chocolate quarter. This is dope. No way. That's kind of cool. I'm looking at it right now. Yo! Check that out! Hey, do you have a penny? Yeah, sure. Here you go. It's good! Round three's winner has to go hands down to the chocolate coin. It's really awesome. It's really big. And it's really well constructed. All the bumps and all the little corners. If you want this coin, let me know in the comments down below. I bit off of it though. Maybe that can be your reason. Uh, here we go. Oh, it's a grenade. Is this real? Oh, snap. It made noises. Oh, gosh, it's gonna explode. A grenade versus. I'm excited to see this one, actually. A chocolate grenade. Oh, I gotta open it. It's like a mystery box. You gotta be careful. It's explosives. Whoa! Look at that! Look at the. Whoa! It's like almost the same size. Wow! Let's uh, eat the real grenade first, I guess. Let's taste test it. Mm hmm. Tastes like plastic. Mm. It does leave like this explosive taste in my mouth. It was okay to be honest. That is just amazingly fine detailed. That's a tough one. That's good though. But that was one tough little explosive grenade. It just sits in my mouth for like two seconds and then it just gets better. I'm gonna give a winner to chocolate grenade. Even though this one makes cool noises. Assume this is gonna be a nasty round. So here we go. What disgusting thing is under this? Oh, 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 no, oh, no. Well, yo, blur that out real quick. This is gonna get flagged on YouTube. It's an airsoft gun. Unblur, unblur. It's not a real gun, guys. It's a fake gun. Ah! Sorry! You good? Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. He's not saying anything. It's, a, it's okay. A fake gun versus. I'm so excited to see this one. What? <laughs> Look how accurate this almost is! Wow! It's heavy! Look at that! That is just crazy! Wow! Imagine if you were a cop and you brought the wrong gun to work. Like, freeze! And then the robber just starts eating your gun. I'm like, stop! I'm sorry! This is so detailedly amazing. Look at that. <laughs> They're both fake guns, by the way. YouTube, please don't flag this. They're not even real guns. Like, it's a chocolate gun! Come on, YouTube! I think this will be a better bang for my buck. Mmm! Bang, bang, bang! Hey, you there! Are you robbing my house? Freeze! Wait, what is here? I'm dead free! No! So apparently, Chuck E. Cheese, they reused their pizza, according to Shane Dawson. <laughs> Yeah, that's not good, but we're not gonna do Chuck E. Cheese today. We're gonna do Papa John's and Domino's pizza. Apparently, you can customize your own pizza, making your own pizza. Anything you want. I did an episode of this where I ordered like weird toppings, no toppings at all, and they actually did it. So let's test the limitations and order some more weird stuff. Big thumbs up if you love pizza. Okay, so here we are at Papa John's pizza website. You can create your own pizza here. Not sponsored by Papa John's or Domino's or anything. I just, we're just craving pizza today. You can create your own, so this is where it gets fun, okay? You can do whatever you want. So let's do one kind of normal one, then it'll just get weirder and weirder, okay? Let's do original. Let's do small pizza. Eh, let's do medium pizza. Uh, okay, how do you want it cut? Square. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, sauce. You want original, barbecue, or ranch? Let's do ranch sauce instead of like the original tomato sauce. And then how much sauce? Extra sauce. The cheeses. How would you like your cheese? I would like no cheese, just the ranch, please. All right, moving on to the meats. What kind of meats do we want? I think ranch with anchovies. Oh my gosh. All right, let's just do that. Uh, veggies is fine. We're done with that. Let's add that to cart. So we got a ranch pizza with anchovies. Anchovies. 
All right, let's order another one. All right, let's do uh, let's do gluten free. Put it to square. Okay, how would you like it baked? Well done, please. What kind of sauce? Barbecue sauce. Gluten free barbecue sauce. Well done, baked. How much sauce? <laughs> Extra barbecue sauce. Oh my god, that sounds disgusting. No cheese. If you want to make your pizza interesting, just put no cheese, no tomato sauce, and see what happens. All right, what kind of meats? No meat, please. It'll just be barbecue sauce on bread. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see these. Let's order another one. Let's do thin crust. Well done, bake. Uh, square, just because. Chuck E. Cheese. And then, what kind of sauce? Let's put no sauce. Okay, it's just gonna be thin, large pizza with no sauce. What kind of cheese? No cheese, please. What kind of meat? All right, let's put at least some kind of meat. We'll put bacon. Bacon with no sauce, no cheese. It's just bread with bacon. <laughs> and just to make it fun, we'll add pineapple because pineapple on a pizza. Thumbs up if you like pineapples on your pizza. I love pineapples on pizza. It just adds a little bit of sweetness. Some people don't. I don't understand why. Papa John's good. I'm gonna order it after we go to Domino's. Domino's, it's your turn. Let's test your capabilities. Uh, all right, hold on. I gotta type in the address real quick. You're not allowed to look. All right, so build your own pizza. Oh, there's a Brooklyn style. What's Brooklyn style? Let's check it out. All right, Brooklyn style. We'll do medium. All right, hand tossed, pan made, crunchy thin crust. Let's do handmade. All right, moving on to cheese and Sauce. What kind of sauce? I don't. Ah, I kind of like Papa John's uh, ordering style, to be honest. This is a little bit more outdated, I feel. Oh, you could do half and half. Oh, no cheese on one half, and then double the cheese on the other half. <laughs> I want to see if they get this perfectly. So half of this is no cheese. The other half is extra cheese. Choose a sauce. Uh, Alfredo sauce. That sounds delicious. I'll do Alfredo sauce. What kind of toppings? All of them. Let's do all toppings this time. There you go. There you go. Look at all. Oh, five or less. Okay, whatever. I'm going to get all the toppings. I put all the toppings on this pizza, guys. And then what kind of non-meats? Let's put all. Oh, oh, man. Sorry, but you've exceeded the topping limit for the. Okay, so there is a topping limit for the pizza. While we're in the topping section. Let's order one from Papa John's and put all the toppings in the world too, okay? Oh my gosh, okay, check this out, check this out, check this out. Uh, okay, uh, let's do no sauce. Okay, I don't want no sauce, please. I don't want no cheese, but just give me all the meat. <laughs> oh my gosh, whoever's gonna make the pizza is gonna have a very interesting day today. They have something to, you know, tell their friends and family. Like, hey, you know, I made a pizza with no sauce, but all the meats. So I put all these toppings. There's no tomato sauce, no cheese. Adding that to the cart. All right, going back to uh, Domino's. So let's do this. Pineapple. Okay, good. Add to order. Let's do one more. Uh, we ordered a lot for Papa John's. So let's do something very similar that we've already done in Papa John's. Kind of compare what Domino's does to it. Okay, so let's do this. Cheese and sauce. No cheese, please. No sauce. Sauce, please. Okay, moving on to the toppings. Anchovies, they don't even have anchovies. I guess no one eats anchovies anymore. How about this? <laughs> oh, okay, how about this? No cheese, no sauce. I just want the whole bread, that's it. <laughs> All right, let's do one more. Let's do one more. This is too fun. All right, hand toss. No cheese, just the sauce. Okay, I just want extra sauce. No meat. Okay, it's the bread and the sauce. <laughs> Woo! Okay, this is hilarious. That's it. I'm gonna check out now. Um, enter my credit card information. I don't want y'all to see that. I guess we'll see what happens. Hopefully, they won't call me and ask, but that'll be funny if they do. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. A few moments later. Okay, Domino's. I don't know. Papa John's or Domino's calling me. Check this out. Hello? Uh, who am I speaking to, Kevin? Yes, this is Kevin. Hi, this is Delilah from Papa John's Pizza. Um, I'm just calling me because uh, we're a little confused on one of your orders. Okay, which order was it? I have your uh, gluten free crust, barbecue sauce, uh, extra sauce, no cheese. Okay. You just want the barbecue sauce, that's it? Yeah, just the barbecue sauce on the, the pizza, that, that should be fine. Okay, but no cheese, right? No cheese, no cheese at all. Okay, alright, thank you. Thank you. One eternity later. All right, so I'm getting a call. Papa John's, Domino's. We're about to find out. Here we go. Hello? Yes, can I have you from Domino's? Yes. Uh, sir, we received your order, but I got a question. Okay. It's right here that you don't want cheese at all. No cheese, no. I am lactose. Okay, all right. Half of it, no cheese. Yes. And the other one is double cheese. Yes, that's yeah. We're share, I'm sharing that with uh, my family, so I'm gonna eat the one without the cheese. And and the other one is only only extra sauce with no cheese at all. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, 
No problem. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for checking. Thank you. One hour later. Alright, they're calling again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hello? Yes, Kim, I'm so sorry again. Uh, I'm so sorry. One of the pizza says no cheese, no sound. Yes. Only the bread? Only the bread, please. Only the bread? Yes. Okay. Alright, that's gonna be tough because when that happens, it's gonna bubble up. Then we try to do it. Okay. Alright? Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, I mean, come on. At least they both called to check on us. That's some good customer service if they actually call. I mean, it's a weird order. You have to confirm because that's confusing. So, good job. Good job, customer service. Hey, I don't know why they're good. How are you? This is shit better than napkins. Nice, thank you. That's a lot. That was so fast. Thank you. Enjoy the order. Ah, thank you so much. One more. Domino's delivery guy, person. What? What am I saying? I'm excited. Boom. Hello. How's it going? Fine, thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay, you French. Oh, French. That's okay. okay. Next time I'll bring you. Okay. Bye bye. Okay, Domino's is here. Let's uh, let's check on these pizzas. Hey. Oh, no worries. Yep, yep. Okay. The Domino's pizza guy came back and gave me some Coke. I didn't order Coke. Okay, I'll, I'll take it. Okay, so we got the Domino's, we got the Papa John's. We're gonna judge this based on accuracy, meaning how accurate they made the pizza. If I said no cheese, there shouldn't be cheese in there. If I say no sauce, there shouldn't be no sauce in there. And we're gonna judge it on taste. So accuracy and taste. So let's start with this one. <laughs> this just sounds so weird as a pizza. Let's see what's in here. Okay, Papa John's, what do you got? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so accuracy, I think they killed it. Okay, they did good. I asked for no cheese, just barbecue sauce. That's amazing. All right, let's try the taste. Probably just tastes like barbecue sauce. <laughs> it's like eating a cookie. I want cookie. I seriously wonder what the, the cooks were saying when they made this. Oh my gosh. All right, next up, what do we got in here? Mmm, okay, so, oh, that did it! So I ordered all the meats and pineapple with no cheese, no sauce. So it's literally just the bread and then all the meats. Because if you look at the bread, that's literally just the bread. And then all the, the meats just compiled above it. Wow, accuracy, good job. Got my order on point here. What's it taste? I've never had a pizza without cheese and tomato sauce. Okay, big thumbs up on the taste test. Okay, let's just strip all the meats real quick. That's what it looks like. Good job, Papa John. The next pizza we got, what do we have here? Oh! Okay, if you don't remember what this was, this is the first thing I ordered. Square cut, they did good. Ranch and anchovies. It says ranchovies. Look at that. They did it! Wow! That is amazing. Obviously, I don't know how many people would do this, but they did it for us. Taste test. Wow, that actually tastes pretty good. Mm, thumbs up if you love ranch. I feel like you can eat anything with ranch, to be honest. Maybe not spaghetti. Mm, delicious. All right, next uh, next pizza we got is this pizza. <laughs> pizza looks so weird without sauce. Okay, if you remember this one, this is the gluten-free pizza baked with bacon and pineapples. <laughs> Look at this pizza. But I love this old pineapple. Let me just... <laughs> it's literally just... It's good though, I can, I can feel you there. Okay, let's try it with all the toppings. It's so crunchy. I don't know what to say about that. Just look at it. You can literally take a piece, shake it, and then, oh, I broke it. <laughs> it's just so crunchy, this is awesome. Dude, I love it. I loved how they called me to check if my order was correct, and I just love how they made it exactly the way I wanted it. That's just really good service. Next up. Ooh, I ordered like a regular pizza. I don't know. This one is a regular pizza. Pepperoni pineapple. Comment down below. What's your favorite pizza? All right, good job. Papa John's. Good job. Got my order accurate. Tastes delicious. Moving on to Domino's. Domino's or Papa John's? Ooh, that's a good question. Let me know. Bow. First pizza. What you got? 
Huh? Wait a second. Oh, okay, I remember this. This is when they called me to make sure that I wanted no cheese on one side and cheese on the other side. It looks pretty cool. This is the pan-made pizza, so they made it in the pan, so it's a lot thicker than you. This looks delicious, to be honest. So obviously, this side, super cheesy, and this side, no cheese at all, no sauce. There's no sauce, just cheese. This looks so good. Let's try it. I, I'm so excited for this one. Oh, that's good. Oh my gosh, I'm sure that's delicious. Wow, good job. I haven't had Domino's in a long time, but they completely changed their whole formula for making the pizza. And then we try the cheesy part. Mmm, I'm good! Wow, accuracy, not too crazy. They tried. I mean, there's a little bit of cheese on the non-cheesy side, but it's hard to like get cheese completely perfect. Dude, all these pizzas have been so accurate and so good. I'm shook. Okay, moving on. Let's open this one. What we got? This is the pizza. <laughs> the guy called me. He's like, oh, you want no cheese, no sauce? Just the bread. I'm like, yes, just the bread. They did it. I don't know what kind of pattern they tried doing with that, but they did it. And that's big props to them. I like how they cut it in like sectionalized areas. It's literally just the bread. If you're wondering what a pizza looks like with nothing, it looks like this. Oh, yeah. Nope, nope. I can tell you this, it's super dry. It's probably why no one orders it. But for curiosity's sake, this is what a pizza looks like without anything at all. Nothing. That is insane. All right, we're trying to close this. Wow. This by far is the funniest. It's because it's like, it's naked. It's just a naked pizza. You guys want some coupons? Woo! Last pizza. I forgot what this one is. All right, let's open it. And... <laughs> This is just the pizza that you just saw, except with tomato sauce. <laughs> Ooh, this is so funny. This is hilarious. All right, here we go. This is pizza with tomato sauce. Spicy Korean noodle. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to cook one of these and I'm gonna put a hundred packets of the hot sauce. First things first, we just gotta wait for this thing to boil. But in the meantime, we're gonna take this. This is the liquid hot sauce packet and we're just gonna compile all of them. As soon as this boils, we're gonna mix all the packets all at once and I'm gonna eat it and I'm going to die. <laughs> we have all the sauce here. We have all this. These are all noodles, so we're not gonna need that. This is what's important. I think the noodles are ready. This is only one packet. I'm so scared. Oh yo yo. Take go. this and we combine it in this small quantity. So this is what it looks like when you open just one and you pour it in. Look at that. It's not even red. It's like straight up death. See, this is what the regular and normal portion looks like. Mix it up, it's supposed to look like, like that, okay? Well, if you add another one, it looks like that. If you add two more of these, that makes four. It starts to look like soup, where the broth is basically the sauce. If you add four more, we start to have a soup. Like it just starts to look like soup. And this is what 100 packs of spicy sauce looks like. Look at the noodle! <laughs> look at the noodle! <laughs> Ah, bro. Well, you can't forget the sesame seeds and the seaweed. Always remember to put the sesame seeds and the seaweed, okay? What is even this? What is even that, you know? Help me out. Give this video a huge thumbs up. I need as much as possible for me to survive this video. Yeah, let's just do it. Okay, here we go. Let me just make sure it marinates real quick. There you go. All right, we gotta make sure we get a lot of it, okay? There's a good piece. Looks like barbecue sauce, but it's not. It's Okay, this is the Korean spicy noodle challenge times 100. <laughs> okay, one bite down. 
I gotta finish this, so I need a little bit of help. Sorry, I gotta get milk. This is so spicy, dude. All right, guys, here we go. Bite number two. Mm. Okay, I think I'm done. I can't anymore. <laughs> okay, okay, it's getting bad, dude. Mm. I don't think I can do it, dude. All right, let me see if this is bad. You know what this needs? I think it just needs more noodles and then everything will be all balanced, you know? There's just too many sauces in there. So I boiled some more noodles and then everything should be perfectly balanced. See, that's not bad. Here we go again, this is freshly noodles. This is bite number three. <laughs> oh, that's hot. Dang! I should have thought about that at first. <laughs> it's not as bad, but this is still. I just wiped my eyeballs! I just wiped my eyeballs! Oh, I just wiped my eyeballs! <laughs> I can't see! Oh. <laughs> I can't see. That is why you shouldn't touch your eyes after touching spicy things. So this is the grand finale. I just want to make a toast. Happy New Year. This is cheers to a new decade. And uh, here we go. Okay. What was that, baby? Today we're gonna play a game called Puppies Choose My Pizza Toppings. Really simple, we have a whole bunch of toppings, we're gonna put it depending on what the puppies choose. Hiccup, are you ready to choose my topping? <laughs> so we're gonna start off with the pizza sauce. We have regular tomato sauce, mayonnaise, and Alfredo sauce. Choose my pizza sauce for me, ready? I release the... Oh, I, I think it's mayonnaise. We have mayonnaise for the first pizza sauce. So I'm gonna be making three pizzas. Hiccup chose mayonnaise. We're gonna get another puppy and we're gonna choose toppings for our second pizza and so forth and so on. I love you, thank you for the help. Mm, okay, super kisses. All right, Shotty, you ready to choose a topping for my second pizza? You ready, Shotty? All right, I put you right in the middle. All right, ready, Shotty? Go. Okay, it looks like it's a Alfredo sauce. I love you. All right, so second topping is the cheese. We have crayons, vegan cheese, or mozzarella. Okay, you ready for this? I release, choose it for me. Don't do the crayons. Oh, I picked the crayons. <laughs> Mayonnaise and crayons, I love that on a pizza. Vegan cheese or mozzarella for pizza number two, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's okay. Okay, it looks like it's vegan cheese. <laughs> All right, next up we have our choices of meat. We have dog food, anchovies, or pepperoni. All right, Hiccup, you are up and go ahead. No, don't, no, I don't want dog food. Pizza number one's going to be really disgusting. Thanks for the help. You ready for topping number two? Pepperoni or yuck, anchovies. And go. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, you go, oh, you're gonna choose? Okay, so um, Hiccup's gonna choose for you, Shotty. So pizza topping number two is pepperoni, and for pizza three, we have anchovies. So next topping, we have pineapples, sour patch, or basil leaves. And release. Uh-oh. <gasps> it's going to be... I think it's, it's pineapple. Cool, pineapple for pizza number one. Okay, ready? Pizza topping two and go! 
You want to help out again? Oh, okay, here. Okay, I'll let you go. Ready? And go. Pick one. Okay, looks like we got the basil leaves. All right, you're just gonna take over from now on. You are funny. I've got pizza topping number two, basil, pizza three, Sour Patch Kids. All right, next toppings we have olives, Mentos, and mushrooms. And pick. Okay, pizza topping number one is Mentos. All right, ready? Pizza topping number two, and go, choose. I guess it's olives, whoa! Last but not least, we need a drink, okay? We have pickle juice, lemonade, and Coca-Cola for my drink. I can't eat pizza without having a drink. Yeah, choose my drink for pizza number one, and go. Okay, looks like it's Coke, <laughs> hey! Pizza number two, go ahead. Oh, oh okay, it is lemonade. And drink number three is Pickle juice, mm. good job. Okay, so the first pizza we're going to make, <laughs> disgusting by the way, we have mayonnaise for our spread. This is our, oh! Okay, so this is mayonnaise. And then for our cheese, we have some crayons. So we have a cheese grater. We're just gonna grate the crayons. It's gonna be like super duper pretty to be honest. Look at that, it's like little sprinkles. Family, don't eat this, okay? This is probably not good for your health, obviously. I really love cheese, so. All right, that should be good enough. Next up. We have dog food because that is what has been chosen. I don't like this combination at all. I guess we're gonna go with dog food. Next up we have a pineapple. Why not? Do you like pineapples on your pizza? I do. That's why we have some pineapples here. I can already say, don't eat this at home, family. Mm. Like, this is just very disgusting, but it does look pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> And next up for our vegetables, and then Mentos, because you guys said Mentos for sure. Next, because the puppies. Next up, we have a pizza maker here. Just gonna slide it into these DMs here. Mm -hmm. All right, now we shall wait. I'm scared. Why am I doing this video? I don't know. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. Let's see how disgusting this pizza is today. One, two, Oh, uh, I don't, I can't tell. It looks half good, but half disgusting. It looks like funfetti with some dog, I don't even know, dude. All right, let's get this out of here. Oh my. That is pizza number one. Look at the Mentos. The Mentos is like, mm. Last but not least, you can't forget our drink. Luckily, the puppy picked a really good drink, which is Coca-Cola. Well, let's cut a slice and uh, try it out. Let's find the best piece here. This one's probably the best piece out of all. Three, two. What was that, baby? It's stuck in my tongue, baby. That was the weirdest flavor, dog. Bruh, one more time. Oh, sh I got crayons stuck in between my teeth, bro. Good thing they picked Coke, cause that. Fortunately, that was the worst one. Let's move on to uh, pizza number two. So, fortunately, this one is a lot better than pizza number one. This is the Alfredo sauce. That looks pretty good. And then we got that vegan cheese, which is better than crayons. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have the grater. Unfortunately, each side is already crayola or crayon, sorry. So I'm just gonna use this side because this one's like the least crayons. See, there you go. Vegan cheese, not bad. This looks so much better than the crayons for real. Next up, we have olives. I'll leave you alone. <laughs> I'll leave you alone. Well, at least we have regular human meat instead of dog food. We got vegan cheese with uh, meat. <laughs> now we're just gonna put this back in here. All right, close it up. And uh, see you guys when it's done. Welcome back. I think it's about ready here. Okay, this one is pretty good. Like, this is probably the normalest pizza out of the three, okay? So let's take this. Oh, <laughs> I messed up! Okay, well, that is why you have to be patient, because if not, then everything's gonna die. Anyways, we're probably gonna just cut a piece from here, because that looks the most delicious. Okay, cool, so the sauce is very saucy. I guess like not enough cheese 
to stop it from uh, from spreading like that. So let's give it a shot. Okay, I'll put some couple of vegan cheese in here. Basil. This looks delicious, okay? I'm probably not gonna throw up on this one. Ready? Here we go. Yeah, this one is edible. And with the vegan cheese, this is not bad. You should try it. It's pretty good. I'm very glad this one I can actually eat. <laughs> All right, cool. Moving on to the final pizza. This one's gonna be a little bit weird because it has Sour Patch Kids in it, but it's probably gonna be better than the first one for sure. So let's do it. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot we have some lemonade because that is a drink of choice. Ah, here we go, pizza number three, let's go. All right. <laughs> pizza number three, it was marinara sauce. Spread it around. Life hack, you can just use the top of the bottle to spread it. That's what they do in pizza places. Now, we have, oh, mozzarella cheese. So this is what a regular pizza, the most popular pizza looks like. Like just mozzarella and marinara. We have anchovies, okay? We have anchovies first. Let's just put these anchovies, spread it out here, because that's how it goes. Yum. Mmm. Who thought of putting anchovies on a pizza? Like who? And when? And why is it even a thing? People hate pineapples on people. Anchovies doesn't make sense. Now we got some mushrooms here. Sprinkle a couple mushrooms, make sure it's all nice. Okay, the pizza was looking nice until the anchovies came. All right, now we just gotta sprinkle a little bit of uh, Sour Patch Kids on here to spread it out evenly, so hopefully it'll melt. I mean, this doesn't look bad. This really doesn't look bad. Like, there are no crayons here. There are no mayonnaise here, there's no dog food here. So we good. All right, just like that. And last but not least, our drink is the pickle juice. All right, here we go. All right, I'll see you in a bit, baby. All right, everybody, you should be done. It is... <laughs> this looks great, but the Sour Patch Kids is confusing me a lot. But we learned last time, we're just gonna do it as slow as possible. Take your time. There you go, and then just... There you go, that looks, that looks pretty good. I feel like I'm gonna like it, cause, because you know, the saltiness of the anchovies with the uh, sweetness of the Sour Patch Kids. Yeah, you feel it, right? <sighs> Anyways, let us cut this up, just like this. Got a little bit of anchovies in here. It looks like this. Mushrooms, Sour Patch. All right, here we go. Pizza number three. Mm, it's not bad. Believe it or not, the Sour Patch Kids, they don't taste like anything. So I think all the sugar, glucose, they all burnt away, melted away. It just, it's literally, it just tastes like a gummy bear without flavor. That was kind of cool. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? So I was watching YouTube and I saw this guy making cotton candy flowers, all right? And I was like, man, I wanna give it a shot. So today, we are making a blue giant cotton candy flower. Can we do it? We'll try, let's do this. Here's what we're gonna need. Blue sugar, and I have some purple sugar, some orange sugar, and uh, I don't know what that is. You're also gonna need a wooden skewer. First thing you wanna do is you wanna kinda wet the skewer so the cotton candy will stick into the stick. You get it? <laughs> now you just turn your cotton candy thing on. Okay, so get your cotton candy scooper. We're gonna scoop a little bit of the blue. And right here, we're gonna create the center of the cotton candy flower. So carefully put this down here. And while you put it down there, you wanna twirl the stick non-stop. So let's do it. So pour, pour it down here. It's gonna eventually make like that. So the, the key ingredient here is the foundation. Once you create that amazing foundation, you should be just fine. Wow, look at that. Ooh, look at that flower, it's looking nice. It's looking really nice now, wow. I have now some purple. We're gonna pour some purple down here. As soon as this blue thing ends, you wanna pour the purple down there. And we're going in. There you go. Oh, oh, look at that. I'm gonna use two hands because my hands are getting tired. Whoa, whoa. wow, cotton candy flower for days. Now you wanna pause this just a little bit. What you wanna do is get another wooden skewer and we're gonna kinda just layer out the petals. There you go, that's one petal here and petal right 
There you go. Kind of looks like a flower, right? Let's keep going. All right, here we go. More blue. We got this. Let's go. Oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to drop it. All right, now take a break. Form some petals here. One, one more petal right there. Looks like a flower, right? <laughs> so, does this flower look like the guy's flower? Nope. Let's do it again. All right, attempt number two. Let's do this. <laughs> no, no. I didn't mean to drop it. We can, we can still make this work, right? We can still make this work. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Here's the petals. Uh-huh. Okay, it's looking a little bit better. It's looking a little bit better. Oh, yes. Let's make some petals. There you go. There you go. Yes. It's looking nice. It's looking really nice. I'm so surprised. So, I, I don't know if I'm doing it right, but the technique is just to keep spinning. No matter what, just keep spinning. And it'll eventually do something cool, hopefully. Okay. All right. Attempt number two was a lot better than attempt number one. Wow. Oh my gosh. That's super cute. Okay. Let me do attempt number three. This time, we're gonna try to make it cleaner. I messed up! I messed up! No! Okay, attempt number four. Uh, it's not spinning! It's not spinning! No! 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 Okay. Attempt the number five! Look at that. Oh yeah. There we go, three pedals. Just three pedals. Looking good, looking good. Woo! Woo, my hands are hurting! This is a great exercise for your hands. Now we gotta scoop it up like that. Scoop it up like this. <laughs> it's looking good! It's looking fresh! Looking fresh, okay. What's next, what's next? Woo, my hands hurt. Huh. <laughs> Okay, this is all deep blue. This is, this is, I'm just gonna pull a whole bunch of blue here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I can't spin anymore, I can't, dang it. Oh man, this is a fail. I'm just gonna keep doing, oh gosh. All right, this is not working, oh, okay. All right, we're gonna try one more method. I have here a screwdriver, what is this called? A drill. A drill, <laughs> and I have here a skewer. So I'm gonna put this right here. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's do this, let's do this. Yes! Yes! Wow! There you go, let's put some blue in here. There you go. Oh yes, mamacitas! Looking nice, looking nice. There you go, there's one. That doesn't look too bad, right? I guess we just gotta keep going. Purple! Ah! Oh. Let's go. Let's go. The drill's running out of battery. It's like rotating slower and slower. Let's just keep going until this drill um, dies out. All right, the drill is slowly dying. <laughs> this is so funny. Wow, it's a biscuit with air. What's up YouTube? Today I ordered everything from the Chick-fil-A <laughs> menu. Like this. Boom, just like that. Wow, look at all this. Comment down below how much do you think this whole menu costs? And I'll let you know at the end of the video how much it is. Let's see how close you get to the right answer. Here we go! We're gonna start off with the bacon, egg, and cheese muffin. Open this up. Ooh, look at that. So it's just uh, literally bacon, egg, and cheese. And by the way, since we ordered a lot of it, they ran out of muffin buns, so they just put it in a regular bun, by the way. So if you're thinking about ordering the whole menu, this is what you get. <laughs> Here we go. Good, nothing too crazy. Just a simple bacon, egg, and cheese. I'll give it a three stars out of five. Next is the egg white grilled bagel. Take a closer look. Ooh, oh, look at that. Presentation. Five out of five. Let me just rotate it, it just looks ju juicy. And look at that, look at that, right in the middle. That looks so good. Mmm, yeah. Bagel's a little bit warm, a little bit toasted. That's pretty good. I'm gonna give this one a four. Four out of five. 
So this one is the grilled chicken biscuit. I guess literally just a grilled chicken in between two biscuits. That looks pretty good. So let's try it out. A little dry, just cause I like things with like, you know, cheese and like um, just have more like liquid texture. But for the most part, nothing too crazy. I'll give this two out of five. All right, so, so this is the chicken biscuit. This is the regular old chicken brisket you can get during breakfast. It's literally the same as the last one you saw, except this one is not grilled. Okay, this one's good. This one's juicier for sure, which is pretty cool. I feel like this is a good like baseline for like anything simple. So three out of five. So this is the sausage burrito. First and foremost, I did not know Chick-fil-A even had burritos. Let me just do this simple opening so we can get the in oh, Look at that. Woo, that is like, that's pretty solid for a breakfast burrito. Look at this, sausage, they put hash browns, uh, some cheese and egg in there. That's pretty solid, dude. Mm. I feel like that's like a little bit on the unhealthier side. So two out of five, but they did give me this. It comes with a jalapeno salsa. So maybe this will add some kind of like flavor. Okay. So I guess with the sauce, I'm gonna bump it up to three out of five. So if you wanna get the burrito, make sure you get the sauce. This video is not sponsored by Chick-fil-A, but hey, Chick-fil-A, if you want to sponsor some, some saying. So this is the bacon biscuit. It's literally three slices of bacon and a biscuit. Okay, yeah. One out of five for sure. It's too dry, too much biscuit, less meat. I guess if you're in a diet, go for it, but not recommended. So this is the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. Literally an upgrade from the previous thing that we just saw. So it's the, the three bacon strips here with egg and cheese. So this is probably gonna be a lot better than the other one, yes. Okay, it's still kind of dry. I can't really taste the bacon. Two out of five. So this is the egg white grilled chicken. There you go. Egg whites, cheese, and your grilled chicken. Does it taste good? Meh, two out of five. So this one is called the special bagel. I have no idea what that is, so here we go. We're gonna unwrap this together. Surprise! It's, it's literally like the other bagel, except what's in the, oh, of course. So instead of like any kind of sausage or meat, it's four slices of bacon this time. Okay, yeah. If you want bacon, a good bun to put your bacon in is a bagel. Bagel and bacon, Chick-fil-A. Got it, life hacks. But still, I'm gonna give this two out of five. <laughs> so this is the sausage biscuit. If you're not feeling chicken options, there's always this option. I'm not sure if it's gonna be good because I don't think they specialize in anything but chicken, but let's give it a shot. This one also says special biscuit. It's a really small one, it's tiny, so I'm really super curious what this is here. Wow, it's a biscuit with air, of course. That's nice. The good thing about Chick-fil-A is they come with a whole variety of sauces from barbecue, zesty buffalo, honey mustard, sweet and spicy sriracha, uh, herb garlic ranch, Polynesian, and Chick-fil-A sauce. So if you want a really good hack, take your Chick-fil-A sauce, slather it around. Polynesian sauce, slap it around here. Here you go. Good combo. You want to know another good hack? Take zesty buffalo sauce slather it right here. Now take some herb garden ranch, slap it into your buffalo sauce, take a waffle fry. Now, take your fry, eat it. I kid you not, it tastes like a chicken wing, like a buffalo wild wing chicken wing. It's good, you should try. I'm a little thirsty, so we're gonna start off with this drink. This is the mango passion tea lemonade drink they have here. So that, this one looks appealing. Cool, it's good. So last time it was the sausage burrito. This is the chicken burrito. Ooh, moly. So it's just egg, hash browns, and chicken, cheese. Oh, wow. By itself, I'm gonna give it three out of five, but you can have the burrito with the salsa. So let's try it with the salsa. Mm, with the sauce, I'll give it, it's a downgrade if you have the sauce, honestly. With the sauce, two out of five. Without it, three out of five. So the rest of the breakfast sandwiches are just variations of different ingredients, combined mixtures. So I think the only one we have to really point out is the bagel with the infamous chicken. It's literally chicken, bagel, egg, and cheese. 
I don't know. I'll give that a two out of five. I thought it was gonna be a lot better. I like my chicken, breakfast chickens, in a biscuit or like a bun. I mean, I don't know with a bagel, but if you're a big fan of bagels, then yes, this is for you. So aside from the sandwiches, you can grab this. This is the hash brown scrambled bowls. It's a variation of, you know, breakfast ingredients without any kind of bread or like buns or biscuits, bagels. Just the meat, the hash brown, and the eggs itself. Uh, here we go, let's try it out. Actually, nah, we good. You probably, we probably know what that is. But let's move on to this one. This is the most famous breakfast item menu of Chick-fil-A, the chicken minis. It's literally just bread, but the bread is so buttery on the inside, but then they just have these little, like, little chicken nuggets they stick in here. So at the same time, it's easy to eat. And it's delicious at the same time. Chicken minis, five out of five, good job. You did something great. Okay, also hash browns, hash browns are good. Yeah, hash browns are good. I mean, nothing too special, three out of five, good job. Welcome to the regular menu items, lunch and dinner specials. Let's start it off. So we're gonna start off with this one. This is the grilled chicken sandwich. Oh, the bun, really nice. And like uh, we have little layers here to evenly toast the bread. Grilled chicken, of course. Some lettuce, tomato. Oh, that's pretty good. Nothing too crazy about it. I mean, if you wanna go on like a, a diet, this is the way to go. Wow. But I give it a two out of five though. <laughs> so next up is just an upgrade from the grilled chicken sandwich. It's literally the same sandwich with bacon, lettuce, Colby Jack cheese. Okay, it's better, it's a lot better. Is it an upgrade from a two out of five though? Yeah, three out of five, good job. So this is a popular a lunch menu, dinner menu, the Chick-fil-A Deluxe Sandwich. So it starts with a regular bun. We got the fried chicken, tomato, lettuce, and there are the pickles right there. Yep, a lot better than the grilled chicken for sure. More flavorful, more juicy. It's just a good combination of all the, the vegetables and everything else, so four out of five, wow. Some of these come in this little bag here, and you know what's in here because it's spicy. So this is the spicy chicken sandwich. Spicy chicken with some pickles. Well, this one's a little spicier than usual. Wow, that's pretty good. Four out of five, good job. Holy moly. So this is the upgrade from what we just ate. It's literally the spicy chicken sandwich with lettuce, some cheese, pickles, tomatoes. Mmm, yeah. Yep, that's five out of five. All right, so this is the popular, regular, original Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. So this is the original construction of it. Regular chicken, bread, and pickles. The only difference is this isn't spicy. For me, I like spicy. Good job, three out of five. So sandwiches are done, let's move on to the nuggets. You have your regular Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. Eh, that's okay, two out of five. If you want an upgrade, these are chicken strips. It's literally chicken nuggets for adults. Oh wow, this one is actually pretty good. A lot better than the, just the regular chicken nuggets. I, I just feel like it's juicier for some reason, so. Three out of five. And if you want the healthier option of the chicken nuggets, you can get it grilled. I did not know that. Yeah, I'll give this three out of five. It's a lot better than the regular chicken, uh, chicken nuggets, but. That's pretty good, good job. All right, next up, I am a big fan of mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty basic. Two out of five. They also have chicken noodle soup. I didn't know they have, but I'm not surprised they have it. it looks pretty bomb, look at that. Mm. Same thing, you know, how you would imagine chicken noodle soup. And two out of five, two out of five, nothing too crazy. Let's do drinks real quick. So this is the frosted strawberry, literally just strawberry shake with ice cream on top. It's good, wow, surprise. Cool, four out of 10. Sorry, four out of five, sorry. Next up, frosted lemonade, same concept, lemonade filled here and then ice cream to the top. Good, eight out of 10, eight out of 10, same thing. Frosted chocolate, hmm. Wow, that's good too, holy moly, nice. 16 out of 20 for this one. Cookies and cream shake right here. Straight up cookies and cream. Wow! This might be the best drink I've ever had today. Holy moly. 550 out of 550 for this one. Strawberry shake. Three out of 10. Peach shake. 
one out of 10. And last but not least, we got frosted coffee. It's just coffee and then ice cream on top. Oh, zero! Holy moly, why does that taste so bad? Chick-fil-A, discontinue your iced coffee. Jeez. All right, welcome to the salad speed round because you guys don't care about this one. Grilled Cool Wrap. Two out of five. Kale Crunch Side. <laughs> Three out of five. Spicy Southwestern. Mmm, yo, low key. Salads are very bum. Three out of five. Cobb Salad. Mmm. Four out of five. Market Salad. Mm, two out of five. Fruit salad. Mm, what three out of five? Fruit parfait. Oh no. Three out of five. Cookies and cream parfait. Oh. Oh. Four out of five. Chocolate chunk cookies. It looks dry. Okay. Three out of five. Waffle potato chips. There's a french fry. There's a chips. Okay, that's pretty good. But I'll still give you three out of five though. In conclusion, there were only three perfect scores here, okay? The spicy chicken deluxe sandwich, chicken minis, and the cookies and cream shake. Hey, did you think I forgot? So in the beginning of the video, I was like, how much is the whole thing? Well, let me tell you. So the total price of both breakfast and lunch items is $300.39. Were you close? Did you get it? Did you win? to do another round of gummy food versus real food. You guys love it so much, there's a part seven. Like, I thought after the fourth one, you guys will like lose interest, but you guys enjoy it and love it, which is absolutely blowing my mind. Welcome to real food versus gummy food part seven. You guys know how it works, there are different rounds. Each round gets progressively nastier and grosser and extremely grosser and I'm just like you guys you guys don't know what is under here as do I I have no idea what's underneath these containers so we're gonna find out together Ooh, what is it guys it has to be really simple right it's an egg oh we have gummy egg versus the real egg Ooh. Ooh, I'm not a really big fan of like uh, sunny side up eggs, but I, I, you know. So a life hack I learned the other day, the easiest way to eat an egg, you don't put it in your mouth and just like eat it. You have to slurp it instantly. So let me show you how it's done. Here we go. You put it right here, grab the corner, curve it just a little bit, and then you go like this. That's not bad. Make sure you eat your eggs. It's a perfect source for protein. Mmm, that's actually not bad. That method is kind of messy. I don't recommend it, but if you want to try it, try it. Just make sure not to choke, because it might, you might. Just don't, actually just don't do it. Let's go over here and see what the gummy egg tastes like. Comment down below, what do you think it tastes like? I'll give you 30 seconds. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26. All right, let's find out together. Three, two, one. First of all, it doesn't taste like eggs. It tastes like peaches. Did you know all eggs taste like peaches? But our body manifests itself to make eggs taste like eggs. Mind blown. Did you know the Eiffel Tower shrinks six inches when it's cold? Mind blown. I learned that today. Did you know your thumb is not a finger? Mind blown. I learned that today too. Thanks, Jimmy Fallon. And I know what most of you guys are thinking. Right! Oh, there's one more egg over there. Okay, I got you. Let's see what happens when you dip a gummy egg into a real egg. So let's go here. All right, let's see what it tastes like. How? It's not bad. It's not bad. Winner goes to the gummy egg. All right, on to round two. All right, here we go, round number two. Can you guess what it is? I think it's gonna be a gummy apple. Am I correct? Nope. It's a gummy orange soda. <laughs> so that means we have some orange soda on this end. Oh yeah. Perfect, because I was getting a little bit thirsty because those eggs, those eggs were making me a little bit thirsty. Let's see if this thing that tastes like orange. I assume so. So here we go. Let's try it out. Three, two, one. Wow. Wow. Yep. This thing tastes exactly like an orange soda. That's cool. It's not, it's not disgusting. If it was, I'll be like, oh, that's so disgusting. <laughs> Watch me drink this.
believe it or not, this thing tastes like Coke. Coca-Cola. Except if Coca-Cola were an orange, that's what this thing tastes like. Did you know there are no orange sodas in Fanta? They just add a whole bunch of ingredients to make it taste like orange. For example, they add sprites and they add oranges. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't want to waste anything, so let's see what this thing tastes like. If I pour an or orange soda here and then drink it. Or maybe I can use this as an orange soda glass container, maybe? This is how people do it, I guess, in college. If you're ever in college, you're bored, grab this and do that, and then just go like this. <coughs> yeah! The winner, I have to give it to the regular soda just because it's so much more refreshing. <laughs> Round number three, what's over here? It's gonna get a little bit weirder. Ooh, here we go. Three, two, one. Ha. Look at that. It's a jalapeno. Thanks. <laughs> All right, so if you guys don't know this, jalapenos are sweet. No, I'm just kidding. They're just really salty. So we're about to find out. I'm going to eat this jalapeno. Loki, this is kind of spicy. Oh my gosh. It tastes like an apple, except there are a lot of like salty, not salty, spicy flakes in there. I don't know if you see it. They're like small dots. And did you know the only thing spicy and spicy like things like this, like a jalapeno, are the seeds. And anything the seeds touch, that's the only spicy thing. So if you just eat the skin of a jalapeno like this, it's fine, okay? But if you eat the seeds that are in the middle like that, it's gonna be spicy. Mm-hmm, that's super spicy. Mmm. Is the video more than 10 minutes yet? Comment down below. I just have a quick request for everybody. I want you guys to smash that bell button. That bell pepper button. The jalapeno button. You say button or button? Comment down below how you say it. I give it to the gummy jalapeno because this jalapeno is spicy and I am dying in the inside and my soul needs your help. So comment down below. What's your phone number? I'll call you. I'm just kidding. Don't don't listen to what I say. I'm such a liar. This is gonna be, I guess, a little bit weirder because the past six episodes, the last two rounds are always the weirdest. So yo, what is, what is this? Yo, what? Is this a rat? Boom! Oh! Is it alive? Is this moving? What is that? Oh my gosh! What do you guys buy me? What do you guys get? What is this? I'm gonna guess this is a rat. So here we go, let's start with the gummy. You guys can see it first. In three, two, one. There you go, what is it? What is that? Oh, oh! Oh, I get it, it's a lobster. Oh, it's a gummy lobster. You guys can see the intricate formation of the crustacean here. I'm allergic to lobsters and anything shellfishy. Comment down below if you're allergic to the same thing. I can't eat shrimp or else I'll die. Here we go, it's not bad lobster. <laughs> you know it'd be funny if I open this and it's actually a giant rat. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> Look, he kinda scared me, man. Whoa! Whoa, is it alive? Is that alive? Poor lobster. Oh, that's not bad. Wait, is it alive? It's moving. Oh, okay. All right. I thought lobsters are red. Why are they not red? It's because they get red when you cook it. I learned that 10 minutes ago. Whoa! I have no idea how I'm gonna eat this. I don't think I am. I'm just gonna just touch it. This is Larry the Lobster. Look at that. Yo, rip Larry, dude. Rip Larry. When you buy lobsters from the store, they're usually like dead. So I don't know why they have to kill the lobster. Like seriously. Let's, uh, let's stop animal abuse. Does it taste like lobster? Let's go. Low-key kind of tastes like fish. Why does this taste like fish? <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. It tastes like lobster. Uh, who knows? If I get like a allergic reaction, we'll find out. But this, Larry, I don't want to put my mouth or bite you or anything. Thanks for getting a lobster. <laughs> oh, I'm not, jokes on you, I can't do anything with it. The winner goes to the gummy lobster. So let's all take this moment to go to the last and final round. So let's, let's go. Let's go straight to it. Before we get to the last round, I just wanna, I guess take this time to adore Larry. So let's roll some cinematics. Final 
round. So, you guys take a look at it. I'm gonna look the other way. Three, two, one, go. Is it weird? What is it? Can you guys tell me what it is? What is this? What is that? Is that an egg? Is this an egg? Wait, I'm trying to figure out what this is. It looks like a turtle shell or like an embryo of some sort. But why is it this? I'm so confused. What is that? I'm gonna say a fetus egg. Let's see what it is actually. You guys probably know what it is because I, I can't decipher what that is. Here we go. Whoa! Yo! Yo! Whoa, it's an eyeball! It's an eyeball? Is this real? Oh! No way! Oh! Are you serious? Do I even eat this? These are all eyeballs. It kind of made, that was kind of confusing at first, but now that we have all these eyeballs, we can, uh, whew. Give me a sec. I'm just gonna eat this really fast. That's really gross. I do not recommend gummy eyeballs because they taste really weird. Taste like candles. Tastes like a lavender. That's that it. That's what it tastes like. A lavender candle mixed with cocoa butter, like the lotion. It's kind of weird. Can I even eat this? Is there like a cooked one? Oh, you do have a cooked one. It doesn't look any more appetizing. This is an eyeball. So you're oh, whoa! You can see the juices. Oh, oh! That that looks like Vaseline, like. Ooh, that's like, ooh, that's gross. Oh! <laughs> what is that? Is that the people? That's the actual eyeball. It fell out of the thing. What kind of eyeball is this? Fish? Yeah. Fish? fish. The, this is a fish eyeball. This marble thing is the eyeball of the fish. I guess it's like the pupil. Like the very center of it. Looks like a pearl. I did not know that. That's, that's really weird. All right, YOLO. It was not, it's not bad, it's just the fact there was an eyeball in my mouth and then when I bit into it, it kind of tasted like expired seaweed. That's what it tastes like. Well, maybe this eyeball will taste a lot better, so uh, let's give it a shot. Yeah. I'm so scared to bite it. It's not bad if it's in, like, in your mouth, but as soon as you bite it, it's probably gonna be, here we go. Here we go. It's not popping or anything. Let me tr maybe try this one. It's really tough. It's really tough to pop with your teeth. Like you need a really sharp force. Maybe I'll try one last time. This is for uh, for you. I probably have an illness now. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I can't do it. Uh, maybe I have to just here, just to make you guys happy. Three eyeballs. Thumbs up if you think that was a good little In this video we have to choose a letter in the alphabet Each letter represents a food Some are good, some are horrible Who gets what? Stay tuned I'm gonna choose letter D Let me get a little bit of D Ah, ah. I do! Oh! <laughs> no! Oh, gross, I have to eat the donut. Oh! Pretty good, pretty good! Yeah? Mm, it's mm. world flavoring. Nah, it's not, but it's good! Boop. Take this eye. Oh! 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 <laughs> do it, do it, do it, don't do it! Ah! Brother! Ah! 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 I am going to choose. P for potato. I'm a bit J for jalapeno. Is it a jalapeno? <laughs> it is a jalapeno. And I got the potato. Oh, oh it's a pizza. Hey. It's a pizza. There's a jalapeno in a jar. Cheers, sir. Cheers. I knew you were gonna do it like that. <laughs> I knew he's gonna. That's delicious. It's good too. Why are you gagging? I'm just joking. Here we go. I'm gonna pick the letter A for. A Roy. <laughs> <laughs> I will pick a little R for Roy. Roy. <laughs> oh, oh. Worst superpower ever. Mm. You open mine, you open your J. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh. 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 It's more fish. Fish love me a today. A for Ancho. 
Pancho Villa and R for Ramon. Oh ha ha ha! Do you have a fork? I has chopsticks. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I like that. Ha ha ha! Was delicious. Mm -hmm. Here comes the fire. Woo! Woo! It's hot. Oh wow! It's five out of six chili peppers. It says. Oh, I know. That's almost maximum chili. I sense it in my mouth. Oh my gosh! He sense <laughs> it. I also have a chopstick. <laughs> Would you like? You want some seasoning? With what? Oh! <laughs> oh, gross! Is it salty? Is it salty? It looks salty. I need a pizza. I need pizza. One more. Mm. Me? Yes. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got broccoli. I got the spaghetti. Oh, yuck. What else could it have been? I don't want to use my chopsticks for Why this one. Oh, it's warm. I love broccoli. You don't, you're not eating it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 mm, yeah. All gone. Do you not like the broccoli? I hate broccoli. Why? Because it tastes like a broccoli. broccoli. Hey, you want some more? Sure. All gone. Mm. Okay. All right. Aha. We're back. Hey, eh? pick V for victory. I pick T. Turtle. I don't want to eat a turtle. If you eat it. Twizzler tacos! Why? You got broccoli fuck and then you get vegetable oil! Twizzler tacos! Yeah! This one is good for you, it's vegetables. <laughs> yeah! Do you want a Twizzler taco? I would love a Twizzler taco. <laughs> this one's for you! <laughs> oh, thank you! You gotta bite the shell, you're just eating the Twizzlers. <laughs> mm, delicious! Um. <laughs> now I'll do it with you, ready? Okay. You wanna wash it down with some mm, Coca Cola? No, I drank a lot of water earlier. I think I'm good on hydration. I guess. Cheers. Mm -hmm. I, I need a good one. Well, I will pick Q <laughs> for cute. Oh, I'm gonna pick U for you ugly. Hey, that's not nice. <laughs> oh, it's not. Here we go. <laughs> wow. We look different. Oh my. I'm so much better looking now. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, is that me? <laughs> Wait, you gotta open your thing. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my gosh. I, I love, love food. I oh. love ice cream of the Ube Dube Doos. Oh, I love ooh. Wow. Ooh. I feel no mm. cold. Come here, come here, come here. I come, come here. These are my feet. <laughs> This is what me and Roy see. Yeah, like, I know. Wow. Isn't it nice? Mm -hmm. nice. How's it feel like being in front of the camera? Yeah. How do you like having lenses in your face? Yeah. <laughs> oh, did we just dream that? What just happened? Oh. I got O and I got N. Together. <laughs> I got a nacho onion. Oh. I got uh, an X. Oh. I got a Y. Oh. Together. We got yeah. Yogurt burger! Wait, wait, oh, X? What's X? Oh! oh! It's an X burger! Mm. No way! What do I do with this? <laughs> yep. I eat it? Yep. You know, onions are like ogres. They have a lot of layers. Wow, it's like a shuriken. If you hold your nose, it tastes like apple, right? Which one? This one? Is that a thing? Is no. that a thing? What? A little bit. Really? A little bit. Can I try? Uh huh. Bob Colby alone. Right. right? It doesn't hit you right away. A little no. bit. Tell me why this burger is. <laughs> now it's a tea. It's a tea. <laughs> 
I picked Zigt. Zik. <laughs> what you said? What you pick? I pick. Oh my gosh! How? What? How did you do that? What? You got it! Oh got what? What is this? Cactus. They what? say it's cactus. That's not cactus. That's not cactus. That's mushrooms. That's cactus, hello. 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 Maybe we from the other pump it a little bit. One. Two. Whoa! What? Oh. That is a cactus! It's real. It's a real one. Ow. ow. It's real. <laughs> Don't do it. You want some grass? All right, so there's four left, but apparently, what was that? Oh, so apparently there's two bad ones in here, so. Oh. Make sure to pick correctly. I choose M. I choose F. Mayonnaise! Fried chicken! Yeah. This is the weird looking fried chicken. That's frog legs. Yeah. Yep. Ow. <laughs> Is it jumpy? It tastes like chicken. I don't like this one. Mm. Oh, delicious. Mm. Yeah. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Two letters left. Mm -hmm. W and L. Mm -hmm. Roy and Alex will have to pick one. Hmm. Which will they pick? I don't know. Oh, oh, what you gotta get? Yeah. I thought you wanted the W. I, I, thought you want the w. <laughs> I pick the L. And I got the dub. <gasps> I don't know what this means. <laughs> what is this one? Is this double? cat food. Pork liver! For L oh liver? What? What this? W? W? Wasabi! Oh! 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 I thought it was oh, guacamole! I don't like the smell of yours. I don't like the smell of yours. <laughs> mm. Why is it so hot? I don't like liver. I don't like wasabi. Want to switch? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's just get our letters and call it a day. Okay. Cheerios. Oh. What's up, YouTube? Today we're gonna do gummy food versus real food part five. Is that crazy? You guys love this series so much that I have to make a part five. You guys love, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just me eating weird foods. I, I don't even know. So today we're gonna do it. Let's start it off. As always, I don't know what is underneath these things. So we're gonna figure out what is underneath these things and we're gonna go. <laughs> Coca-Cola! Gummy Coca-Cola! <laughs> so just like the other episodes, if you haven't seen the last episode, go watch it out. It usually starts really normal. Each round gets really, really weird as far as the food. Really simple, Coca-Cola bottle. Let's open it real quick. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! So let's try the regular Coke first. Let's try it out. Mm, that is delicious. Wow! Can we get this video to 100,000 likes for no reason? Smash that like button, put your cursor on the like button, and click it really hard. <laughs> Smash that like button. <laughs> What's your favorite drink? Comment down below. Mine is guava juice, obviously. All right, so next up we have the gummy soda. Does this thing taste like Coca-Cola? Let's find out. Mmm. <laughs> That tastes like Coca-Cola. This is delicious. But obviously, nothing can beat the original Coca-Cola. Coke, if you're watching this, please sponsor me. Send me free Cokes, I drink you every time I eat. All right, next round. And we have here, uh, wow! This is like my favorite food. Comment down below, what's your favorite food? I love spaghetti. Just letting you guys know, I love spaghetti noodles a lot. Let's go to the gummy spaghetti. <laughs> wow, that is amazing. Let's start off by eating this regular spaghetti real quick. Mm. Delicious. I love spaghetti. Just like I love tacos and ice cream and food, any kinds of foods. Let's try the gummy spaghetti. Here we go. Wow. Mm. 
Mmm, that's delicious too. Imagine spaghetti, except it's sour and gummy. Hmm. What if I sprinkle gummy spaghetti with regular spaghetti? Will it taste good? I, I assume so, because it's like the sour texture, the gummy one will make it taste better. That's good! Wow! But I'm gonna have to give the winner to the regular spaghetti. Next round! All right, round three. Let's see what we got here. We got some. Huh. This is uh, kind of a little bit weird because this can be any meat. Pig, lamb, duck. Pretty sure it's not duck. So I'm kind of scared to open this because that is a very vague real food. So let's see what the gummy food is. So here we go. Oh my dear. It's a bear? Yo, where do you guys get a bear from? Where do you guys get bear meat? Uh, <laughs> we're going to try out some bear meat together. Pretty sure it's not bad. I mean, it's bear. So let's try this one. I like this one. It's a cool little little color theme. Here we go. Mmm, mm, that's delicious. It's like a Neapolitan giant gummy bear. It's pretty good. Mmm, this is cherry. That's lemon. That's lime. Wow, <laughs> this is a really good bear. Thumbs up for bears. All right, so let's try out this bear together. This is bear meat live here in Guava Juice's video. Here we go. Oh, it's very tough. Very tough indeed. Can you hear it? It's very tough. Oh, it has like this little weird aftertaste. Oh. <laughs> Have you ever had lamb? It kind of tastes like lamb, except a lot more tough. Hmm. <laughs> I'm alright. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to give this round's winner to the giant gummy bear. Just cause it, it, it's, it tastes a lot more better. Alright, next round. Alright, round number four. So this is probably gonna be a weird one because there are five rounds this episode and this is probably gonna be a weird one. So here we go. <gasps> Yo! <laughs> Look at that, it's a worm. It's a worm, is it really? So that means there are some worms in here. These are not worms. What are, what are these? Silk silkworms, right? Oh my gosh, they are very gross. Do I gotta eat this one? <sighs> Let's go over here and eat this one real quick first. So here we go. This is the gummy worm. Oh. Mmm. 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 You honestly can use this as a weapon. See, look. <laughs> yeah! If anyone's trying to mess with you, just grab your giant gummy worm and just... And it's still intact. That is how strong this thing is, man. Isn't that crazy? All right, now we're done with that. Let's uh, move over to these silkworms. So really quick, let's just grab one of them. Oh, man, this one's crazy. They keep swarming around. Come on, man. Ah! They bit me! They bit me! I'm just kidding. Oh man, they go crazy though. All right, so I got gloves. You know, I gotta get the extra layer of protection here. So, all right, here's one in three, two, one. You guys didn't see that? I'm just kidding, I didn't eat it. I was trying to fake it to where, okay, whatever. Here we go, here we go. Three, two, one, and. Hold on, I, 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 I gotta take a breather, I gotta take a breather here. In three, two, one. <laughs> you guys know that people eat these for fun? I get so scared! All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's move on to the final round. All right, the final round we have. Why is there only one ball? It's dessert. <laughs> this isn't even a gummy food. What is this? We have lollipops with insects inside of it. Like this one has a scorpion. This one has ants. This one has a cricket. So I'm going to go for this scorpion one. Kind of tastes kind of weird. It's not at all sugary. Let's get a hammer, go straight to the insect, and eat the insect. All right, so here we go. Let's just... Oh, 
I did not expect it to break that easily. The scorpion shattered into pieces. Here's some of it. Let's eat it, I guess. Tastes good, nothing bad. All right, well, I killed the scorpion by breaking it. Let's try to get this cricket out of here. There you go. See a little bit of crickets in here. Tastes okay. Honestly, I don't think I can even taste this because it's so tiny. Yeah. I give this a 2 out of 10 as far as flavor. The insect tastes okay. It could be a little bit more saltier. What's up, YouTube? Today we're going to do the spicy noodle challenge. Psych! There's even a more spicier noodle than that now. Today we're going to do the nuclear noodle challenge. The same company created an even more spicier noodle. I don't know what it is. This one was already extremely spicy, as you can tell from previous videos. <coughs> so today we're gonna see how spicy this nuclear noodle is. We're gonna try one noodle first, and then we're gonna try 10 noodles with 10 packets. <laughs> minutes have gone through the noodles should be completely noodified let's do this here we go let's add some vegetables first get a little bit of seaweed with a little bit of sesame seeds wow and then for the moment of truth the nuclear sauce Ooh, oh this looks like the other sauce but i don't know i guess they added a whole bunch of like random ghost peppers in here i have no idea thing is the other one wasn't that bad at all it was really flavorful it was just super spicy so i can't imagine what this nuclear thing is oh oh dear Hey, by the way, get some more to crowdmade.com slash guava juice. This is the nuclear noodle challenge. Round number one, of course. Cheers. Tastes for sure spicier than the last one. Mmm. Ah, uh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, for sure a lot spicier than the last one. Like, the more you talk, the more it just lingers in your mouth. Like, the more you breathe air, the more it gets hot and spicier. Not too bad. I am very confused. I thought I was gonna like struggle and then guys, I mean, of course it's spicy, but at the same time, it is pretty flavorful. I do need some water though. Let's uh, let's move on to the next round. I'm gonna cook one pack of noodles and add 10 packets of nuclear sauce. Let's do it. I better get some water. Woo! It's been about like three minutes and the pain just lingers. It gets spicier every single minute, so. I lied about it being spicy. It's like a post effect, okay? It just gets spicier after. <laughs> it's been about seven minutes since I last took a bite of it. It gets spicier over time. Woo! And that was only one packet. Like, I guess I underestimated how spicy. <sighs> Give me a second here. Wow. I did not expect that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! All right, guys. So it's been about 12, 12 minutes. Everything's cooled down now. So that sucked. Here we go. Let's uh, let's start cooking some stuff here. Yeah. Let's just use one noodles and then a whole bunch of packets. Go. There you go. There you go. And look, I have some more nuclear noodle noodles. Oh, this is gonna be so bad. There you go. Here's some more. Some more. Some more. More. Number ten. Here we go. Let's wait for this baby to uh do its thing and boil, and I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> Add the packet and then die. <laughs> One. Here's two. Here's three. Oh, look at that already. It's literally coating the whole entire thing. So really what I'm eating right now is nuclear noodle soup with nuclear packet sauce broth. That's just so gross. There we go, is another one and another one. Maybe I should have added more noodles. Here's another one. Eight, this is number eight. Number nine. Last but not least, this is number 10. 
Oh my gosh. Look at this right now. It's like literally like what is, what kind of noodle is this? I'll add just a little bit of sesame seed and some seaweed. Make it less deadly. What you want to do here is mix it. That looks so bad. Oh my goodness. It's like the devil peed on my soup. That is disgusting. Got to get my mindset for this because this is really ridiculous. All right, whatever. Let's do this. The ultimate nuclear noodle challenge with 10 noodle packet nuclear packet sauce. Here we go. Shout out to you, mom. Alright, this one goes out to you, Dad. The toilet is gonna hate me today. I'm legit sweating right now. I don't know, I zoom in, maybe you can see the, the sweat pores coming out. Oh, ice cream water. Thank you. Don't try this at home, seriously, it's bad. Like seriously, look at that. It's like drinking the whole entire sauce. What's up YouTube? Today we are going to do the cheese fondue challenge where we put a whole bunch of random food on these cheese fondues and then we just eat it. Is it gonna be good? Is it not? I don't know, let's find out. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, let's do this. All right, first off, we have a loaf of bread. Well, a long stick of bread. So uh, here we go, let's stick it in here. Ooh, look at that cheese fondue, ooh! Oh, this is sexy, oh my God. Okay, here we go, let's see if this is good. It's probably gonna be good, because it's bread and cheese, that's already pretty good by itself. So here we go. Mmm. Mmm. That's delicious. Big thumbs up for bread. <laughs> mm. Next up we have Cheetos. I know what you're saying. It's already cheese, but is it double cheese? No, it's not. So that's what we're gonna do today. So let's grab a whole bunch of Cheetos here. Mm, look at that. And then we're just gonna randomly just put it here. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's like bathing. It's cheese bathing in cheese, bathing in nacho cheese. That makes it not your Cheetos. It's not your Cheetos. Oh my gosh, I'm going out. All right, here we go, taste test. This is probably gonna be delicious. Mm. Oh gosh, someone save me. This is amazing. I can just do this all day, this is good. Mm. 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 Big thumbs up for Cheetos. Next up we have a carrot. I heard carrots are good with cheese. I've never tried it myself, so uh, might as well try it right now. Here we go. Yeah! Oh, look at that. Look at, look at, mm. wow. Oh my goodness. That looks delicious. Here we go. Carrot cheese. Here we go. Ah. Wait. I forgot I'm allergic to carrots. I shouldn't eat this. Oh man. I'm allergic to carrots. I'm gonna spit this out. <laughs> it's good though. It's really good, but I got, I'm allergic. call it an apple so uh, let's, let's try this put it right here oh yeah look at that apple mmm look at that it's an apple cheese apple cheese is it good though we're about to find out right now here we go three two one it's okay it's all right I mean I'll eat it but it's not the best thing ever let me try it again I mean, yeah, it's okay. Nothing special, just apple and cheese. It's okay. Next up we have a Pop-Tart. This is a frosted s'mores flavor mixed with some cheese. Let's do this, Pop-Tarts and cheese. This is, I don't know if this is gonna be good at all, but oh, oh well. Oh, look at that. Ooh, 
Mm -mm. Pop tarts and cherries. Here we go. Three, two, one. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. There's too many flavors in the spectrum here. It's like sweet and cheesy. Oh, this is not bad. Oh, the more I chew it, the more it tastes good. Hmm. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll give it that. That was a lot better than the apple. I can tell you that. Wow, this is delicious. Cheese is so delicious. It makes my mouth go cheese. Okay, I'm going home now. All right, next up we have frosted donuts. Frosted donuts. Frosted cheesy donuts now. No, this is bad. This is gross. Wait, okay, it's not bad now. The initial taste is like, but then the more you eat it, the more you taste the donuts. It's not bad. Okay, it's good now. This is kind of nasty. All right, next up we have crackers. This is peanut butter crackers. So uh, let's try it out. I bought 10 of the most popular pizzas in the whole universe. I'm gonna rank it using this handy dandy tier list right here. And I'm gonna tell you which pizza is the most affordable slash most delicious for the bang for you the buck. I just wanna give a big shout outs to Jade Adage. Big shout outs to Luan Munchi. If you wanna be featured in the video, comment down below. Origami. All right, let's get right into it. We're gonna start with my favorite of them all, Papa John. This is the Papa John's pizza. So here's how we're gonna decipher the quality of this pizza. Does it pass the circle check? Does this look like a circle? Price of this small pizza is $10.12. So we're gonna do the grease check. Tap it like this. This is how much grease is it. It's not bad. Let's taste it. Mmm, it's bussin'. Wow. It usually comes with the garlic sauce, which is like an extra plus. And what we like to do is put the, the little pepper they give. Woo! Bussin! I'm gonna be biased. It's gonna go on the S tier. All right, that's gonna be the top of the top. Congratulations, Papa John's. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. This is $15.69, but it used to be a circle, so it definitely passed the circle check. But honestly, the thickness of it, you see this crust? That's a nice, thick crust. Mmm. Mmm. The flavor is there, but it's not as concentrated as the Papa John's pizza one is. I mean, it's not bad, but it's like not as good as well. That brings it to D. <laughs> Let's go with Domino's. This is the most popular pizza chain in the United States and the whole world. So this is $13.22, $3 more than Papa John's. Whew. Does it pass the circle check? It, it's lumpy, but it's, it's there. If you work with gravity correctly, you could do a little something like this. Grease check. Oh, it's not bad. It's sweating a little bit, but not too hard. Whoa. I haven't had Domino's in a long time. This is not how I remember Domino's. Holy moly, what is this? It's actually good. All right, here's the verdict, okay? I'm gonna take Papa John's, I am so sorry. I'm gonna put you in between S tier and A tier. So you're a, a sa. <laughs> And then I'm gonna put Domino's on the A tier. That way, Papa John's is not too overpowering. We're gonna go to Little Caesars. Little Caesars, oh my! Have you ever seen a pizza this circle full? Cause this is how a pizza should be shaped like. I did it! Look at this bread! Now this is a nice bread. Looks like a nice cookie. How greasy is this? Just like that little pat. It's a little bit greasy. Oh yeah, by the way, this is the cheapest out of all of them. This is $6.12. So for the value of pizza, this is the best one to grab. Nothing too special, but if you're hosting a party and you want the cheapest option, this is probably the way to go. No one will tell a difference. Pizza's pizza. As far as this goes, taste, and value, I'm gonna have to put this over here in the B. I'll put it in the B class, just cause the value just fired up. We're gonna move on to Saburo. Mostly you can find this in the malls. If you ever go to a mall, you go to a food court, this is what you find. Just Saburo, all right? Check out the grease test. Pat, pat on the bat, bat to the grease. Not bad. This slice of pizza alone is $4, but you can get a whole slice of a whole pizza for $25. So the value is a little bit up there. Okay, here we go. Okay. 
So this is what I thought the Pizza Hut pizza would taste like, but it didn't, failed me. I'm gonna place this on the B tier, okay? It's a good pizza to get on the go. If you're craving just one slice, this is your go-to regardless, because it's uh, originated in New York City, 1956, fun fact. It's a great pizza to snack on. Moving on to the popular California Pizza Kitchen, CPK. I've never had it. I've seen a lot of restaurants, so the, ooh. Does it pass the circle check? Yes, but first looks, whenever you see pizza like this, where the crust is like kind of a little bit crazy, and then the middle is kind of like a, a soup, you know the place is a little bit bougie. A little bit, but not too bougie, but they want to make the pizza look great. This whole pizza is 1764, which is not bad. I thought it would be more like 25 bucks. Is it floppy? Yeah, a little bit. So we're gonna do a little grease test here, look like this. Does it pass the grease check? That's a lot of grease. You see the grease? You eat that. Hmm. This is not a little bit confusing. Here's how it's making me feel. Okay. Pizza Hut wanted to make a fancier version of Pizza Hut, but they didn't quite get there, and they're in this weird limbo in the middle. That's how this tastes like. Are you supposed to be good or not? <laughs> I'm very confused. But I also don't want to say anything bad about California Pizza Kitchen, just in case you sponsor me. So, it's great! <laughs> it's delicious! If I were to rank you, it's definitely like an acquired taste kind of thing. I'm gonna have to put you, CPK, C tier. So this is Round Table. I've never had Round Table. Apparently it's good. It's the most expensive out of the everything. So this is a whopping $37 for a whole pizza. Let us see if it has, it's going to live to that price tag. Honestly, why you look like Pizza Hut? As far as pepperoni check goes, there's a lot of pepperoni. Big pepperoni, small pepperoni, medium pepperoni. Oh, the crust, it looks like this. Grease, 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 grease. Whoa! Not that much grease. That's good, that's good. We're gonna try to understand why this is $37. Okay, ready? Sniff, sniff. Okay. okay. At least I can understand who you are. You're supposed to be a pepperoni pizza. All right. I think I ate too much pizza to the point where everything tastes the same. <laughs> I'm just gonna give you benefit of the doubt just cause, I don't know, just slap it over here. Blam! Okay, dude. One of these days, I just wanna like, take a pizza, grab the mail. Oh wait, yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's grab the mail. Oh God. Oh, is this nice? Blaze Pizza, popular for doing your DIY pizzas. Oh yeah, grease check. Mmm. The price of it, it's only $8.21 for this big pizza that you do it yourself. So we're gonna place this. I'm gonna put this in the B tier next to Saboro. So this one, believe it or not, is from Chuck E. Cheese. This is from Chuck E. Cheese. They cannot afford their own box. They had to borrow a box from their neighbor, a random local pizza company. All right, and what's even worse? Guess how much this is? $25. You see the size of this box? I literally went to Chuck E. Cheese, you're like, Meh. Sorry, I, we don't have any small boxes for your small pizza, so we're gonna put this on this box. Oh, oh, what's even worse? Look how big the box is, and it's not a circle! And the box is not Chuck E. Cheese's! I'm trying to figure out what it tastes like. It's like, it tastes like sawdust and foot. <laughs> we're gonna put the Chuck E. Cheese piece up. Um, let's just put you this is from Costco, where the costs are low at ten ninety four. Oh no, dude, that is beauty. Oh my gosh, look at how floppy it is. That's how you know it's good. A little bit of uh, this, dude. Look at the grease. There's no grease. Dang! Wow, holy moly. Thank you, Costco, for being so gracious for making this $10, because I would easily pay you $15 for this one. It tastes great. Pepperoni's there, cheese is there. Everything just flows together. I'm gonna put you over here on the A tier. <laughs> What's up?
up YouTube? Today we are going to be experimenting with the Miracle Berry. It's basically this little pill you put in your mouth and then just let it sit in your mouth and then it makes everything taste completely different. It makes sour things taste sweet. It makes sweet things taste sweeter. But today I'm going to be eating this Miracle Berry and then eating this extremely, extremely spicy noodle. The most spiciest noodle I have ever tried in my entire life. Like this hurts. <coughs> <laughs> Here we go, Miracle Berry. Here we go. Uh, Ingredients. Miracle fruit powder. Cornstarch. That's it. It comes in this little box container thing. Sweet. There you go. It's basically these little tablets you stick in your mouth. So let me stick this into my mouth real quick. Um, and then you kind of just want to coat your entire tongue with this Miracle Berry. Mmm. 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 It's getting in there. After you layered your tongue with the Miracle Berry, I have here my pickles. Will this pickle taste sweeter? This is pretty sour, so let's see if this pickle will taste any sweeter. Here we go, Mr. Pickle. It tastes like candy now. All the sourness is gone. It's literally like super sweet. No kidding. It tastes like a Sour Patch Kid. That's kind of weird. It's like sour sweet, but it's not sour. It's more sweet now. That is amazing. Oh man, the Miracle Berry works. But how well does it do against the spicy noodle? So let's make some spicy noodles real quick. Let's make it. All right guys, so I have here my portable stove. Let's turn it on. Now just put some water, pot of water there and wait for it to boil just a little bit. The thing is, for one noodle, you're supposed to use one packet of spicy sauce, okay? But today I am going to be using 15 packets of spicy sauce and one noodle packet. So this is gonna be so spicy. The toilet's not gonna love me today. That's gonna be so bad. Let's wait for this water to boil and let's start making some spicy ramen noodles. Whoa, look at that, it's boiling. Oh, look at that. Ooh, vape life. Ooh, 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 kill him. So here we go, let's open this thing. One spicy noodle coming right up. Wow, look at that. I did this before, but last time, I only use five packets. Five packs of hot sauce. I'm gonna triple it today. <laughs> I'm gonna die, but it's okay. There's two. I'll be using Miracle Berry, so I don't know how much of a difference it'll make. Who knows, maybe it'll make it very doable. Who knows? There's three. There's four. Five. Six, seven, there's eight, there's nine, ten. Here's eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Last but not least, we got fifteen. Fifteen spicy noodle sauces. Let me just rearrange this real quick so it looks very pleasing to the eyeball while this thing is still boiling. Wow, very cool, huh? Woo! I am not excited for this. Like last, I remember last time I did this, I died, and that was only with five of these little packets. So I can't imagine what ooh fifteen is. Woo! Yet, but it's getting there. Woo. All right, so I poured out all the water. It's completely boiled. Now for the scary part, the sauce. Here we go. So uh, let's go. Here's one. Look how dark red this is. Like seriously, look how dark red that is. That is like pure spice. When I consume this, I'm basically just drinking the sauce. Oh my goodness, no. All right, I'm getting really scared now. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, oh, six, seven. Here's number eight. Oh, there's number nine. Oh my dear, please help me. Oh my gosh. There's 10, 11, 
12, 13, 14. Oh man. Last but not least, number 15. Gotta make sure I make use of it, make sure all of it goes in. Look at that. Where's the noodle? Where's the noodle? It's just the sauce. What? I will be eating this? Are you kidding me right now? Oh! If you want to try this challenge, take a screenshot. I don't know how to pronounce that at all, but it's, it's it looks like this. It's extremely spicy. Woo! Like I said earlier, I'm literally just eating the sauce or drinking the mm. I feel like I gotta take all of these in order for my mouth just to feel normal. But let's see if it actually works. Miracle Berry changes every flavor to something else. So let's see what it does to the spicy noodle. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna take like five of them. I'm so scared. Ah. Uh, oh no, I dropped it. No! Uh, I'm gonna make sure my mouth and tongue are coated extremely well for this one. What is this? Can someone tell me what this is? Oh my god! I'm just forcing this miracle barrier to attach and embed in my tongue right now. Like, I'm, I'm just so, I'm, mm -mm, I'm freaking out. This is the Spicy Noodle Miracle Berry Challenge. <laughs> Why? This goes out to you, mom. You're a nurse. If I die, I'm going straight to you. Oh, it's actually pretty sweet. What? It made it really, really sweet. What? Hold on, I'm really confused right now. I seriously thought, oh, my stomach is feeling weird though. My tongue and my mouth, it feels okay. I didn't even think that this, this thing would work. This thing is like working really well. I was like imagining myself like dying. Wow, I'm not even lying. Get something spicy, get some miracle berries. Put it in your mouth, eat the spicy. It makes it less spicy and more sweet. I am so confused, like, that is death. Can you guys tell, like, this is literally death. Let me just give it another shot. Maybe at this point, the Miracle Berry is like, I don't know, not in my tongue anymore, it like dissolved, but here we go, let's try this again. Okay, yeah, Miracle Berry gone. Miracle Berry, mm -mm -mm. ew, that? Yup! <laughs> yep. No! No! Okay, first. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, I'm not even lying now. Yo! My poster fell down. If you want this poster, go crowdmade.com slash guava juice. I guess it disappeared in my mouth, so there's no coating whatsoever. It's gone, so it's like I'm taking the full effect. I'm gonna take more Miracle Berries. The effect of the Miracle Berry is insane. The first time I ate it, I didn't feel anything at all. Second time, the Miracle Berry disappeared in my tongue. I felt everything in an instant. Like, it just... It was like a devil peed in my mouth. It was so hot. What if I eat it with Miracle Berry in my mouth? Here you go. This is the devil's noodle. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. It, 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 it's kind of working, but it's not. Miracle berries in your mouth and then eat it, it'll make things a lot easier. But then after that, it just it sucks. Yo, yo, just stop for now. I need a break. I need a break. Cut, 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 cut. You good, bro? You, you, you good? Bro. So it's, it's been about like 10 minutes after, and my mouth is still on fire. Like, I literally had to bring the giant spoon of ice cream out. That was so bad. 
Man, my stomach is on fire. I'm just gonna have this upset stomach the whole day. It was so bad. The Miracle Berry did stuff. It did things, but it didn't last that long. That's all I gotta say. I gotta keep walking, man. I can't. I can't. I can't, dude. I think I'm done. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I'm like dying. But this ice cream is good, though. <laughs> this giant spoon is really making things a lot better for me. It's like. He's like, come on, it's a giant spoon, and I'm eating it with a, like a regular spoon. Come on, man. Let's finish video, I guess. All right, come on, let's finish the video. <laughs> I can't. I literally saw like an orb just fly. The historic Harris house was built in 1902 and was bought by a woman named Harriet Harris. After her passing, the house eventually became a boarding home for women. The current owners have experienced paranormal activities such as items being thrown across the room, being waken up in the middle of the night, and hearing voices that cannot be explained. So we're going down to the basement. Come follow me. The basement is usually the most creepiest place in the house, aside from like the attic. So I also have this EMF reader, okay? If this turns into red, that means there's some kind of magnetic electro frequency field around us. It's gonna get some kind of reading of like that. But if it turns red randomly, like right here, there's some kind of something here. Is anyone here? Can you make this red, please? I have the one chip challenge here, so I'm going to do this one chip in this haunted place. I'm here to entertain you. I'm not here to scare you or repel you. I'm just here to entertain you. So I have a spirit box. I'm gonna turn this on for now. Is anyone here? I'm here to do the one chip challenge. You guys wanna be entertained? This is a really spicy chip. Okay, you guys don't wanna miss this. I don't know what this means. It's beeping. Uh oh, check it out. It's a really spicy chip. I'm going to eat this. Oh, you can see the temperature changes. So if you zoom in here, there's a temperature mark. It used to be in zero, so it, it's getting warmer. So I don't know if it's that or the, the battery is making this warm. What was that? I heard something. <laughs> Come on. This is a really creepy basement though. Okay, let's go back here. It keeps beeping. So the temperature is all the way to the max. I'm gonna open it. So this is the one chip. So this is super duper 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 spicy. And I'm gonna eat it. And uh, I want you guys to watch me, okay? You guys ready? I heard like a, woo! Nice, okay, you guys are ready. All right, can you make a noise? Can someone here make a noise if you want me to eat this chip? Give me like a knock, like, or something. If you want me to eat this chip, can you make a noise through this spirit box? What was that? I keep hearing the same voice, but I can't understand what it's saying. Yes, you want me to do it? Okay, I'm doing it. Here we go. I'm gonna pour some milk first, because that's the only way to feel good after eating this chip. This is the one chip challenge in a haunted house. Cheers, ghosts and spirits. <laughs> Woo, it's funny. Woo okay, I'm gonna walk around. Hey, did you say hey? What's up? I don't know why I'm doing this. This is so bad. Woo! Yeah, for real. What am I doing? I don't know. I don't know, but. I'm just here to entertain you guys. Oh, it's spicy, guys. <sighs> are you in this mirror? I heard mirrors are gateways to like another dimension. Is anyone here? I'm gonna turn this off for now. Any last words? Goodbye.
Lucky for them, I have another one. We're gonna go to another room. Let's check out another place. So far, it's it's been good. I just did something in the basement. But you know how you go into a place and you feel something is in there? I felt something in there, but it wasn't like hostile. It, it felt very peaceful. Um, if I were the spirit, I would be laughing at me. I would be laughing at me. Cause I'm dying on the inside. I'm still dying. Like look, look, look at my face. I'm dying. Whoa. So this is the parlor. Check it out. Anyways, we have this one chip challenge. Okay, <laughs> Mr. Obelus, how's it going? Okay, that's a good first word. It says that was the. Anything else? Head. It just said head nana. Is there a head of a nana here? There's a lot of heads. Would you like me to eat this one chip challenge? Increase. Surprise. <laughs> you want to be surprised? <laughs> this is a one chip. It contains Carolina Reapers. If I eat this, it's gonna be pa very painful, but I'm here to entertain all the spirits here. So, would you like to see me eat this? Hey, was that you? Do you want me to eat this one chip? All right, homies from the parlor. You said you want increase of surprise. <laughs> so I'm gonna go somewhere else in the house and eat two of these. So if you're here, come follow me. Join the fun. Let's go eat two one chips. <laughs> so we just got out of the parlor and it was really pretty seeing all like the artifacts in there, but same thing. The thing that got me is, it said devil. Devil. That was the first thing it said on the obelisk, but you know, it could be anything. Maybe the spirits are entertaining me as I am entertaining the spirits. So <laughs> I feel good. Every spirit here is so peaceful. So we're downstairs. We're gonna head up to the master. There is a lot of activity in the master bedroom. So that would be the perfect place to take these one trip challenges. Come on. The air feels a little bit heavier up here, but this is the place where they say the most activity in the house occurs. So this is a perfect spot to eat the one chip. Wait. You guys see that? I literally saw like an orb just fly. To eat the one chip. Wait. Is anybody in this room? We're not here to uh, harm anyone. I'm honestly here just to eat some potato chips that are extremely, extremely spicy. If anyone's here and you want me to eat these one chip challenges, can you make, give us a sign of your presence, please? Okay, temperature is getting a little bit hot, so that means some. I Can you say that again? Sorry, I, I spoke over you. What was that? This spirit box is really active in this room, so that's a good sign. Do you want me to eat these one chip challenges? music. Uh oh. It's freaking out a little bit. Was that you who put the screaming sound effect? This is gonna be just me. The cameraman is leaving the room. So if you wanna talk to me, I am here. It's just you and me now. Is anyone in this room with me? So, here we go. It's super spicy. I hope you're ready. This is a spicy one chip challenge. I'm gonna eat it, okay? Can you count down with me? Three, two, one. Here I go. Mmm. I'm in pain. Hello? I heard you say hello. Is that you? It's really spicy. Closet, I heard a noise over there. Was that you? I heard a noise somewhere, like over here. I'm not gonna lie. It's like a dump dump.
Can you move something in the room? I'm a very peaceful guy. You want me to leave the room now? Okay, I'm gonna leave the room. So, in the master, I saw like an orb. To eat the one chip, wait. Like through my eyes, but could be anything. Could be dust, could be my imagination. And since that was like the most, I guess, a lot of activity happens in the master, when it was just me in the room, it felt a little weird, but at the same time, like I said, it felt a little heavy, but it felt peaceful at the same time. Come here, dude. There's a crawl space here. Anything is in there? Come on. All right, welcome to the second most haunted place in the house. Is anyone inside of this crawl space? Hello, everybody. I don't want to eat another chip. I already ate two. I changed the frequency to AM signals. Is anyone here? Ooh, it's getting hotter. Every time you hear that beeping, that means it's getting hotter. It detects changes in temperature. Even though this, this is a really weird room, I feel energy. I don't feel like it's like a hostile energy. I feel very welcomed. The spirits here are just super entertained with us and super amused that we're just filming a video, so pretty dope. Let us know in the comments down below where we should go next. I want to go to like random haunted places and just do random things. Maybe turn off the lights? We'll turn off the lights real quick. Okay, there we go. This is what we're talking about. Is anyone here in this crawl space? Hello? I'm gonna move away from the spirit box. It's right there, so feel free to speak in it. Hey! I heard a hey. Did you hear the hey? Do you want to see me eat a one chip challenge? Oh, I heard a sure. Okay, we turn on the lights. Close your eyes. Since you said sure, I'm gonna give you a treat here. All right, here we go. Cheers. Mmm. Spicy. Did you enjoy that? Thank you for inviting us to your house. This is a beautiful house, by the way. Okay, we're gonna go. Later, y'all. Bye. Yeah, so the crawl space was cool. I mean, when it got pitch black, that's when it got really, really weird. But then again, it's like, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel anything. So in the Harris house, people said they, an apparition appeared here, right on the staircase. All right, so check this out. So this is the website, and then this is like this photo where they can see like an apparition right there on the stairs. You see it? To me, that kind of like looks like a flash of a camera. So we're gonna try to take a picture of it and recreate it. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, look, I did it. See, this is the picture I took. It's just the glare and the light. If you look at this picture, it's kind of like the same thing. So. I don't know. Just a theory. I don't know. The photo on the staircase. I, I feel like it was just a flash of light. I mean, to, I don't know. That's just my thought. I kind of recreated it, but it's still a cool photo. Well, hello. Welcome to my bathroom. No, like seriously, no. This bathroom is pretty cool because um, when the house was originally built, um, they kept the bathroom the same. The same wallpapers. Um, and what's cool about the bathroom is, check this out. There are two toilets. Well, hey, that's creepy. Get out of here. Hey, uh, excuse me. Uh, could you, can you pass me some toilet paper over here? I'm down here. I, I ran out. Thank you. That's that's enough. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, can you can you tear it for me? Can you pull it? Thank you so much. Here you go. Thank thank you. Thanks for the toilet paper. I'm sorry. It's a little stinky there too. So there you go. All right. Is there uh, anybody in this restroom with me? You're here, can you make this mirror levitate? Can you move these curtains? Can you turn on the sink? If you're here, can you untie my shoe? And then tie it back up again? Like I said, like, 
It's a dope house, cool vibes. Like I'm sitting on a toilet right next to another toilet. Like what kind of house is this? This is dope. The bathroom is pretty dope too. Like I would want two toilets in my house. So I could poop and then someone else could poop next to me. That's that would that's Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Excuse me! Come here, come here. Hey, can I get a number one in this menu, please? Yes, yes, yes. Number one, just number one. That's all I got. All right, hey everybody. Today's video, we are going to be eating real food versus the fake food version of it. Meaning, they're gonna look really identical. One of them is fake, and it's our job to figure out which one is fake. Are you ready for this? This is 24 hours eating hide and seek real food versus food hacker algorithms. Oh, hello, hello, oh, is this the number one? Oh! You are a bad waiter! Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, all right, so this is what we got. I ordered some cheese, okay? Which one do you think the real cheese is? Do you think it's A, this plate, or B, this plate? All right, let me just turn it around for you. It might be a little tricky because they both look like cheese, but one of them is not actually cheese, which is the crazy part. All right, let's do this. So, I'm going to, I really, I, I really don't know which one's the real cheese. I'm gonna go with this. This is the real one. I think this is the real cheese. This one's the fake one because it has a little bit of brownage to it. But then again, this the cheese might actually have brown to it because some cheeses actually look like that, but then some cheeses look like this as well. I'm gonna go with this one. This might be the real cheese. I can all the touch. They both feel the same. Okay, this is the real cheese. Are we correct, everybody? Let's give it a bite. Yep, that's the real cheese. Wow, super cheesy. Wow, if that's the real cheese, what is this? Here we go. Look at the bottom of it. This one looks so cheesy too. Here we go, let's try it out. White chocolate. This one tastes like chocolate. Even when you bite it, they both look really, really similar together. But this is the real one, that's the fake one. Wow, that's amazing. Wow, this calls for some kind of drink. I am thirsty, that made me thirsty. Cheers. Hey, come here. <laughs> Thank you so much for the cheese. It was very delicious appetizer. Can I actually get the number three? Number three, you got it? Three, okay, not five. Not five, three. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, hey, this is it. Thank you. I appreciate that. This is number four, right? Oh, hey, what's poppin'? Oh, oh, oh. Hey, 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 hey. Here's 50 bucks. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right, so we have ourselves a wrench. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? All right, so I need your help. This is pretty awesome. This is pretty like identical. Okay, I'm gonna flip it around for you guys. It has the same lettering. It says forged steel, and this one says forged steel as well. All right, so I need your help. Comment down below. Do you think it's this? Comment down apple. If you think it's this, comment down apples, plural. Let me know. All right, so ah. Uh... If you think about it, I don't know if you see it from my eyeballs, but this one looks like the real one. It looks really, really s real. And then this one is the fake one because it looks not as real as this one, but identical to this one, which is not real. So let's take a bite of this one. Let's see if this is real or not. Here we go. It's fake. I'm just kidding, it is real. See, it's super sturdy, super rough. A toast, please! A toast! See, it's super real. So, that means this one is the fake one. But considering how accurate and detailed these things are together, that's pretty, pretty awesome. So, let's do this. Let's give this one a bite, shall we? It's real! Which one's the fake one? What the? I'm just kidding, this is the fake one. Oh! That is crazy! That was chocolate! That tastes really good too. Like, I know it's like the color and the saturation of it is just glittery and gray, but the flavor of it was unreal. Look at that. It even has like the fake, whatever this rotor thing is. The same one as this one. It's kind of crazy. Wow. Okay, let's do this part. Mmm. Hey! Can you get it number nine? Yes, number nine, please. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, 
<laughs> I got the number 11. How is it going? <laughs> thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh. You wanna see yourself? There it is. All right, everybody. Now we have ourselves golf balls. This is crazy. We have golf balls here. We have this golf ball and we have this golf ball. Okay, I can tell which one's the fake one and which one's the real one depending on how I drop it. This one's more bouncier. Yep, this one's more ba The demons. All right, anyways, which one do you think the real one is? Comment down the letter F if you think it's this one. If you think it's this one, comment down the letters F, F, F if it's this one, all right? Which one do you think it is? You think it's this one? As you can see, only one. But if you do some magic tricks, you have two. Which one do you think it is? Okay, well, I think obviously it, it's probably this one because this one has like a brand name because you kind of just go with the lettering on this one. I'm just gonna have to go with that one. This one, we have the brand name somewhere, but this one looks really, really good though as far as taste because this thing looks like super sweet white chocolate, all right? So let's try this one out for size. Nope, it's not this one. But did you know a golf ball can bounce as high as you want it to go? See, one simple drop, it goes just as high as kind of when you drop it. If you give it some force, it'll hit the ceiling. Ah! Oh, dang it! All right, now let's try this chocolate one, shall we? Mmm, texture is really nice. Let's take a bite. Here we go. Mmm! See, what I told you, the flavor is amazing. Exactly what you take, it tastes like. <coughs> How are you doing so far? Did you get all of them right, correct? Well, we're moving on. Hey! Hey, that's awesome. <laughs> what is this? Oh! What is that? <laughs> oh! <laughs> If you don't get this one correct, then something's wrong with you. Which one do you think the fake one is? Is it this one or this one? If you think it's this one, comment down below with your favorite name. If you think it's this one, comment down below with your favorite horoscope. You say this one is the fake one? Let's try it out. <laughs> okay, no, obviously this one is the real one. As you can see, it's uh, it cuts pretty well, I think. Pretty loud. Let's see if it can cut through the seat. I mean, I'm not gonna try it out because if I, yeah, that's definitely real. But I'm pretty sure um, this one's supposed to go like this one. So I taped it up. It's supposed to look like that. So when you do cut things, it's supposed to. <laughs> All right. So what does it taste like? It probably tastes like chocolate. You know what else this thing looks like? A thermoscope. You know what? The one for your heart. Mmm, this one is dark chocolate. It's pretty good. What you can do is you take the real one and you try to cut it open and see if it cuts open. Kind of see what happens. When... Oh, there you go. Would you like one? Oh, you got a smudge. Sorry, let me let me fix that. <laughs> okay, better. Scared me. <laughs> okay, bye. Go 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 go. <laughs> What you got in there? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we have some flash drives, aka some thumbsticks, or thumb drives, aka a USB drive. Which one do you think is the real one? Do you think it's this one? Or do you think it's this one? Comment down below 101100010 for this one. Or comment down below. Which do you think it is? All right, what up? Okay, so if you if you do this one, if you go this one, that means you think it's real. Do you think it's real, or do you think this one is real? Let's go to a computer and find out. Come on, here we are, a PC computer. Nah. Okay. All right. So, do you think this one? <laughs> we'll plug in this USB 2.0. Oh yeah, this one is good. You can open up some files. Let's open it. Oh, I don't accidentally unplug this one. It's okay, cause we got this USB. You think? Eh. All right, here we go. <laughs> do, you, do you think this one will plug in? Here we go. <laughs> I don't think that worked really well. 
Okay, this USB port is forever damaged. I broke. All right, let's do test B. Test B is, will it melt? Let's check it out. Okay, if you burn this one, it's gonna melt into its original shape, a chocolate. So this one melts pretty well. How about this one? This one isn't melting, but it's still good. Let's see if this works on a computer now. All right, let's do this. Does it still work? It still works. <laughs> now you know if you burn a USB disk drive, you good. Okay. Hey, hey, come here. What's up? Jimmy Pia Kuraga. Tankua Singwa Stoma Kuku Mawa. Yes. Kuku Malaka Ua. Kuku Malaka. Okay. This is the real one. <laughs> this is the real cheese grazer. This one, you can grate. I'm bleeding. My question is, can you grate the trees? Nah, my boy need go. Ah, now I go use the chocolate cheese. And you get chocolate cheese chocolate. Yeah, and you quick this. Nah. Can you quick this? Mm. I'm bleeding. These are toxic waste sour candies. If you take one toxic waste, that won't really do much. But if you take a barrel of toxic waste, you're gonna get destroyed. Ah! We're gonna play a game of Would You Rather. I'm gonna be given two prompts, just like this. Would you rather be a superhero and be hated by everyone, or have no arms or legs, but be loved by all? If I pick the least popular answer, well, that means I have to take a barrel of toxic waste. So for this question, I would rather be loved by all because love is powerful. Arms and legs and be loved by everybody, why not? What? <laughs> this, was, this was a demonstration round, so obviously that's the least popular answer. That means I would have had to take in the, 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 one, the, not one chip challenge. I feel like this is even worse, so. All right, so let's, let's get started, shall we? <laughs> let's do it. Question number one. Would you rather toilet paper a house or egg a house? Hmm, this one's kind of hard. I just want to pick the most popular answer. I feel like a lot of people would want to TP a house just because it's fun, like throwing in like a toilet paper and then seeing it roll and unravel. So I'm going to say toilet paper house is good. <gasps> oh, oh no! Are you kidding me? Dude, this is only the first question that I got wrong. You would rather throw eggs at a house. You know how many chickens that is? A lot. But then toilet paper, you know how many trees? <laughs> you know, I know how many trees? All right, well, I guess we'll get straight to it. So it looks like this. This is pretty sour. If you've ever had a warhead, uh, it's pretty bad, but this is like five to 10 times sour than a warhead. So here we go. <laughs> Toxic waste challenge. Oh. Mmm. Oh my god, that's really bad. Oh my god. Mm. With all of those um, toxic waste in my mouth, I feel like my teeth were like disintegrating slowly with all the, the acid, the malic acid just, oh. That was wild, dude. Oh, don't try this at home, everyone. Let's just move on, let's just move on. This, that, oh. Oh, just the feeling. This is like my whole mouth is like tingling. It's, it's so much different from eating like spicy stuff, but I would rather do this than spicy stuff. Would you rather lick the floor at a club? Okay, you're in the club and everyone's twerking. You know what I'm saying? They're like, yo, let me get that yum, yum. And you're like, nah, man, nah, man. Or would you rather lick a toilet seat at Walmart? Uh, I mean, Walmart, they're gonna be like, all right, let's go. 
yummy, okay. yummy. So it's like the same thing. So I would lick the floor at a club. I feel that's more sanitary. Okay, good, yeah. That's right, that's right. Ooh, that's good, good, good. All right, moving on to question three. Would you rather have an iPad or an iPhone? iPhone, easy. I mean, you gotta communicate, right? That was such an easy question. Would you rather be forced to watch My Little Pony for 24 hours or have the theme song stuck in your head for the rest of your life? I mean, obviously it's like, would you battle doing something for a day or doing something until you die? I mean, you just gotta pick the 24 hours. Uh, that's definitely, yeah, yeah, that's good. My little pony, my little pony. You'll always be in my heart. My little pony. My teeth are so dry, it can squeak here. Like that is wild. Like all that toxic waste made my teeth so dry. If I grind my teeth, it makes a sound. It's like wild, dude, it's weird. Oh, just a life hack, it's pretty cool too. When you eat toxic waste, you can prank your friends because your teeth are so dry. It's like, yo, watch this out. I can crack my nose. <laughs> but you're actually like destroying your teeth. So it's not, it's not worth it, okay, we're moving on. Would you rather die slowly, but not much pain, or die fast with a lot of pain? I feel like if you die fast, you just don't feel pain. Yeah, I would die fast. Huh? Oh, does it, I don't get it. I mean, I, I get it, like, would you die slowly? Like, what if you die slowly for like an hour rather than you die fast in like 10 seconds? Like, oh, come on, come on. All right, you know what that means? Another barrel of the toxic waste. So there's like different kinds of like time limits here. If I put it in my mouth and leave it there for 60 seconds, I am a full toxie head. Here we go. Hmm. Oh! No, no, okay. ah. I did it. That was so bad. I feel like I lost two teeth doing that. How are my teeth? Oh, wow. I feel like it got worse, bro. I can crack my ears, look. I don't know, man. I don't like this at all. Would you rather never, what does that even mean? Would you rather never, would you rather? <laughs> What does that even mean? Would you rather never, would you rather listen to music again? I don't get that. Would you rather never listen to music again or play video games again? I feel like music you can always listen for the rest of your life. Cause when I'm 90, I'm gonna be blind. So I won't be able to play video games. What's that? So I would rather never play video games again, because I would rather listen to music forever. Okay, uh, I don't know if I, that's, that's correct. Yeah, okay, cool, nice. Would you rather be a male police officer with a high pitched voice or be a male police officer with the appearance of an eight year old boy? Honestly, if me, I'll be funny. It'll be a lot like very funny if I'm just a little boy pulling people over. Like, give me your ID. Maybe, oh wait, do I have my, do I have the same voice? Oh well, I would rather be a boy. Bruh! 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 Taco Bell, come on, man. <laughs> Welcome to how to destroy your teeth. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Mm. Mm -mm. 60 seconds, nice. <sighs> oh, that is bad. If I can do that with like all my teeth. Ah, ah, I swear that's, that's just my teeth. Listen. All right, moving on. Would you rather be in jail for a year or 
live in complete isolation in the mountains for a year. This is tough because in jail you get free food, you get a free gym membership, everything you just you just get taken care of. If you live in complete isolation in the mountains, you're gonna feel lonely. Like you won't have anybody. At least in jail you have people to hang out with. Sometimes you get in fight. That's fine. But <sighs> it is peaceful though in the mountains. I feel like you will find your place, meditate, do your thing, and then when you get back, you're just a new person. Same with jail though, too. I'm not saying I want to go to jail. I'm just saying there are benefits to going to jail. I'm gonna live in the mountains. You're right. There you go. See? Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, the lights are freaking out. <laughs> See, look, 32% 32, 32 of people agree with me. They probably thought the same thing. I almost picked jail, so good job. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, guys, so for the last question, I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna take five barrels, okay? It probably won't fit, <laughs> but I'm gonna try. Here we go, next. Would you rather have your elbow joints facing the other direction, okay? So would you rather have your, your elbow look like this? All right, or would you rather have your knees facing backwards? That kind of sucks because you can't really sit on a chair. You see this? Your knees look like this. All right, so I don't know. Honestly, I use my knees more than my elbows because I'm always walking. So if I'm walking differently, that would affect my whole upper body where my elbows only affect my arms. So I would rather have my elbows facing the opposite direction. Good job. All right, let's keep doing this. Would you rather eat only buffalo wings for the rest of your life or drink only buffalo sauce for the rest of your life? Well, I would, I mean, honestly, I would rather eat the buffalo wings because who would want to drink the buffalo sauce? That's too easy. Moving on, 8%, that's what's up. Nasty. 91,384. Y'all nasty. Y'all nasty. Would you rather be an Olympic tennis player or be an Olympic table tennis player? Well, tennis is more popular, but in my opinion, I love table tennis more because it's less running, so I would do ping pong. What? Yo, there's something wrong with you guys. I'm gonna show you how amazing table tennis is compared to actual tennis. I promise you this. Oh, good. Shower, bro. Ah. Look at my hands. It's so dirty. That was a. Uh... Today we're gonna figure out if things can be cotton candyified. So we're gonna start right into it. We have a pixie stick. If you put a pixie stick inside of this, will it become cotton candy? Pixie stick. Will it cotton candy? Let's find out. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I think so. Things are coming out of it. Just wait for it to heat up a little bit, maybe? No? Did I just break it? Did I break it? No! So pixie stick does not become cotton candy. Let's give it a little bit more time. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe just add some more. I think it does, but it's not as consistent and thick like regular cotton candy. See, I put that there, and we have these little strings just coming up. It's not the best of the best. Pixie sticks, does it con candy? No, no, it does not. You know what might though? Sour Skittles. Sour Skittles my con candy. So we grinded up a whole bunch of sour Skittles. Honestly, even the powdered version of it looks really, really amazing. Well, sour Skittles con candy, comment down below. Let's give this video a big thumbs up. Please help me out. Three, two, one, go. Ah. Oh! Yo, this is going good. Look how consistent that is. I bet you this is gonna taste really, really good because Sour Skittles is the best, at least to me. What's yours? Let me know in the comments. So Sour Skittles, that was very satisfying. I'm gonna do it again because that was really nice to watch. Here we go. Add some more, ready? And here we go. Oh. 
I like how it does it so instantaneously. Once you pour it in, look at it. Nothing more satisfying than this, right? Look at this baby. Does it taste good though? Probably. Let me make sure. Ready? Three, two, one. Bruh. Bruh! Just like everything you could ever ask for in a cotton candy. I don't think anything can beat sour Skittles right now because they're pretty bomb. Does it cotton candy? Yes! Next up, we have peppermints. Will peppermints become cotton candy? Let's find out. So we grinded up a whole bunch of peppermints here. We're just gonna pour it into uh, this cotton candy machine and uh, let's find out. Ready, and here we go. Ah! Oh! Okay! So the consistency of it is very similar to the sour Skittles. A little bit, ooh, I feel like it's more, it's nicer to be honest. Wow, so this one turned out to be pink. Peppermint, cotton candy, it does it. All right, let's try it out. Here we go, peppermint. I'm not the biggest fan of peppermint, but we'll try it. Bruh, I wish you could taste what I'm tasting. Imagine this. It just tastes like that. <laughs> All right, next up we have emergency. If you don't know what this is, people take this when they're sick. This is a powdered packet of vitamin C. The best way to take your medicine is through cotton candy. But will it actually cotton candy? Let's find out. Three, two, one, go. So it's doing the same thing the, the pixie stick did. Uh-oh, it's on fire! If you look inside, it's like this gushy, oozy substance over there. I think we broke it. You see that? That's weird. So it does not become cotton candy. I thought it would because it's a powder. Oh! Is this what we eat to make ourselves feel better? Oh! Dang! So if you heat up this, I guess, medicine packet and centrifuge it, and then it just turns like this. Not the most appealing thing. But then again, medicine, it's not the greatest thing either. I mean, it's good, but it's nasty. Does emergency cotton candy? Yuck! All right, next up, we have Warheads. This is one of the sourest candy you can buy in the store. We grinded up a whole bunch. It looks like this. Pretty pretty, look at that. It's kind of cool. But my question is, will it become cotton candy? No, let me just take one. Huh? Okay, here we go. Okay, so this one is a little bit thick. That's so sour. Warhead, will it become cotton candy? Yes, it does! Look at this! Look at the color though, it's like yellow. This looks sour just looking at it, like look at that. I can't believe it. I cannot believe this. Wow, I cannot believe it. So it looks like this has a little bit of yellow texture, pretty cool. What does it taste like? Is it sour? Let me find out. Yeah, that's pretty sour, dude. It's pretty good though. It's like, it's weird, but it tastes like Warheads. It's sour like Warheads, but it's cotton candy. So, does Warheads become cotton candy? Yes! Next, we have Jolly Rancher. Wind it up, it looks like this. It looks absolutely pretty. Look how nice this is. It's like you're going to a crystal planet and you're just like happy. Look at that. So let's take some of this Jolly Rancher that has been grinded up. All right, well, Jolly Rancher cotton candy. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yes, it does, but it's like, it's slow. It's more like spider webby. I guess the consistency of it made it really, really silky. It's nice. Actually, it's pretty cool. Whoa, Jolly Rancher. Whoa, look at this. Whoa, what the? You ever watch uh, Dragon Ball Z? Oh, boo! <laughs> it's like a tail and you can squish it. And it's like, literally, you can put it in your back and it's like a tail. Look at me. I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. Wah, wah. Hey, your breath stinks. You want some Tic Tacs? We grinded up a whole bunch of Tic Tacs. It's just a, a breath minter. Will Tic Tacs become cotton candy? Three, two, one, go. Okay. Whew. It does, but it's not as webby and silky as the Jolly Rancher. It looks kind of spooky. It's like what you see in Halloween, whenever you go trick-or-treating and you see all like this. You step on it and you put your face in it and you're like, oh shoot, it's a spider and you die. All right, anyways, a spoonful of that only generated up to this. Taste-wise, it probably tastes really good. Here we go. Oh, oh yeah. 
This is kind of weird because the texture is still there, except it melts in your mouth, except it's thick. Does that make sense? It's thick, but it melts in your mouth at the same time. TikTok, yes! I need your help. We have a rock candy. Do you think it'll kind of candy? It tastes like it will because it's straight up sugar, except it's hardened sugar. If you grind up rock candy, it looks like this. Pretty cool. So we're gonna use the rock candy as the cotton candy stick. Rock candy, will it become cotton candy? Three, two, one. Yes, it does. Look at that. Ooh, 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 ooh. If you twist it like left and right rather than around and around, it kind of gives you a, this like flat top. Wow. Look at this. What do you think this looks like? Let me know in the comments. This looks like a brain. This looks like my brain, specifically. Is it good? Mm. Next up, we have this one. Weathers Original. You can find this at Trick or Treating. Um, a lot of people throw this away when they see it. This is a candy I like to say, yuck! But, will it become cotton candy? Let's find out. So we crushed up a bunch of these Weathers nasty ones. Just curious, okay? It has a little bit of like, milk products in there. Here we go. Will Weathers become cotton candy? Let's go. And go. Oh, it does. Oh, okay, cool. This one's a little bit brown. And I'll, okay, I guess if it's mostly sugar, it doesn't matter how much milk is in there. But as long as it's like sugary enough, it will become cotton candy. Look at this. This is probably so gross though. Cool, look at it. It's a little bit brown. Kind of cool. Okay, here we go. Don't get me wrong, yes, it's good, but well, it's kind of bad. Yuck! All right, next up, we have cough drops, okay? This is another kind of medicine. It's basically just candy medicine, okay? Well, cough drops become cotton candy. What better way to get rid of your coughs than to eat cotton candy, right? But the question is, we saw what happened to the other medicine. Oh! Ding! Let's see what happens with the cough drops. Here we go. Oh! All right, I was a little bit unsure at first, but uh, good, cough drops, specifically Ricola. If you have a cotton candy machine and you have Ricola and you have coughs, try it. Here we go. Oh, you don't know what Ricola cough drops are? Well, we got another cough drop. We have Halls, a more popular brand. Halls cough drops. This is the orange flavor. I mean, by the looks of it, it might because you see some crystallization going on, but it is medicine and it will catch on fire. That's why we have no fire extinguisher because we trust this cotton candy so much, we can literally just. Okay. So halls can become cotton candy as well. This is so cool. Mm -hmm. Look at that, look at that. Okay, this is all we got. Mm. I still have it. <laughs> Next up we have fun dip, okay? You guys know this. You dip your fun in the dip. Okay, we have this stick. What people usually do, they go like this. Um, and then they go like that, and they use their spit as the, the glue. But, will it become cotton candy? Let's find out. Here we go, we're pouring the dip here. Nothing? Next up, we have Tang, orange flavored drink powder. Will this become cotton candy? I don't know. I really don't know if this one will, but it's worth a try. Here we go. Oh yes, it does. But it's like little like speckles of it. Look, it's on the microphone. Look at that. Look at that. The microphone's hungry. You hungry? Next up, we have a lollipop. So we grinded up a blue version of this. It's probably gonna work. Wow, it works! Okay, let's put some Tic Tacs. Put a little bit of a uh, warrior. Put all the Jolly Ranchers. Might as well just do everything. Yuck! All right, so if you combine everything, it turns into cotton candy, which is it? Okay guys, it's been about like a minute. It's still going. I don't know how we managed to get a bowl here, but we have a bowl. <laughs> yeah, let's see what this tastes like. If I combine all of these flavors together, I really don't know what it'll taste like. Oh my gosh, it's still going. I'll just put more. Oh my goodness, you can't even see the bowl anymore. 
Look at my hands. It's so dirty. All right, my question is, what does it taste like? Tastes like cough drops, sour skittles, warheads, and some some real. <laughs> it's just a bad Hey everybody, so McDonald's has this kiosk where you can kind of just like buy whatever you want and then you can customize the order. So we're gonna go to McDonald's right now and see how much I can customize my order. Let's just head over there and uh, see what happens. Woo! Okay, so this is the kiosk right here. And uh, let's see what they got. Take out. All right, guys, so we're gonna get this hamburger right here. And we're gonna customize it. You can choose the amount of ketchup, the mustard, the onions. We could do the meat. Let's change the meat. And you can put additional ingredients. Add bacon, lettuce, let's do all of it. Extra mayonnaise. Extra bacon. Extra onions. Extra pickles. Extra ketchup. Extra man <laughs> apply. Do a large meal. We're gonna customize. We're gonna get that extra salt on the fries. It's just crazy how we can do this, yeah? Do I wanna customize the Big Mac? Yes. Can I get extra mac sauce, extra diced onions, extra lettuce, extra pickles? Can I get five American cheese in there? Extra salt. Can I get extra mustard? Extra ketchup, apply. Select a drink, get a large Coke. Can I customize the Coke? Yes. Get that extra large Coke. All right, let's get some more. Let's get this quarter pounder. Just a quarter pounder, we're gonna customize. We're gonna customize that. What if I get none? Let's choose none. No onions, no pickles, no cheese, no buns. You see this option? Do I want buns on my, my burger? No. So this quarter pounder has no mustard, no onions, no bun, no nothing. It's just the patty. I'm just gonna buy one hot fudge sundae. One. Ooh, quarter pounder deluxe, sure. Extra, 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 extra. I would like five tomatoes. Five cheese. No salt. Shredded lettuce. Yes. Ooh, we can change, we can do well done. Yes. And good. Okay, last but not least, we have Big Mac with extra Mac sauce. No buns, just the meat. Meat and Mac sauce. All right, everybody, I just paid for my meal and uh, let me show you my receipt real quick. Itemized list of everything that I got. It's pretty extra. I mean, it just keeps going, going, going. <laughs> but honestly, the subtotal is like just 41 bucks for all this extra stuff. So, McDonald's, good job. <laughs> all right, just a current update. There's the receipt. And uh, yeah, this is the order right here. Let's head back and uh, let's see if they did it. All right, everybody, we are back. Honestly, this is pretty cool. I'm surprised they did it. I'm not sure how well they did it or whatnot, so. Oh, another tip, make sure to do it when it's not busy. Um, I kind of just waited for the perfect opportunity when it got less busy, so that way, you know, they can just not stress about this. So keep in mind. Let's see. So I ordered five things here, all right? <gasps> my Sunday! They didn't give me my Sunday! Well, that's okay. It's such a like it's such a weird order, so I can see why. So let's start with this one right here. This is a Big Mac. Let me read to you what's in this Big Mac. Okay, there's extra Mac sauce, extra onions, extra lettuce, extra pickles. I added four more cheeses, extra meat, extra salt. I added two mustards and two ketchups. I'm pretty sure this is gonna look like a thick Big Mac. You ready? All right, here we go. <laughs> this is the Big Mac with more patties, more cheeses, more pickles, more lettuce. Wow. As you can see, uh huh, really nice. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I'll just bite it right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's delicious. I don't know what else to say. Well, let me just show you this one real quick. 
All right, let's give this video three likes. This is a Big Mac. I told them to remove the bun, remove the lettuce, remove the onions, remove the pickles, and remove everything. I just wanted extra mac sauce on the patty. So this is the Big Mac, believe it or not. You don't believe me? Where's my receipt? Okay, so Big Mac, extra mac sauce, no onions, no shredded lettuce, no pickles, no cheese, no salt, no Big Mac bun. And this is then, the result of that is this. So let's give it a try. Maybe it's, maybe it does taste good with just the patty and this. That tastes that tastes good. Let's do this one. Oh, this is the quarter pounder, I think. Yes. Yeah, so this is the quarter pounder under this thing right here. Let me read to you what is in this quarter pounder. This is the deluxe double quarter pounder. Extra mayonnaise, extra mustard, extra pickle, extra lettuce, four extra tomatoes and four extra slices of cheese. This one's called the Super Duper Quarter Pounder. Oop. So it looks like, looks like this. Yo, this is kind of like what you see in a commercial, to be honest, it looks super, super juicy. Look, look how good that is. Look how amazing this thing looks, huh? Huh? I guess let's try to find a way to eat this burger here. It's not even staying on, okay. I don't know. <laughs> Obviously the burgers aren't meant to like hold that many things, but they did offer it at the kiosk. So that therefore people do get that. I got that. So for McDonald's, all you gotta do, if you want a super big burger, you just gotta just put them all together to create one giant burger, okay? So I'm gonna just do this for now. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you how tall this burger can get, okay. So this thing is the very opposite of this. It's a quarter pounder with nothing. That's like, I don't know what to say. Uh, if you look at this, quarter pounder. No cheese, no mustard, no ketchup, no onions, no pickle, no American cheese, no salt, no bun. What is left? Just the patty. <laughs> it's just a patty. It's just, it's just a patty. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, imagine opening your here at McDonald's. <laughs> You're like, I'm ready to eat my burger. Ooh. Oh, it's just a patty. <laughs> the reason why I did that is so I can put it. <laughs> this is the ultimate McDonald's burger I am creating right now. Okay. Last but not least, this is just a regular hamburger. But I added everything on it. I added three bacons, added some onions, pickles. You, you guys know the deal. So this is just a very beefed up regular hamburger, which looks really nice. Oh, this looks good actually. Look at that. Really like, hey, I'm a hamburger. Mmm, that's delicious. All right, everybody. I would like to present to you the ultimate super mega Big Mac. Oh. <laughs> So we had to use skewers for the top, just cause, so it could hold it up to be honest. Look at that. Look how juicy this thing is. Like, you know, like some restaurants actually make burgers like this. Let's try to take a bite, or at least attempt to take a bite of this giant, massive, look at this. Look how crazy that is. So here we go. Today, I'm going to be mixing every single kind of cereal and we're gonna see what it tastes like. I think personally, I think it'll taste like chicken. I'm just kidding. It's probably gonna be the sweet, sweet, sweet cereal. I have my cereal bowl here. Let's start mixing. All right, guys, first off, comment down below. What's your favorite cereal? Let's play a game. Name five cereals, go. Yeah! If you really wanna get someone with a bet, be like, name five cereals, you got 10 seconds, go. And they're gonna be like, uh, uh, Pop-Tarts, uh, Eggo. <laughs> they're gonna freak out, trust me. It's a game I used to play. Let's just go through the cereals. We're gonna start off with some Fruit Lupus. Woo! 
This used to be my favorite cereal when I was six. One time, I didn't finish my cereal, so I threw it in the trash. And then my dad got mad because he found all the milk and cereal in the trunk. I'm sorry, dad. Next, we got the Fruity Pupply, please. Oh, this is such a colorful cereal box. Next, we got some Honey Nut Cheerios. To be honest, I have never tried this cereal in my life. I'm gonna try it for the first time right now. I see commercials of it, but I've never ever tried this ever. Okay, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in here though. We have the Apple Jukes. Apple Jacks. This is basically the Apple version of Fruit Loops. So we're gonna put that on here. And then we got the Cinnamon Tutus, the guy Crunchy Tatos. Did you know this guy, Captain Crunch, his first name is Tom. Tom Crunch. Is that crazy? Found out about that like last week. I was like, what the heck? I didn't know he had a first name. All right, trivia question. What is the name of this guy? Did you say Sonny? His name's Sonny! Do you guys know that? That's an old school question. His name's Sonny. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I found out about this the other day. This guy, Captain Crunch. Did you know his first name is Kirk? Is that crazy? This whole time I thought it was just Captain Crunch. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be a great cereal. What's his name? If you said Tommy, that's not his name. His name is Tony. Your cereal knowledge, guys. Cereal knowledge. Okay, so, so far, this is what we have. Honestly, it doesn't look too bad. Frosted Flakes. I grew up to Frosted Flakes because that's the only cereal my parents Spot. So I, I've been eating a lot of Frosted Flakes in my childhood. Right, brother? <laughs> that's all we ate because that's all they brought to the house. So all this new cereal I'm not used to. Maybe Fruit Loops. We ate a couple Fruit Loops. Maybe Cookie Crisps and uh, Pops. That's the only cereals I remember growing up. What did your parents buy you? Oh yeah, we had this like twice, I remember. Trivia question, what are the names of these guys? You guys know? Snapchat, Cracker, and Pop-Tart. <laughs> Uh, checks. I always avoided it because it looked disgusting and healthy and uh, I don't think kids eat this. It's more like a older people thing. Pour some of this nasty cereal here. Did you know Girl Scouts, they have their own cereal now? They got Thin Mints cereal. Isn't that crazy? Girl Scouts going far in life, so let's put some chocolate in here. Woo, doesn't look too bad. Here we go, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Where's the guy? There used to be a guy with a hat, a chef hat. See, look. Right, where'd he go? Uh, what, 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 what is this? Man, cereals have changed. Here we go. Here's another cereal I avoided as a kid. That looks disgusting. So that's why I avoided it. It's probably super healthy, so I'm not gonna eat it. <laughs> look at that, look at this. They have dried strawberries. That is just healthy. And you can crunch it. Is that even healthy? Cocoa Pabli, please. I got some Cocoa Pabli, please. All right, all right, all right. Here's another question. What's his name? And what's his name? Frank and Barney. Oh, if you answered Frank and Barney, that's the Flintstones. It's George and Barney, I think. Oh, dude. Oh my gosh, this looks good. Oh, that's delicious. Put some of this in here. Is his name Sonny? Wait, is his name Sonny? I'm so confused right now. Wait, chill. No. Okay, I'm confused. Which one is Sonny? Honestly, thought his Sonny, but he might be Sonny the rabbit. Oh my gosh, I don't know. Do you guys know? Oh my goodness, what is his name? Okay, guys, I don't know the name of this rabbit in here, but if you guys know, comment down below. I always thought he was Sonny, but he might be. Be sunny. Uh, if you look outside, it's cloudy. And if you look over here, it's partly sunny because I don't know which one is sunny. <laughs> I used to eat tricks too. Look how colorful this is. The nicest looking cereal out there. And the flavor isn't bad, dude. Whoa! They changed the logo for this? It used to be a dog. Now it's a werewolf. People like rebranding here. Cookie crisps. They used to say that. I'm getting old here. Looks pretty good. It's kind of like the Chex mix of cereal, to be honest. So this is the unhealthy version of the Cheerios. We got the chocolate Cheerios. Pour some of that here. Ah! I've had this before. Reese's Puffs. When I was a kid, I didn't really like peanut butter. But I have no idea. The older you get, the more your taste buds get better. Shout out to Reese's Pieces. If I make a cereal brand, it'll be guava cereal. You know the shapes of the cereal? Mine will be this shape. Guava cereal! <laughs> Guava cereal! Let me know, let's make it happen. Comment down below. This cereal is low key good. Don't sleep on the pops, cause if you soak it in milk, it tastes amazing. There's a uh, Cocoa Puffs. Look at that, what's he doing? He's vaping the, uh, the Cocoa Puffs. Oh, oh, that's his logo. Oh my goodness, this might be Sunny. Yo, which one is Sunny? Okay, I'm confused. All right, comment down below, please help me out. Is this Sunny? Is this Sunny? Or is this Sunny? I know one of them is Sunny. I honestly think it might be him, Sunny the bird. All right. I'm gonna put some of this in here. All right, this is a uh, this is a brand new cereal that came out probably like three years ago. It's called Crave. It's extremely sweet. So if you love sweetness, get one here. You bite it. There is chocolate inside here. Can you say unhealthy but delicious? Unhealthy but delicious. The last two cereals are probably my least favorite. We got the raisin bran. The raisin bran. 
I'm gonna toss that because we don't need some of that nastiness over there. We also got the honey bunch of the oats. Oh, get out of here! We just gotta mix it around. You gotta mix it like you're mixing slime. Nice. All right guys, now for the moment of truth. All you gotta do is add your milk. If you're one of those people that adds the milk before putting the cereal, something's wrong with you. This is how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to add the milk after you pour the cereal. That way it can properly soak while gravity pulls it down to the bottom. There you go. That is how you do it. Grab your spoon and then just kind of just mix it around, you know. You want to get the evenness of the soaky, that sogginess. You, you want to get it soggy but not too soggy. Well, it depends on your taste. I like mine just a little bit soggy. But too soggy? Nah, 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 nah. Here we go. This is uh mixing all the cereals together and eating it. Here we go. Dude, honestly, it's not bad. Like, my taste buds are very confused because there's so many flavors popping in my taste buds right now. I can't even explain it. <sighs> you get a little hint of sweetness, a little bit of saltiness, a little bit of chocolatey, a little bit of honey oats, a little bit of, like, Cheerios, a little bit of everything in here. Mm. An idea for a cereal brand. I'm just gonna get every single cereal and mix it together and make it my own. Please, Kellogg's, don't sue me if I do that. <laughs> Philip, come here. Let me know what you think about this cereal, okay? Open wide! Uh, oh! Oh! Mmm. It's not bad, eh? What do you think it tastes like? Tricks. Like, oh, really? Yeah. Does the flavors kind of tricks your taste buds? <laughs> What's good? Is that good? Uh, it's surreally good. Surreally, surreally, surreally good? <laughs> oh, you just popped my mind. <laughs> These puns are great. Oh, it's sunny outside. Is that his name? I don't know. Comment down below, please help me out. What is his name? Hey man, checks me out, man. Look, I've been working out. It's sunny outside. <laughs> <laughs> it's Cookie Chris. Cookie Alright guys, well the cereal is delicious. One more time. I took a really small bite out of that. Exploded in a while. Oh nice. We're just gonna um snap, crackle, and pop out of here real quick. So we'll see you guys later. Stay juicy. Make sure to make some puns, because that's how you exercise your humor. Not saying we're funny, you're just you're probably like not even funny, but <laughs> no, it's starting, no. What's up YouTube? So Death came to my door the other day and surprised me with a package. Death, come here with that package. Appreciate it. See you later, Tracy. Uh, this is the package here. Shout out to Pakwi. This box contains the hottest chip in the world. I've done this before. It wasn't the greatest thing in the world, and I am very scared to do this. <laughs> but let's check out this package real quick. So it has a very own letter here. Warning, the Reaper has returned and has chosen you to feel the wrath of the world's hottest chip. The world's hottest chip. So let's open some of these. These are some cool things. So they gave me this hourglass. I'm assuming this hourglass is the time I have to survive without drinking milk or anything to calm down the spiciness. I'm gonna tell you this, I'm gonna lose already, so I might as well try it out. And this is how much milk I have. Uh, I guess that's not a lot, but I'm probably gonna drink a lot of milk. And it comes with a special ball here. Let's see what it has to say. Magic ball of death. Am I going to be okay? It says, Outlook terrible. Do you dare? That's cool and all. Let's open this little area here. All right, so we have three bags of chips. I guess we can uh, work our way to the spiciest chip ever. As you can see, we have like little spice meters. This one's not spicy. This one is super hot, super hot. And this one is freaking hot. And I guess last but not least, I'm pretty sure this middle one contains the spiciest chip ever. And this is my trophy if I win and if I beat the challenge. Let's open this up. Ooh. This is the spiciest chip in the world. So do me a favor. Give this video a big thumbs up. I need as many as possible for me to survive this video. Also follow me on Instagram at guava. Just send your condolences after this video, please. I think that's it. Is there anything else on this box? All right, that's pretty much it. Now, are you ready for the one chip challenge? We're gonna start from least spicy all the way to spicy. So zesty salsa verde, bam. Fiery chili lemon, haunted ghost pepper, and the one chip challenge. Let's try this one first. Let's see if this is good. Let's see if it's not good. Here we go. Oh, that's good. Mm. Oh, 
wow. Very limey, very zesty. Okay. Spice level, inadequate. None. <laughs> Nothing. Boom. Moving on. This one is a super hot, spicy one, okay? Let's see if it's actually really spicy. Sorry guys, I'm just stalling because I don't want to do this challenge at all. It's been here for like the past like two months, so I mean, or oh, whatever. Here we go. Oh, this one's good. Kind of tastes like chicharron. It's like really like, it's flavorful, which is really cool. Spice level, it's there, but it's not enough because I can handle it. I guess we're moving on. We're, we're moving on really quickly. Next up, we have the Haunted Ghost Pepper bag, okay? It says freaking hot. This thing says freaking hot. So uh, let's do this thing. Let's see if it's really hot. Ghost Peppers has a Scoville of like two million or something, like a million or something like that. The higher the Scoville, the spicier the food. This is really spicy. It's kind of weird, like it's very spicy. You feel all the spice, but at the same time, it's very flavorful, which is very confusing. This video is not sponsored, by the way. This is my critique on all these things. It's, that's surprisingly. I can handle it. It's a little spicy, but pretty good. All right, now the moment you've all been waiting for, the one chip challenge right over here. Here's some cinematics. Here we go. Let us unbox this chip. All right, so it comes in this little package here. I'm gonna open it up for you. Oof, I can feel the heat. I just gotta make sure I don't touch my, oh! What the world? Last time I tried this, it wasn't this color. What is that? That's crazy, yo! Smell it. I already, I already know. I already know. There's like a lot of scorpion flakes and like Carolina Reaper flakes and all those good flakes. And I, I just want frosted flakes right now. This is not the flakes I wanted, man. Man. All right. The thing is, I've done this before and I know what it feels like. Let's try to complete this challenge. Here's my milk. This is the timer. Here we go. This is the one chip challenge. My name is Guava Juice and this is the one chip challenge. Here we go. Three, two, one. This thing is moving so slow, man. I was bit out, huh? It's, now it's just stuck in my mouth. I can't. Why is that moving so slow? I can't do it, I can't do it. Yo, no joke, bro, this is no joke. This challenge is no joke, man. It gets hotter and hotter. Hmm, <sighs> getting bad, it's getting really bad. We're good, we're good. Nothing is helping! <sighs> Nothing is helping, I really... Do we have 
lime. I can't, bro. The more I speak, the more it hurts. So I'm, I'm trying to limit all my words. Because it hurts. Mm. This is so bad, dude. Mm. It's getting a little bitter, but it still hurts so bad. Mm. I think it's been about like seven minutes. It's been about seven minutes. It's a little better, but it's still like, it's still in my mouth. Luckily we have these, it's called Miracle Berries. It's supposed to turn everything that's spicy into a sweet flavor. So hopefully this will work. Hopefully it'll work. So it comes in these little, little tiny pills, like that. Here we go, let's try it out. Come on, Miracle Berries. Nope, it's not working at all. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Not work at all. Okay, maybe these ices would help. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I feel that. Right. So the ice is working a little bit. Okay, cool. Whew, I can talk a little bit now. Okay, so as you can see, as you saw, that was a really horrible experience, okay? No, none of it was over dramatized, dramatic. It's really that painful, yo. So would you do this? I suggest you not to do this. Oh, I gotta sit down again. Whew. Best thing to do right now is like to rub your whole entire lips with ice and your whole mouth coat it with like coldness. I think that's the best thing you could do right now, or I could do. Why am I saying you? You're not doing it. That was the worst. It's been about uh, like 30 minutes. It takes 30 minutes to recover, so I'm feeling okay now. I don't need any ice or anything really. The best way to recover, if you want to do this challenge, take some milk and sniff it. What's up YouTube? Today we're gonna try to make chocolate cotton candy. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but uh, let's try it anyways. Grab your cocoa powder and Withers hard candy and pestle and mortar. What we wanna do now is grab a whole bunch of hard candies and you wanna crush it with your pestle. We wanna keep crushing it until it's all refined and tiny. Now grab your cocoa powder and pour a little bit into the mixture like that. I know it's called cocoa, but I like saying cocoa. Anyways, once it's all mixed up, we are good to go. Okay, to be honest, I don't even know if this is gonna work because this contains milk. So I don't even know if milk goes well, if it's heated up and spun around so many times, but you know, it's, it's worth a try. That's why we're doing this video. So let's turn on this cotton candy machine. Let's wait like, let's wait like five minutes for it to get warm and uh, start pouring. I, I really hope this works. So let's grab a couple pieces right here. 
Here we go. Woo! Here we go. Please work. Oh man. Oh man. I think I found the reason why it's not doing anything. It's because chocolate powder equals chocolate fudge hot syrup. Anyways, let's 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 try it out. Might, might as well try this out. It tastes burnt. All right, so um, I think the main problem was I put too much cocoa powder in it. So I grinded up more of these um, caramel candies. And I just sprinkled just a little bit of cocoa powder, or cocoa powder if you want to say that too, into this hard candy mix. So hopefully this still works, we cleaned it up a little bit. Let's try it. Whoa! Why is it making that noise? Oh gosh! Alright, here we go, wish me luck! We only got one shot, so... Please work. Please work. <laughs> All right, it's, it's catching on fire. Oh, that's not good. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! All right, um, same problem here. It just melted caramel or caramel, whatever you want to say. So um, let's do part two of cleaning, and uh, I have a third method I want to try. Hopefully that one will work. All right, so plan B didn't work, so plan C, I'm just gonna take it straight from the cocoa powder. I put a little bit of sugar in here, so hopefully it'll work. Please work. Gonna make that noise again, huh? Yup! Oh, it's even louder this time! It's even louder this time! Wow! Please, please, please work! Here we go. Whoa! Come on! Come on! Come on! What? It's working! Oh. Oh. <laughs> you guys saw that? <laughs> well, anyways. Check this out, it's, it's... Yo, get some water just in case there's gonna be fire. Holy, that thing exploded! Oh. Oh. This is the only um, chocolate cotton candy I got before it exploded. <laughs> so, let's try it out. Ooh, tastes like chocolate. I can't believe this! Look, look how much it's smoking right now! Oh my gosh. You know, I just want to dedicate this moment to honor the this cotton candy machine. Thank you so much for all you've done. Um, I'm sorry I pour, poured a whole bunch of chocolate on you. And macadamia! 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 So YouTube, today we are going to mix 50 ice cream flavors together. Have you ever had a milkshake and then they only mix three flavors? Chocolate, vanilla, Rocky Road. Today we're gonna find out what happens when you mix 50 flavors. <laughs> Woo! Let's do this. So really simple. Um, I'm just gonna take scoops of these ice creams and put it into this container here. Mix it all up and see what it tastes like. But let me introduce to you what I have. We have some Hagen Dazs, Dreyers, Private Selection. I don't know what that is. Baskin Robbins ice cream up in here. Hostess Twinkie flavored ice cream. <laughs> Long Light Bar and Oreo collaboration ice cream bar cookies. Ben and Jers. <laughs> Nestle Drumstick. And we just have the off-brand Kroger brand grocery brand ice cream brands here. Briar, Briars. Did you know this is not ice cream? It's imitation ice cream, so there's not really any milk or whatever in here, so don't be fooled. Can we get this video to 100,000 likes if you like ice cream? If you don't like ice cream, you like something. Comment down below, what's your favorite flavor ice cream? Mine is cookie dough. My second favorite is chocolate chip cookies. And my third flavor is chocolate. My fourth flavor is cookies. You get the idea what my favorite ice cream is. All right, let's start mixing. After these cinematics. Let's do this. Here we go. Let's start with this thing. We have 
have some black raspberry dark chocolate here. Take a scoop of that. There you go. Take more scoops. Oh yeah. Ooh, ice cream. Ooh, it's a little fruity. It's not to my, you know, complexion, but it's it's fine. Pineapple coconut or pina colada. That sounds good, right? Blueberry with pineapple coconut. Let me just part these waves real quick. Ooh. World class chocolate up here. Here we go. I guess you could say it's a milkshake, because I'm just gonna mix it. Next up, we have some cherry vanilla flavor. Matcha green tea. Double vanilla. Cookies and cream. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm just kidding, cookies and cream. Sea salt caramel truffle. Southern butter pecan. Strawberry cheesecake. Regular vanilla. Cookie dough. Oh, that's so good though. Coffee. Drumstick flavor. Chocolate. More cookie dough. I'm gonna save this for later. <laughs> mango. Oh, mango. Pistachio almonds. Jamocha. Half baked. Some more coffee ice cream. Some Twinkie flavors. Oh, that's very interesting. Banana split. Triple brownie. Amaretto cherry. Denali mousse. Peanut butter salted fudge. Salted caramel. Brownie a la mode. Fish food. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Vanilla fudge swirl. Birthday cake. Cherry Garcia. Caramel delight. Raisins. Vanilla bean. Pistachio and honey. Chocolate hazelnut mascarpone. Some snowballs. Some peanut butter. Some brownie batter. This one looks good. Look at that one. Wow. Girl Scout cookies. Here's some clone like bars, and some drumsticks, ice cream bars, and some more ice cream bars. And last but not least, the cherry on top, literally, because it's red, some peppermint. All right, now that we have all 50 ice cream flavors into one bucket, let's mix it up, and let's try it out. Here we go. All right, here we go. This is what it looks like. Check it out from the side. We have a whole bunch of random flavors. Mix it all up here. Uh, uh, this is gonna be a workout. All we do is mix, 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 no matter what. I got money on my mind, but some ice cream in my butt. Every time I step up in this building, all the ice creams go nuts. Macadamia, macadamia, macadamia. Wow, look at this. Ooh, look at that. Oh my gosh. I'm like low key excited to try out what this thing tastes like because I have never tried. So many flavors at once. So many flavors at once. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Check this out. I'm gonna just scoop a big scoop real quick. I want you to see this. Ooh. Look at that. You got a little bit of green, a little bit of red, a little bit of brown, a little bit of white, a little bit of black. Yeah. For the moment you all have been waiting for. What does 50 ice cream flavors mixed together taste like? I'm about to find out. Here we go. Mmm. Oh man. Honestly thought it was gonna taste a lot better, but it tastes really weird. Imagify this. We have some cotton candy and some brownies mixed together. Add a little bit of pistachios. That's what it tastes like. Here, try it out. Comment down below, what do you think it tastes like? Hmm. If I had the choice to eat it, no. But if I was forced to eat it, I don't mind, because it's not that bad. Probably because there's so much chocolate stuff in here. I love chocolate. Mm, I'm speechless. I seriously thought this would taste a lot better than it is right now, but What do you expect? 50 ice cream flavors together, come on! <laughs> if you're ever going through a breakup, just mix 50 ice cream flavors together. It's gonna make you even more sad. Don't do it! <laughs> oh. It's a cherry! Alright kids, what have we learned today? Mixing 50 flavors of ice cream is not worth it. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna save all these ice cream flavors and eat them later. What's my favorite ice cream out of this bunch? Let me show you, come here. It's right over here. I put it in the corner so I can eat it later. 
It's the brownie batter core. I don't know what that is, but it's good. Delicious. I'm a double quarter pounder. You want some pickles, baby? Mm. Hello, welcome to another video. My name is Ronald McDonald's, and I ordered everything off of the McDonald's menu. Check it out. This is everything in the menu here in the United States, of course. We sectionalized it from breakfast and everything else here. So we're gonna just do it one by one and uh, I'm gonna give you my Ronald McDonald rating here. So let's start with the breakfast. All right, so before we get started, to not trigger anybody, I'm just gonna recycle these straws cause it's good for the environment. And I have a reusable straw here. Now we have the breakfast menu. We're gonna start off with the hash brown. Mm. I give it a big thumbs up. <laughs> this is the receipt. Comment down below how much you think this whole thing was. Stay tuned till the end to figure out the answer for sure. You will be surprised or not. Moving on to the breakfast platter. So this is a really popular dish. It has some hot cakes, some little biscuits, some eggs. And of course you can put it all together if you like. It's kind of like DIY, put it like that. Try it out, here we go. Thumbs down for this one. So this is one of my favorite breakfast meals, in my opinion. The hot cakes, especially because it comes with this hot cake syrup. I just love syrup. So what I like about doing with the hot cakes, I like going like that and then holding it like a taco. Mm. I don't know what they do to it, but big thumbs up for hot cakes. Moving down the menu, we have bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. Look at this, look, oh, look at that. Look at the foundation, the contouring on that, so good. The biscuit itself, really buttery. It's good, actually, yeah, it's very good. I like how they have the name of the food on the, the container itself, so good job. Just to make sure, make it easier on me because I don't even know what any of these are. So we have the Egg White Delight McMuffin. These two little biscuits here, and I guess it's egg whites on the inside with a little bit of ham and some cheese. Oh, big thumbs up. Oh, this is a really popular one. Sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle. If you don't know what the McGriddle is, unwrap it. Oh, it can't be a McGriddle without the McDonald's thing we're blue. Best of both worlds, the top of it, it's kind of like a hot cake itself, a little pancake mushed with the McDonald's thing here. So it's basically the breakfast platter in one little thing. So instead of going like this, that's a little bit too much, right? Well, they had a miniature side and that's a McGriddle. Let's try it out. Thumbs up. Next up, we have the Egg McMuffin. We already did this with the egg white version of it. Same thing, pretty good. Yep, it is good. Big thumbs up. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Next up, sausage with biscuits and eggs. Really simple formula. Looks really nice actually. That little biscuits with a simple like egg and some sausage. Mm. <laughs> sausage McMuffin with some eggs. Open it up. Look how juicy this is. Ooh. So what I'm starting to notice is everything's starting to taste the same. All the breakfast menu tastes the same to be honest. After like eating like two or three, I'm like, okay, I get it. I just kind of mix it up and do it. I don't know. This video is not sponsored by the way. McDonald's. Come on, come on. Moving <laughs> on. We got the sausage McGriddle, okay? It's just the McGriddle with sausage. So it's just hot cakes with sausage. You probably already know what that tastes like. <laughs> Imagine ate it, okay? Bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddle. Same thing, McGriddle with the hot cakes, bacon, eggs. You probably know what that tastes like as well. All right, we're gonna move on to the big main course, okay? So we're gonna start off small, okay? This is the chicken McNuggets. Sometimes you may even get lucky to find a McNugget shaped like a chicken head. Can you see it? Looks like a chicken head. Let's try it out. Mmm, it's pretty good though. I gotta give them that. If you want like a good food for the road, you don't wanna get your head hands too messy, go to the drive-thru, get some chicken McNuggets. Where's the sauce? So with the McNuggets, you get a lot of like dipping sauces. It's pretty good, but we're gonna move on. We all got time for that one. Next up, we have the quarter pounder with cheese. What makes it a quarter pounder? Does it actually weigh a quarter of a pound? That's always been my question. So. Quarter pounder, the patty is a quarter of a pound. Comes with simple onions, pickles, cheese, lettuce. Let's try it out. Mm. 
delicious. <laughs> Next up, we have the same exact thing, quarter pounder with cheese, except it's the deluxe version. They just added some tomatoes and some lettuce. Huh? If you were to pick one or the other, get the deluxe. It just adds more flavor with the tomatoes and the lettuce. Take my word for me, it's pretty good. All right, there's another quarter pounder. We have quarter pounder with some bacon. Will the bacon make it taste better? Let's find out. I still like the deluxe better. Next up, we have the 10 piece nuggets. Are there actually 10 pieces in here? Let's find out. There's only three. <laughs> no, just kidding. This is the chicken tenders. It comes with two really good size one, and then one that's got kind of like a little turtle. <laughs> Why you do that, McDonald's? Just give me three of the same thing. Why you gotta give me this one? All right, we are halfway through, everybody. How is everyone feeling? Are your stomachs good or not? Nah? Let me know. I am the CEO, and uh, I will report it. Buttermilk crispy chicken. Okay, so the bun's really nice with cool like brioche kind of thing. Some lettuce, some tomatoes. Nah, that's it. Let's try it out. Mmm, it's good. I'm a little thirsty, so we're gonna drink a little bit of mocha frappuccino. McCafes are really cool because they're pretty, pretty good. All right, I think so far my favorite is the quarter pounder with cheese deluxe with like the whole shabazz, you know what I'm saying? I'll keep this in the forefront. Well, the Big Mac beat it, okay? This is the most popular combo. Combo number one, the Big Mac, because it has the Mac sauce. Secret ingredients in there. So two patties, three buns, and the Mac sauce in the bottom right there. Ooh, you just feel that? Mmm, that's a close number one, man. I love Big Mac. Mac sauce, McDonald's, if you can send me a bathtub filled with Mac sauce, hit me up. I love you. I'm gonna say quarter pounder, number one so far, Big Mac number two. All right, fish filet. Fish filet's actually pretty good. Some people like it, some people don't. I just like the fact that um, the fish is good, but what makes it really good is this sauce right here, the tartar sauce. Same with the Big Mac sauce. Tartar sauce is what, look at it! So good. Don't hate me, y'all. I'm gonna put this on number three. It's pretty good, like low key. People ate it, I don't know, I love it. Double quarter pounder with cheese, also called half a pounder with cheese. Oh, this, this looks so thick. Look at this. Eat me, baby. I'm a double quarter pounder. You want some pickles, baby? Mm. Here we go. This might be a little bit too much for me. It's good if you're hungry. If you're really hungry, grab the double quarter pounder. But for me, a perfect balance is still a quarter pounder with the tomatoes and lettuce. I don't know, man, it's good. Didn't expect that. Moving on to the other chicken item. The artisan chicken grill. Same format, except the chicken is grilled. It's grilled chicken. Maybe they messed up. Let's just say they messed up on the grilled chicken and just fried the chicken instead. Mm. Moving on. If you want the dollar menu, this is the way to go, okay? We got the regular cheeseburger. You probably know what that tastes like. Regular cheeseburger, patty, cheese, and lettuce. Really good. We got the double cheeseburger. Same thing. There's probably gonna be two patties in here. This is a little bit squished out. A double cheeseburger, two patties, two cheese. And this is the double burger with cheese still. So that's crazy. If you want a life hack, we forgot to grab the McChicken, but if you have a McChicken and a McBurger, you just put them together. You got the Mac Bang Bang. Try it out. Or if you want another hack, grab a combo chicken and then also grab a quarter pounder and then you can make the Supreme Bang Bang. It's really easy. Take this. Put a bun right here, and then put the chicken right here. Lettuce on top. So this is the Supreme McBang Bang. Life hack if you wanna save money and if you're really hungry. Mmm. Fries? I love fries. Sometimes I just go to the drive-thru, I just get like a large Coke and some fries. That sometimes that's really all you need for a road trip. And trust me, it'll go a long way. Next up, a lot of people don't know this, McDonald's has some cookies. They have some good cookies. Chocolate? Some oats and stuff, and some sugar cookies. Mm, that's pretty good. Yeah! Oh, that's good too. But if you want to be adventurous, you can put the cookies all together like that. This is called a cookie bang bang. Go like this. Mm, delicious. Next up, we got the apple pie. Look at that, really good. Oh, that's pretty good. McDonald's apple pie, pretty good. It calls for another thirst. So this is the caramel frappuccino. And then this is the mango pineapple smoothie here. Ooh. And then this is the strawberry banana smoothie. Wow, 
So one of my favorite desserts here, the McFlurry. Okay, my question is, what is this used for, you know? Really simple, they have a gadget, they stick it in here and then they centrifuge it with the machine. That's why there's a hole here, that's why it's ugly. Here we go. Mm. That is good. Sometimes what I like to do is take some fries. Mm. Just like that. Other times, what I like to do, I take my burger, go like that. It's pretty good, you should try it. Cause it's so sweet and the burger is salty, it's just a good balance. Also, sometimes what I like to do is take the mango pineapple, go like this. Cause the mango pineapple is sweet and sour and a little bit salty, so we get all the flavors. Pretty good. No, trust me, <laughs> it's really not bad. All right, this is the parfait here. All right, a lot of yogurt, so people eat this for breakfast. Pretty delicious. And welcome to the end of the video. Remember in the beginning, I was like, how much is everything? Well, here's the total price, take a good zoom in. It is $118.30 for this whole thing. You can feed a whole village. Pretty amazing. <laughs> What's up YouTube? Today we are going to do gummy food versus real food where I try gummies and compare it to the real life food. Let's do this! Alright, round one. We have regular pizza versus gummy pizza. Mmm, look at that. Look at the comparison. This one's all cheesy, very pepperoni-y. This one's all gummy-y and very sugar diabetes-y. I'm kind of hungry, so I'm just gonna eat Mmm! That's delicious. Mm, mm. <laughs> oh! Did you know if you're watching me, sponsor me? All right, let's try this gummy pizza. I already know this is gonna be not as good because it's all sugar, but uh, it's still gonna be good. So here we go. That's pretty good still. It kind of tastes like like pineapples and sugar. <laughs> all right, good job. So the winner is. Regular pizza. Gummy pizza, too sweet for me, but. All right, round two, we have regular hot dog versus gummy hot dog. Ooh, look at that, wow, ooh. Ooh, they both look really similar, except this one, you can tell is the gummy version. This doesn't even come off. Look at that, the mustard in this gummy hot dog does not even come off, but this one comes off easily. All right, here we go, the taste test, here we go. Mmm, delicious. D-E-L-I-C-U-S-U-S. Delicious. All right, good job, Mr. Hot Dog. You did good. All right, next up, the gummy hot dog. I'm just really wondering what this flavor is, the mustard. So, uh, here we go. <laughs> this is very tough. Mm. Okay, very nice. This one kind of tastes like the pizza, but then again, a lot of these gummies will taste the same. So gummy hot dog wins this round just because it tastes better. Like if you can't tell, this hot dog's not even cooked. That's probably why this one tastes better. So uh, yeah, on to the next round. All right, round three. We have regular pickles versus ugh, a gummy pickle. <laughs> Look at this pickle right here. It looks kind of funny because it has little bump pimples. <laughs> so uh, I'm not really a big fan of pickles, but uh. I'm just gonna eat it anyways. Ugh. I can't do it, bro. Growing up, I never liked pickles. Comment down below if you don't like pickles as well. All right, well that one is a no-go because I hate pickles. So I'm just really curious on what this tastes like. Do you taste like pickles or do you taste something else? Here we go. What the heck? Legitimately tastes like pickles. I don't know if it's like the aftertaste of eating this. Let me try it one more time. <laughs> this one tastes bad. This one tastes hideous. Okay, believe it or not, I'm gonna go with the regular pickles on this one. If you take grandma's perfume and spray it into a gummy, that's what it tastes like. So, regular pickles for the win. All right, here we go, next round. All right, round four, we have. Whoo, can you guys guess what this is? That's right, this is a fly, this is a maggot. These are gummy bugs. So we have gummy bugs versus regular bugs. Ew, gross, what the heck is this? Look at that, you can see the stripes on this bug. Is that weird? What the heck? It's like all stripy and lion-like. We have a beetle. Uh, what else is here? We have here, like straight up maggots. This is a maggot, right? Ew, ew. And we have uh, crickets. So uh, <laughs> let's start off with this one first because uh, I'm not really too excited for that. So uh, let's, let's, let's take this warm up. Mm. Mm. 
Well, that one tastes like perfume. What the heck? Oh. Maybe I'm supposed to eat this right after I eat that. So here we go, gummy bugs. This is a cricket. This is cricket. Ooh, ooh, mmm, that's not bad. Next up, we have a maggot. Ugh, look at this maggot. Ugh, all right, well, let's see what it tastes like. It's not bad either, it kind of tastes like sand. All right, next up, we have a beetle. Look at this beetle, oh my gosh. Hopefully it's not a dung beetle, that would be gross. You can see little hairs, like you see little follicles of hair, just, ugh, that's gross. Bon appetit. That one's not bad. All right, last but not least, we have this cicada or a giant cricket or cockroach looking thing. All right, here we go, Mr. Uh, cicada here. In three, two, one. Ugh. It's very crunchy. Kind of tastes like popcorn. Is that weird? Yeah, I have like little like bug legs on me. Okay, if you're wondering why I'm not really freaked out, it's because I did this already. I guess check it out right here. So I'm already used to the whole eating bugs thing. For the winner of these two, believe it or not, the bugs. This one like straight up tastes like perfume. Like you just spray a whole bunch of like perfume and cologne on your mouth. That's what this tastes like. But this thing, I can I can eat that for real. All right, let's go. Last round, let's go. Okay, for the last round, we have you guessed it, a gummy tarantula versus uh, a regular tarantula. Oh, look at that, that is the body. Oh man, the tarantula is broken, look at that. You can see the legs, you can see the, the butt. Uh, yeah, so uh, I guess we just gotta do it. All right, so um, obviously I'm gonna have to try the gummy one first because this looks more appealing to be honest. Here we go. Oh, that one tastes like tarantulas. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it tastes like strawberries. Mm, that's good. All right, the moment of truth. We have here a tarantula. Apparently the butt of it has been decapitated from its body. So, yeah, I'm just gonna... Mm, it tastes like barbecue. Straight tastes like barbecue. <laughs> babies were born in my mouth. Imagine if that spider was pregnant, I would've been dead, bro. Woo, are tarantulas poisonous? Why is my mouth itchy? Oh shoot. Oh shoot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, for the winner of that, I would for sure go with the gummy spider, just because it tastes like strawberries. What is up YouTube? Today I've always wondered what it would be like if I ordered crazy pizzas from Papa John's or Domino's. So I don't even know if it's possible, so I'm gonna go to their website, I'm gonna custom order my pizza, and I'm gonna put everything in it. <laughs> right now we're at Papa John's, it says create your own pizza, so we're gonna create some pizza here. Delivery address, okay my address is 11129 9th Street. Crust, original, uh, let me get that extra large pizza because you want a lot of space for all these ingredients that I'm about to put in here. Let me get the normal cheese, why not? Meats, let's do it. Let me get grilled chicken, pepperoni, beef, some Italian sausage, some bacon, some pepperoni, <laughs> some sausage, anchovies, and Canadian bacon. They're gonna be so confused. So obviously I can add all those meats into the pizzas. All right, let's go to vegetables. I want mushrooms, tomatoes. Ah, oh, what? Maximum of 10 toppings. I guess that's the rule for Papa John's. Uh, I guess we gotta choose the best out of the best. So, uh, let's do that. I want all the meats, to be honest. And then veggies. Best vegetable you can have is pineapples. A lot of you guys like it. A lot of you guys don't. I chose all the meats. I have no idea what that's gonna taste like, but we're gonna do it. Add to cart. All right, I'm gonna order another one. Instead of all the meats, I'm gonna choose all the vegetables. This <laughs> we got green peppers, banana peppers, jalapeno peppers, black olives, onions, pineapples, tomatoes, and mushrooms. Whoever's gonna make this pizza, they're gonna be so confused. All right, Let's check out Domino's. Let's see if Domino's can do more than 10 toppings. Domino's website is a little bit outdated. I mean, Papa John's website is very appealing, but it's okay. It's 2018. Update your stuff. Build your own pizza. Sounds good to me. So you want the extra large cheese and sauce? I don't really care about that one. All right, here we go. Choose toppings. So we got pepperoni, beef, ham, 
salami, sausage, Philly cheesesteak, bacon, chicken. That's eight so far, so let's choose some more. Pineapple, uh, let me get that uh, mushroom. Oh, dang it, same thing with this one. All right, so uh, lesson learned, uh, whenever you order pizza, you are only allotted 10 toppings. Unless you know the manager and you're like, hey, can you hook me up? Just put everything in there. But I feel like if you put everything in there, it's gonna break their like fire oven. Add to order. Okay, let me ask you this, comment down below. Do you like Papa John's better or Domino's? Domino's, you guys stepped that up a lot. But I don't know, I grew up with Papa John's. It sounds a lot cooler. Hey, you want some Papa? Hey, you want some Domino's? See, it's just so much different saying it. You want some Papa? Okay, I want a pizza with no sauce this time. No sauce whatsoever. No cheese. <laughs> People are gonna think we're weird. All I want in there are pineapples. I just want a pizza with the dough and the pineapple. Actually, I just want it on the left side, okay? So I want the left side to be pineapples, right side anchovies, uh, no cheese whatsoever, no sauce. Uh, well done, I don't know what that means. Uh, let me get it well done. Let me get that cut in a square. <laughs> Oh, it will make that gluten free. Not recommended with customers with celiac disease as pizzas may be exposed to gluten. Okay, I let me get that gluten free real quick. I'll see you guys when the pizza guy comes. <laughs> I feel like they're gonna call me and then I'm gonna be like, yes, that is exactly what I want. So let's see what these pizzas <laughs> look like. Hey, what's poppin'? We got the Domino's though. Hey, very fast delivery. Papa, where are you? Papa! He just gave me the pizza, and uh, we're good to go. Let's do this thing. All right, guys, here we are. The moment of truth. Let us see how crazy these things look. So, Domino's pizza. If you guys remember, Domino's, it's all the meats with pineapple and mushrooms. So, it, it'll probably look like a uh, all-meat pizza, which is pretty standard. So, let's see if we're right. Oh, look at all that. Okay, okay. Pizza number one, Domino's, looking fly. Let's do Papa John's number one. Same exact principle. We have all the meats with pineapple, okay? Let's see which one looks better. Here we go. Oh, that's it? It smells a little bit fishy because there's some anchovies. Okay, okay. We did a pizza with a lot of vegetables. And uh, let's try it out. Wow, this looks like regular pizza! Okay, one more thing. This is the funny one. No sauce, no cheese, anchovies on one side, pineapples on the other side. Did they actually do it? <laughs> what is that? I forgot I did well done and I wanted square slices. They actually did it. What kind of pizza is this? It looks like a giant cookie with pineapples. No way! This is freaking hilarious. And of course I got my cookie. Like they look the same. Looks like a freaking cookie. All right, what have I learned from this? I feel like you can do it. They will do it, but it's only 10 toppings, depending on what. And out of all the orders, this is the most weird one. Like they have probably never ever gotten an order where they just want pineapples and anchovies. <laughs> this is my favorite. That's so freaking funny. And like all the other pizzas look very, very basic and very normal, which is pretty awesome. Let's try it out. We got pineapples and anchovy pizza. This is a Pizza, I know. Here we go. <laughs> it's pretty good. Might as well try all these pizzas. Oh, this is square slice. That's good. Wow. Hmm, that's good too. But Papa John's, I'm feeling that a lot better. I don't know why. And then we got our vegetable. This is gluten free, by the way. I forgot. Wait, no. This is gluten free. It's so weird. Mm. Well, this comes to show whatever pizza you want. They won't judge you. They're probably gonna be like why am I making things like this? They won't judge you. The moral to the story is do what you want and be happy. I hope you have a good day today. I'm super excited to eat this pizza, especially this pizza. This is good. That was good too. That's also pretty good. All of these are good actually. This one, eh! it looks cool though. It's considered a pizza. So thank you for watching. Comment down below which one of these are your favorite pizzas. I think this is my favorite pizza. Is this because it's so troll? I didn't even know they could do that or look like that. So I'm gonna die. Ah!
What's up, YouTube? Today, we're gonna mix 50 energy drinks together and uh, see what it tastes like. By the way, energy drinks are not the best for you. It's gonna break your heart. Other than having your heart broken another way, it's gonna break your heart. Really, really bad way. Energy drinks are bad for you. <laughs> just saying. But in this video, we're just gonna see what happens. I like Red Bull, by the way. It's good. I know. Alright, anyways. Let's just get mixed in and uh, see what happens. So we're gonna start with this monster energy drinks. By the way, fun fact, when I was in high school, I used to drink a big can of this before my final. It kind of sucked because I would get my final done, but then I would have to pee in the very end, but then my teacher lady wouldn't let me pee because it's the exam, and I had to wait. Turns out when I used the bathroom after, I ended up peeing for a minute and 30 seconds. That's a, that was a record for me. Comment down below, what was your longest pee? Here's some Red Bull. Oh yeah. Here's some more monster. Oh my. Go girl energy drink. I don't know what this is. Let me try it. Ooh, tastes like lemonade. This is NOS. We're gonna put some NOS in here. This is NOS good. Just, just saying. The V8 energy. I didn't even know V8 made energy drinks nowadays, but here we go. What's this taste like? Yep, tastes like tomato juice. We got the Rockstar organic energy drink. I mean, even though it says organic, it's probably super bad still. It's a guava. Oh, island fruit flavor. I like this one. I'm gonna keep this in the side. Here we go. Here's the blue one. This is the low carber. Ooh. Oh man, all these energy drinks I never knew existed. I am pouring into. Oh, look at this one. It's blue. What's this taste like? Oh, this one tastes like gone oh, candy. This is Monster Energy, absolutely zero calories. That sounds extremely sketchy. It still tastes like energy drink, to be honest. Oh, if you go over to this side, we have the Highball Energy, another organic energy drink. This is ginger ale. Let's see how it's up. Yup, tastes like sushi and ginger. Sparkling water energy drink. These people are getting really creative nowadays. That tastes really bad. Oh, that tastes like really bad. If you move on over here, we have the Body Armor Super Drink. This is what you use before your workout and after a workout. Oh, that's sour. We got the XY Ants. XY Ants. This is the mango flavored one. There we go. We got the Rockstar over here. Uh huh. Oh, the energy drinks. Ooh, it's bad for you. Don't drink it. We got the Guayaki Organic Yerba Mate brand. I don't know what that is, but that sounds very interesting. Woo! Oh, that tastes like soap. Straight up tastes like soap. And the last brand I have today is the Steez Organic Energy. Ah. Comment down below, what energy drinks am I missing? All right, so uh, let's just fast forward the others and uh, let's try it out in the very end. Here we go. All right, this is the very last drink. There you go. And now all we gotta do now is just mix it all up to make sure all the flavors blend all metaculously. And then ambiguously, metaculously, metallically, it'll be all interesting tasting. So here we go, let's cover this up like this one. Pour your energy drink mixture. What does it taste like? Uh, it's probably gonna taste orangey because it tastes like orange, but a little bit of peach, we're about to find out. <laughs> But that thing made my my mouth water. Whoa, that was weird. That thing made my mouth water really bad. Whoa, that's weird. My mouth is watering. Don't ever try this. This is an experiment. It doesn't taste bad. That's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that. It doesn't taste bad, but it doesn't taste good. It's just one of those drinks, if it's in the room with you, you don't mind drinking it. If there's something better, you would pick the better than this drink. That's what it tastes like. My mouth keeps watering, man. This thing makes your mouth water, for real. Ah. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna do it. This one goes out to you, Tommy, Sally. Comment down below, what's your name? Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna die now. I'm gonna die. All right, I'm just kidding. This is the actual one. That comes to show, do not drink this energy drink mixture because you'll die. I actually put a little bit of Fanta on this cup right here, so uh, comment down below, did I get ya? <laughs> but for real though, this goes out to you, Tommy. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna do that! <laughs> but honestly, what have we 
learn today, guys, um, energy drinks are not the best for you. Um, the best source of drink that you could ever have in your whole entire life is water. So, for real, this goes out to you, Tommy. Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna try. What's up, YouTube? Today I am going to do the honey fondue challenge. I have here my honey. Are you my honey? You're not my honey. Anyways, I got my honey. I'm gonna pour it here. I already poured a lot. And then from here, all I want to do is turn the fondue on and then just enjoy the show. What? 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 Look at ooh. <laughs> Really quickly, if you have not watched my previous fondue challenges, I just get a whole bunch of food, dip it into this fondue, and then see if it tastes good. So, the first food I have for you guys today is... Takis! Does Takis taste good with the honey fondue? Here we go, Mr. Fondue. I have your Takis. Um, I'm not really a big fan of Takis. I'm sorry, Takis. But if you do want to sponsor me, I'll become a big fan of you, though. <laughs> oh, it's not bad. That actually tastes really good. Wow. Honestly, I think anything with honey, <laughs> honey, won't taste bad. I mean, honey's pretty good. People put honey in their chicken, their chicken wings, chicken wing sauce. That's good! Since it's like a little bit spicy, the sweetness of the honey and the sugariness, it just like eliminates it and just makes it taste better. It kind of tastes good. Oh my God, I can't stop eating it. It's like one of those things where you, you take a bite of something and then you just can't stop eating it. That's the case right now. Mm. Take this away from me! Take this away from me, please! I'm gonna die! Thank you! Woo! Did you know honey has natural properties that make you feel better in your life? Bees take in all the bacteria and then put it into this one little pollen thing. And then when you eat honey, you're basically taking all these bacteria in and your body gets used to all those bacteria, making you less sick. Fun fact, that's why I started taking it, like back in college, because I was sick one time, I ate some honey, I felt better in like an hour. Try it, if you don't feel good right now, eat some honey, it's really good. Or put honey in your tea or honey in your drink. All right, round two, let's, let's check out. Oh boy, I have here some beef jerky. This sounds delicious. Like honey is like a condiment, I guess, because it's like, it's delicious. Mm. Woo. A little bit peppery, salty, for sure. It's for sure really salty. But what better way to counteract with the salt than to add some honey and some sugar. Look at that. Ooh. Look at it drip. Ooh, I'm gonna shove it in here. Oh! <laughs> All right, here we go. Mm. Oh. Mm. It actually tastes okay. Like, the Takis tasted way better than this. Wait, look at the honey. Is it getting thicker? Whoa, the honey is for sure getting a little bit thicker. It wasn't this color before, right? What? Right? All right, so honestly, this beef jerky can taste a little bit better. Honestly, I can use this as a spoon and just eat the honey. Man, I didn't realize I was this addicted to honey. Oh my God, that's delicious. I'm so excited for the next rounds. Next round, let's see what we got. All right, this one's a little bit weird, but I'm pretty sure we could do something and make it taste good. So, right here, we have ourselves dill pickles. Will pickles taste good with honey? So we're about to find out, here we go. Ooh, yeah. I'm not a fan of pickles, I hate pickles. I don't know why, just one time I had it in like sixth grade, I was in the bathroom for like a week. I had to miss one week of school because of this thing, it's so bad. Anyways, here we go. Whoa, dear. Oh, I I hate pickles so much. No, it tastes kind of good. <laughs> wow, I'm so over dramatic sometimes. Mm. I don't know what to feel. Honestly, I can also use this as a spoon and just lick the honey off of it. I love honey. I didn't realize I love honey this much. This is delicious. Here, you want to try? Try it out. It's good. It's delicious, right? It has the mixture of like sourness. It's, it's actually not, not, not that great. I wouldn't recommend pickles with honey. Next item, let's go. Next item we have the Parmesan cheese. It's aged 
10 months. It's a 10 month old cheese. So basically, if it were a baby, it would be out of the womb and be one month old right now. <laughs> Parmesan cheese with some honey. Oh, duh, I gotta unwrap it first. <laughs> All right, here we go, some Parmesan cheese. Here we go, here we go, ooh, ooh. That's good, wow. Cheese is like cheese, right? And you just add a little bit of sweetness. Girl, this is delicious. Oh, why does this taste so good? I'm so confused. Oh. What if I grab some Takis, pour some honey into these Takis, get some Parmesan cheese, and now eat it together. It's probably gonna taste amazing. Wow, that's fuego, bro. That's fuego. Honey is changing my life right now. Like, I'm pretty sure after this video, I'm probably gonna go to the store and grab some honey and eat it, the whole bottle. Oh, God! Delicious, dang. Uh. Yogurt. Okay, let's get this yogurt. I guess the regular flavored yogurt is the. Uh... Yeah, that's pretty regular flavored. It's not regular flavored anymore, huh? It's not regular flavored anymore. I honestly just have a spoonful of honey right now. Hmm. Yeah, I love honey. Wow! Soft baked teddy bears. I guess it's just a teddy bear. Oh, it is. Oh, okay. I've never seen this in my life, but I'm down. Oh, snap! This is gonna taste delicious. I know this for sure. This is like all bread and there's chocolate inside. But what better way he to make this better? Whoa, wait, hold on. Whoa, look at this! What happened to my honey? Why is it like. It's different now. The color is definitely different than what it was earlier. Hmm. Honey glazed bear. So good! I'm enjoying this. Wow. Mmm. You see the chocolate? Mm-hmm. It's chocolate. Mmm. That's some good chocolates. Mmm. Hands down, this is my favorite video I've ever filmed. I found my passion for honey. My love for honey just grew immensely. I didn't realize honey was this good. Next up, we have some curly fries here. Here we go. This is probably gonna be delicious. I'm just gonna. There you go. I'm just gonna let it marinate up there. It's marinating really well right now. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, here we go. Honey fries. Mm. Mm. That's so good. Mm. That's delicious. Wow, perfect balance. I need, I'm gonna, oh my gosh, I love honey so much right now. Wow. Last but not least, we have some honey buns! I'm gonna put more honey on these honey buns. Like, <laughs> oh gosh. Ooh, 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 I have some honey buns! I used to eat this a lot when I was little because I thought it was the healthiest thing. Now that I'm older, I realize it's just like carbs and then sugar and then bad. Here we go! Oh my gosh. I'm putting more honey on these honey buns. This is so that is, oh my gosh. Look at that honey bun. Game over, bro. Game over. Mm. Wow. Wow. 
is up, YouTube? So, I saw this video by Try Guys where they ordered every single thing from a restaurant. I've always wondered, since I really love Cheesecake Factory, if there was a zombie apocalypse, I only had to pick one restaurant to eat for the rest of my life. Cheesecake Factory is not sponsored, by the way. I've always wondered what all their cheesecakes taste like. So today, we're gonna be ordering all of their cheesecakes. So first things first, we gotta make sure it's possible before we even roll up to Cheesecake Factory. I mean, it shouldn't be a problem. They sell cheesecake, right? Cheesecake Factory, how may I help you? Hi, um, I was wondering if it's possible to order all your cheesecakes, like one of each. Uh, all of them? Yes, like one of each of all of them, yes. Sure, okay. Maybe just give us about an hour and then we can have that ready for you. An hour? Yeah, that sounds about good. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, let me just get your name and number. Yeah, okay, my name is Kevin Yellow, and my number is... Okay, great. All right, cool. Cool, I'll see you in an hour, thank you. Okay, thank you. All right, bye. We got all the cheesecakes! Woo! Let me just go grab it. Oh my goodness. All right, in these bags, all the cheesecakes from Cheesecake Factory, all right? Um, help me out here, let's give this video a big thumbs up. As soon as this video ends, I am going to have health problems because this is very not good for your body. <laughs> Let me just reveal what we got here, okay? Bam! Boom, 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 And there you have it. All of the cheesecakes from Cheese... Wait, 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 that's not symmetrical. Much better. Check it out. This is so pretty. This is probably the prettiest thing I have seen today because this is just absolutely amazing, absolutely delicious, and I'm ready to eat. So without further ado, let's take a bite of each one and uh, I'll give you guys my thoughts on the top five, starting from the greatest to the worst. So uh, let's start off with this one right here, all right? This is the original cheesecake, the simplest of simplest, no toppings, no whatsoever, just cheese and cake, all right? This is really good, by the way. Mm. Oh. oh, oh, I'm crying. This is number one, <laughs> the only one, okay? By the way, stick around till the end because I will be mixing all of these cheesecakes together, all right? So let's just take a scoop of this, put it right here into our mixing bowl. I only eat two cheesecakes, the original and the ultimate red velvet. Where are you, honey, where are you? There you are. This is my favorite of all time, the ultimate red velvet. Look how crazy it is, it's so nice. It's just so pretty, like look at this in the back. It's like a wrinkly, the cheese whipped cream thing. All right, here we go. What was that? Yeah, you read my mind. It's delicious, this red velvet cake. Here we go. For you. Let me know in the comments down below, what is your favorite cheesecake from Cheesecake Factory if you've been? All right, so this Hershey's right here, uh, looks pretty amazing because you see in the whipped cream, they put one piece of like Hershey's chocolate here. This itself should be really delicious. Let's take some of this chocolate cream on top and take the rest, ooh, here we go. Mm, that's very rich, rich chocolate. Oh my gosh, this is like the Gucci of chocolate. To be honest, I don't think I'm gonna be disappointed in any way possible with all these, because these all look so delicious. Mm. Next up, we have the mango. Look at this, look at that. Straight up just mango filling right here. Oh, look at that. Just Mmm, very good. And on the top, some kind of like jelly. Look at that. I can just graze my fork on top and this jelly just jiggles. Mmm. This thing makes a man go, woo! Get it? <laughs> so if you like a little bit sour and fruity, this is for you. I'm not saying it's bad, it's delicious. Oh my gosh. Mmm, look at this one. Ooh. So for all you caramel lovers, caramel, caramel, however you say it, this one's definitely for you. You see the top? That's pretty right there. That's so pretty. All right, so uh, let's take a bite of this. Mmm. Mmm. I gotta make sure I take a bite of the back too, because the back has all the flavor. 
Mm. I don't care, Hermel, what you say. This is delicious. Off you go. So far, out of what, the five that I've tasted, my favorite still is still the red velvet. Okay, so this next one right here, s'mores galore, probably the most aesthetically pleasing one. Like, there's a graham cracker super glued on the cheesecake over here. Cheesecake, you make your cheesecake so beautiful looking. Boom. Ooh. Ow. Mmm. Gotta make sure we get some graham crackers here. Mm. This one definitely shot up there on my rankings list. Probably my second favorite. There's so much flavor involved in here. Some crunchiness into it, the stickiness and the smoothness of the marshmallows. How do you get like the chocolatey flavor of the graham crackers? Can I get more of this? Can I get more of this? Off you go. Ooh, look at this one. This is a uh, lemon raspberry. All right, it's not as pretty as the s'mores ones we just saw, but it looks pretty appetizing. Make sure you get the bottom piece because the bottom piece really does provide gestapery on your tongue. Mmm, this one's a little bit sour. Not the greatest, okay? It's probably the lowest of the ranking so far. Let me tell you this. This one's I. Ooh, look at this one. Tiramisu. For you guys who don't know what tiramisu is, it's just like a blondish flavor with some milk and some coffee flavor. So it really does taste like coffee, all right? So uh, I actually don't know what tiramisu is. Comment down below if you know. Mmm. Tiramisu. <laughs> Sorry, I had to think of a pun for this one. <laughs> this one's pretty good though. Sometimes I like tiramisu, sometimes I don't. It's kind of weird. There you go. Ooh, look at this one. It looks like a cosmopolitan kind of ish, okay? Very cherry gala deli. Imagine saying that like a couple times really fast. Very cherry gala deli. Let's try it out. I'm gonna start from the back because it looks really appealing because all these little pebble things here. Mm, mm. <laughs> it's cherry good. There you go. Off you go. Off you go. Ooh, look at this one. This one looks like a cave. I feel like you can live in there. Like bats live there. Hazelnut crunch, everybody. Here we go. Ow. Hazel K. Hazel K. <laughs> Just kidding. It's really good. If this thing disappoints me, I'm gonna be so sad. Because cookie dough is one of my favorite things in the world. I don't know why it's so delicious. So let's give it a bite. Mmm. That's a good cookie dough. No, for real, it's really good because it's super soft right here. And for some reason, the bottom part, super duper crunchy. It's figmentatious. There you go. Oh my goodness, look at this one. This is the blackout cake. Always inspect the back of the uh, the cheesecake because they usually put stuff in the back to just add it more flavor. The proper way to eat cheesecake is not from the front, but from the back. That way you get most of every single texture out there, just like that. Mmm. Wow! You literally eat the cake and you can't see anything because of the blackout. But all your senses are gone. If you know any puns for this one, let me know in the comment down below. There you go. Mmm. So if you inspect the bowl real fast, so many flavors, so much sugar. Believe me, right now, I'm getting a whole bunch of sugar rush for no reason. So I'm getting more hyper and hyper more time in that. <laughs> Okay, so this one has a really interesting name. Caramel Pecan Turtle. Hopefully there are no turtles in here. Looks pretty nice. The back looks nice. The swirl right here looks amazing. Put this down here and uh... That's very squishy. It's good though. Which Pokemon loves this cheesecake? Caramel Pikachu Turtle. <laughs> so bad. There you go. Happy birthday to you. This is the celebration cake. Get it? Because we're celebrating your birthday. Is it your birthday? Hey, happy birthday. This is probably the most fun looking. A lot of sprinkles on the back, sprinkles on top. And on the sides, we got like blue and then red and then a little bit of brown. Let's enjoy it. Really sad to say that all these cheesecakes are starting to taste the same because of all that sugar. I think I'm also full. I'm gonna do my best still. Don't worry. All right, so this one is, um, what was the name again? Put it back. Oh, Oreo Dream Extreme. Some of these names, man, are just crazy. But look at this Oreo piece right here. This is the biggest Oreo piece I have ever seen in my life. Are you serious? Get it? Are you serious? I'm just gonna eat it. Oh, gosh. Good. Uh huh. All right, guys. Like I said in the beginning, I knew this would happen. I have a big sugar rush right now, and I have a little headache because I've been eating so much cheesecake. With all the cheesecakes we ate so far, I ate a lot more off camera. I should have done that. Like I'm not even licking like the the fork or the spoon anymore. I'm just wiping it with a napkin because I'm so full. What is this? This is your basic vanilla bean. All right. So let's uh. You know, if this was 30 minutes ago, this would have been amazing. But well, I've been eating so much cheesecake, that's very annoying now. Where have you been, vanilla bean? <laughs>
<laughs> we got the white chocolate raspberry truffle cheesecake here. Mm -hmm. Good, look at that. It's really nice in the back. On the side, you see the, 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 the um, and then the top, you also see the, the, um. You know, before the video, I was so excited to eat all the cheesecake. Now, I'm slowly regretting it because I'm eating so much. It's starting to hurt, it's weird. Mm. Wow, I'm really having some truffle doing this. Next up, we have lemon meringue. Ooh, this looks pretty. So right here, all the whipped cream is just nice and jolty, and nice and melty. The other side, let me know in the comments down below which cheesecake do you think you like so far? Because I'm dying. Wow. Yes, like I did not expect this to happen. It's delicious, don't get me wrong. I'm so full. For sure, make sure to stay till the end because I'm gonna eat that at the end. Oh dear, what is this? Chocolate mousse. Ch chocolate mousse. Everything tastes the same now, it's crazy. All right, chocolate mousse, goodbye. That one kind of tastes like Abercrombie and Fitch. Okay, so uh, I guess they got lazy naming their cheesecakes, so they just started using numbers. <laughs> this is the 30th anniversary cheesecake. Just to celebrate, I guess, 30 years of Cheesecake Factory. Happy birthday. Have a celebration. Mmm, <laughs> that's good. I'm gonna just put it here now. Mm. It probably tastes like exactly what you think. Chocolate and whipped cream. All right, next up, we got the fresh banana cream. Look at that. It's just literally a monkey's dream. <laughs> Uh, when I say monkey, I mean me. I'm gonna eat you manana <laughs> Cuz I'm full and I'm dying <laughs> Oh help <laughs> White caramel macadamia. I'm allergic to macadamia. There you go. Someone can eat this later, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. This is Adam's peanut butter. Pretty nice. Looks pretty to be honest. But you know, you know what's cool? Oh, you wanna see a magic trick? Okay, you see this? Watch closely. I'm gonna turn one of these, okay? And a two. Whoa. Oh no, it's dirty. Oh man, I guess I can't eat that one. It looks good though. I'll put it right here. All right, next up we have the carrot cake. All right, you wanna see magic trick? All right, I have here a yellow lollipop, okay? But I don't want yellow, I want grape flavored lollipop. But there's something behind here. Not really, there's nothing behind, but I want grape. Let me get some grape please. Oh look, I got a grape one. Oh, amazing. Get out of here. Coffee and cream supreme? All right, fine, I'll, I'll give you a shot. Why not? Mmm, tastes like Starbucks. Oh, did you see that? Go back to the timestamp 2.35. I was more energetic and happy about the video. Now I'm sad! <laughs> Next, we have the key lime cheesecake. Mmm. 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 Oh, you know I'm karate. They go. Okay, so this is probably the healthiest thing we have ever eaten because there's strawberries in here. Mm, let's try it out. I can eat this. Even the strawberries itself have strawberry jelly in them now. Let's put a strawberry in there. All right, this is Linda's fudge cake. I'm going to give you a hand here. Oh, I dropped it. There you go. Oh. Mmm. Oh, look at this one. This one's all dressed up. That's why it's called tuxedo. Wow, look at that. Ooh, it looks pretty. Ah, uh, yum. Mm. Okay, I'm not eating. I'm, 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 I can't. I'm gonna throw up. Dolce de leche. I actually wanna try this one though. Whoa. Whoa! Okay, this is pretty good. If something makes you wanna eat it more when you had enough of it, that's when you know She's the one. Mmm, look at this one. Reese's. Straight up Reese's. That looks like it's gonna make me throw up. It smells good. <laughs> Next up, we have the Godiva. You can tell it's Godiva. Just the way they sprinkled the chocolate powder on top. And it just looks very clean, very smooth. Is it good though? I don't know. It's probably good. I just had so much chocolate today. Look at the mixture. Ugh. Probably looks good to you right now. I don't know. All right. Last but not least, finally, we got the cinnamon swirl. All right. Look at this. Look how precious this is. I'm actually going to take this one just because it's the last one. Okay. That was pretty good. Wow. That's really good. Wow. That's really, really good. Whoa. Wow. Okay. Took me a bit surprise. Hi, Cinnamon You. Here you go. Before I indulge in this nastiness, I'll mix it around while telling you my top five. So starting with number five, we have the original cheesecake. I'm gonna put that on my five. That's my number five. Number four, 
We have the s'mores. That's a pretty good one. We have the dolce de leche. Surprising, that was really good. Number two, we got the cinnamon swirl. That was delicious, that was the very last one I did. And number one, and still number one, the ultimate red velvet. I don't know why, I'm just a big fan of red velvet. I don't even know what that is anymore. All right, so let's take a bite. <laughs> Look at this beetle. Oh my gosh. Ugh, that's gross. Bon appetit. Oh! Take it, take it, take it, take it! What's up, YouTube? Today we are going to do another round of real food versus gummy food. Let's do this! Okay, so I don't know what foods they prepared for me, so I honestly am going to be very surprised each round. So, bring in the first round! Ooh, what is this? This one. Burgers. Burgers? Oh, this is delicious. Oh, look at this one! This one looks like a real burger. Look at that. They make burgers like this? Like gummy burgers? This looks interesting as well. What is this? Oh, okay. Well, round one, we have gummy burger versus real burger. So, let's try this gummy one first. Mm, that is delicious. Like, I don't know if you, you guys ever had those SpongeBob mini Krabby Patty gummy burgers. Kind of tastes like that, but bigger. That's delicious. Mm. All right, next up we have the regular burger. So uh, here we go, diving in. Oh my gosh. What is this? This is delicious. Hold up there, sonny boy. That is good. Mm. Well, I, the winner definitely goes to burger, not gummy burger. All right, next round. Okay, round two, we have... Please do not be gross. Please do not be gross. Oh, peppers! This is a jalapeno. I think we have a jalapeno here. <laughs> we have gummy jalapenos versus regular jalapeno. Don't tell me this is spicy. If this is hot, I'm gonna be so mad. Here we go. Yeah, it's spicy. <laughs> Whoa, that's the spiciest gummy I've ever tasted. Oh my goodness. I did not expect that spiciness. Woo, all right. That was surprisingly very spicy. I guess we gotta try out this regular jalapeno. Here we go. Mmm, that's spicy. That's spicy! Did you know the only thing spicy in the jalapenos are the seeds? So if you eat everything else without the seeds, you'll be fine. But I have a lot of seeds. The winner to this round is this one. This one's like weirdly spicy. It's like so weirdly spicy. All right, next round! Woo! I'm so, it's, my mouth are, it's my mouth is still on fire from the last round, so. All right, round three, what we got here? Oh my gosh, really? We have frogs? I'm assuming this is like frog legs. Yep, yep. Gummy frog versus real frog. Oh my gosh, look at that! It's literally a frog leg. Oh. Bruh, it tried to jump out of my hand, for real. I think it's still alive. Obviously, this is a frog leg. You can honestly just see the frog leg just chilling, so. Uh, I'm just gonna try this gummy frog first. Bon appetit. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. And uh, I've never had frog legs before, so you guys are here to experience it with me. So this is the frog legs. Oh my gosh. Here we go. That's actually pretty good. Tastes like chicken. Wow, no way. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Oh, it tastes good though. All right, so I have to give the winner to frog legs. Very delicious. Yum, yum. Woo! I can't believe that tasted like chicken. Oh, they're really good. All right, this is round number four, I think. So uh, here we go. Oh my gosh. Really? Oh, are you kidding me? You guys see this? These are gummy turtles. Oh my gosh, no way. Don't tell me there's a turtle. Oh, is this a turtle? What is this? Ew. Is this a turtle? What the heck? Can I eat this? Can I eat this? Can you eat that one? This one? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, I'm kind of scared. I didn't know people eat turtles. That's kind of messed up. All right, uh, here we go. Gummy turtle, here we go. That tasted so bad. It tasted like cottage cheese with chocolate. Let's try, let's try another flavor, maybe. Nope, I can't. That tasted like strawberry poop cake. That was bad. It's not bad. Kind of tastes like fish. Like straight fish. Like from the ocean fish. Like not from the aquarium fish, but the ocean. Not the lake fish, but the ocean fish. Mm. All right, cool. The winner is a real turtle. It's still pretty messed up. People make these arboids. Oh my God. Okay, it's starting to taste weird. Okay, round number five. What we got here? What is this? 
Uh, ew! ew! Oh. Is this a brain? Oh, gross! Oh my gosh, so what's in here? Oh gosh, here we go, let's, let's do this. Oh! Is this really a brain? Oh! People eat this? What does it look like not cooked? Oh! Oh! Take it, take it, take it, take it! Oh! Okay, here we go! Gummy brain, let's do this, uh... Here we go. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's delicious. Oh! Okay, here we go. This is real brain versus gummy brain. Here we go. It's very salty. It kind of tastes like um pork. Pork. Is this pork brain? It is. Oh my god! Ew. <laughs> oh, it's delicious. But just the thought that it's brain. <laughs> Literally. It's Thought of a brain. It's just a thought that it's a brain. It's weird. I'm gonna have to give it to Gummy Brain, the winner. All right, last and final round. I know you guys probably picked something really gross and nasty, so this is probably super gross and nasty, right? Oh! Oh my God! No! No! Are you kidding me? No way. Okay. Well, before I open it, I'm gonna try this first. Gummy snake is good. I guess we can open this now. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? There's no way there's a snake in here. Is it alive? Here we go, you guys are here with me. Three, two, one, and... Oh! oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Why would you, I'm not gonna eat that, you know that. Where'd you get this? Outside. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Why would you bring a snake in here? This is insane. Oh, that's cool. Here. Should I try to pick him up? Hello? Is he is he good? It's oh, it's okay. Come on. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. It's just slimy. There you go. It's okay. There you go. It's okay. Look at that. That's not bad. See, it's not bad. It's a cutie. Wow. Nice. Oh, well, I'm gonna take this guy to the pet store real quick. Save this guy's life. These are the three spiciest hot sauce known to mankind. This is the second spiciest hot sauce known to mankind. We already did this in another video. Make sure to check it out. This is the third spiciest hot sauce, and this is the most spiciest hot sauce. Today, we are going to be taking number three and number one. And this is a Tabasco. I'm your host, Quava Juice, and let's go straight into it, okay? So for the third pick from Scoville University, Guava Juice selects Black Mamba for today's video. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my gosh, look at this. So this is the container, as you can see. Um, Dude, oh, let's shake it up a little bit. So just to give you guys an idea of what's in here, I'm just gonna pour a little bit here. I mean, honestly, this looks pretty delicious, to be honest, compared to all the other hot ones out there. Like, this is like brown. Like, all the other ones are just like straight up black. For this one, you can at least like see the chilies going in there, so it looks a little bit delicious. Just give you more context of how many Scovilles are in this one. So this one's called Black Mamba, rest in peace. Uh, six hot sauce, this is six million Scovilles, okay? Plutonium, nine million Scovilles. Oh my gosh. I guess let's try it out, shall we? All right, let me just mix this up a little bit here. Can't be too bad, right? Let me just get a good blob here. All right, here we go. This is the Black Mamba hot sauce. Hmm. First of all, that tastes really delicious. That tastes really good, to be honest. It's like a, it's like very citrusy, but you do feel that hotness. I think I've done so many hot things, like my my tongue. My throat and my stomach is immune. Which is, I don't know if that's a good thing, but honestly, this tastes really good, you know? It doesn't feel like the third hottest hot sauce. I mean, let me take a bigger chunk. But it is delicious, though. Mmm. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good. That was weird. This is probably the most delicious, spiciest hot sauce I've ever had. Like, I don't know if this has six million Scoville or if I'm just like, I'm immune to it, but this is, this is some good hot sauce. Hold on, let me make a burger or something, hold on. All right, so I made some uh, some burgers here. Maybe I didn't shake it off or shake it enough. So I'm gonna shake it as much as I can. It's like pasty, but it's really delicious. Let's try it with a burger. You know, hot sauce is supposed to be meant for food. So let's take a little dab. Here you go, three, two, one. Dude, this is good. This is delicious. Man. All right, yo, thumbs up for Black Mamba hot sauce, yo. Black Mamba, it's so good. You can't go wrong with Black Mamba. Oh my gosh, it's the best, best ever. All right, wow, I'm gonna put some more in there. Dude, look how much I'm putting. It's like delicious. Yeah, that's bomb. Why is that so good? I don't understand. I'm not even like dying or anything. So I'm really questioning if this is really the third spiciest hot sauce in the world, but for sure it's the most delicious hot sauce ever. Yes. I don't know. Look, I'm just literally just dabbing it everywhere. There's no tricks, no gimmicks, everybody. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. This is the weirdest sensation, yo. Not sponsored. I am just very shook. Like, no cap, this is dope. Mm. All right. Good job. I'm sweating just a little bit, but that was very satisfying. Good job. Oh, uh oh, you guys hear that noise? It's just a sound effect, but you see this light here? That means there's a nuclear bomb on the way. This is the world's spiciest hot sauce. I've done this challenge before. And <laughs> Hello, guys. This is the plutonium hot sauce. So this one, I really, really gotta be careful. Okay, but if this was six million Scoville, nine million shouldn't be as bad. Huge difference between this one and the other one. This black mamba is very liquidy. Like it looks more like a regular salsa or like, you know, regular hot sauce. This one is straight up, I feel like is just an extract and just an oil of death, okay? Like I can't even get it out of the... So this one is for real. Okay, this one does smell like death. It doesn't smell at all. Appetiting. Appetiting. Whatsoever. So I'm gonna stick a skewer in here. Like it's, look at that. You can't even. Okay, let me just take a big chunk. Oh, look at that. Look at this chunk right here, dudes. Oh my gosh. Like that right there. If I take this, I feel like I'm gonna die. So I'm just gonna take a really small amount so you guys can see how intense even just the smallest amount of this plutonium sauce is. Okay, this is a good, good amount. This is the amount I am going to take of this plutonium sauce. Here we go. This is the world spiciest hot sauce challenge. Mmm. 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 Hmm. Mm hmm. So this is pretty bad. This is not satisfying at all. Oh my! That's definitely one of the ones where you take and it gets hotter by the second. <coughs> Man! <coughs> I was so excited to eat this other burger. I can try to eat the burger with the bacon, but I don't think. Oh my God. Yep. Oh my gosh. I don't understand how the Black Mamba is 6 million and then you just go straight up to 9 million and it's like 50 times worse. Mm. Oh. 
Oh my God. Wow. Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay, might as well eat this one because you can't waste food here. I can't, I gotta swallow it. Ah. Holy smokes. Mm. Mm. Uh huh. Mm -mm. <sighs> Go away! Go away! I don't want you there no more. Oh! Oh man, dude. Yeah, this is pretty bad, dude. Oh man. So. Oh! Dude, this is like one of the ones that creep up on you. Like this is this is pretty bad. Like you don't feel anything, but then the pain goes like this. You don't feel anything. Wow! And I'm already at that level now. Oh my gosh, plutonium! Don't don't do this every anybody. This is so bad. They say citric acid helps, but it's not. It's really not helping. I don't know what to do to help this, dude. This is so bad. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, like I can't even focus on like talking to the camera. I'm like dying at the same time. Woo, yeah, that definitely is like 9 million Scovilles for sure. Wow, don't do this guys. So like I feel, I hear ringing in my left ear. It's like, wow, that is no joke, yo. Not exaggerating anything here. I'm like internally crying, but I'm not trying to show it. I'm not trying to snot as much as possible because it's disgusting. Wow, I need to walk or something. I can't, I can't. Yo, huh. Hey sisters, it's hot. It's been like 10 minutes or something like that. Like when you take spicy stuff like this, it usually calms down after 10, 15 minutes but it hasn't calmed down yet. And like my tolerance for spiciness is pretty high right now. Oh my God, dude. I don't know. I'm just like walking around because I can't even focus. The first little piece I took of plutonium was fine, but I think it, what got me was that big chunk. I'm getting a little lightheaded. I'm getting like lightheaded, bro. Oh, oh my God. Oh. oh, oh, oh my goodness. Nine million, it's no joke. It took 30 minutes. If you want to suffer 30 minutes of pain, plutonium does a trick, don't do it though. That was completely horrible. I can't hear on this year, it's like clogged. I don't know why. I think my body couldn't handle it. Oh! What's up YouTube? Today we are going to try different things to see if it can get that full. What's up YouTube? Today we are going to try different things to see if it can BAM! What's up YouTube? Today we are going to try different things to see if it can become soda. So let's soda! Let's, let's soda! It. <laughs> So here I have the soda stream. If you don't know what the soda stream is, basically. So if you don't know what the soda stream is, what it is, is it makes soda out of anything or sparkling water, or sparkling whatever. It just makes carbonation. So you have this thing, you put it in here and then you press the button on top like this. And then eventually it'll become sparkling water soda. I'm not, uh, Ah, I'm not a big fan of sparkly water, but let's do it anyways. First thing we want to try is will sour Skittles become a really delicious soda? Here we go. So let's uh, unpack, unwrap this, unwrap that. Let's just pour all these sour Skittles inside here. Thumbs up if you like sour Skittles. It's one of my favorite candies for sure, man. All right, so here we go. Sour Skittles, will it become a soda and be delicious? We're about to find out in three, two, one. Oh yeah, baby girl. 
All right, all right, let's uh, take this out. Woo, do you hear that sound? That's the sound of satisfaction. Oh, look at this. It is fizzing like crazy. Oh, look at this. Look at this, it won't stop fizzing. It won't stop carbonating from the bottom. Like it's like, it's like a little bath bomb inside this little soda container. All right, here we go, taste test. Let's see if this is good. That was not good at all, that was so bad. Ugh. I definitely thought you would taste good at least. Cause it's like fruity flavored and it's soury. It just tastes like straight up sour. Ugh. Oh, that's way too sour. I feel like the carbonation made this thing like three times as sour as it is. Woo! All right, on to the next. All right, next up we have Chester's hot fries. So let's uh, let's see if this spicy, you know, this spicy little chip thing will become a really great soda. So let's put a couple in here. Mm -hmm. Let's add a little bit of water. Will it become a really delicious soda? Let's go. Oh yeah, you like that baby girl, uh, yeah, carbonate, carbonate. All right, here we go. Woo, I love that sound so much. Look at it, steam. Look at it, steam. All right, here we go, taste test. What does it taste like? Mm. Wow, it's not bad. This is a lot better than, surprisingly, this tastes a lot better than the sour Skittles. Uh, wow, wow. I think, wow. All right, next up we have ramen. Will this become a really great soda? We're about to find out. First, let's boil the noodles. Here we go. All right, so the noodles should be good. So uh, let's put some noodles in here. Oh yeah, noodles. And then we gotta add the ramen packet. So this is a beef flavored packet. So let's put it on here. Let's shake it all around like this. And then, will this ramen noodle taste good? We're about to find out. Here we go. Put it here and carbonate. Ah! That looks gross already. All right, should be completely fine. Take it out. Ooh, that sounds so, wow. Wow. All right guys, ramen soda. Let's see if it's good. I wish I could get the noodles. Come on, noodles. Mmm. 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 Wow. That tastes good. Like, that tastes really good. Whoa. Wow. I am like completely surprised. Wow, that was great. Oh my goodness. Woo! By the way, I just want to give a big shout out to Be A Hero Kids. They do awesome superhero and fun toy adventures. Check out my friends Emmerich and Elias over at Be A Hero Kids. Link in the description below. And let's get to the next one, which is Coca-Cola. Will this become a super Coca-Cola if I add more carbonation or will it taste the same? We're about to find out. Oh, super Coca-Cola. Count down in three, two, one. Super Coke! Woo! Woo, carbonation, woo! All right, mm. and we're out. Whoa, here we go. The moment of truth. Whoa! I feel like it's like, woo, whoa. I feel like I wanna burp a lot more drinking this. Cause it's, it's, it tastes like regular Coke, except it's just so much more fuzzier and fizzier. Wow, cool, this is the, not bad. Mm. Wow, if you wanna make super Coke, all you gotta do is get one of these soda streamers, get some Coca-Cola, soda stream it up. So let's do some more. This tastes way too good, man. Way too good. Ugh. Mm, delicioso, delicioso. Much more hyper. Last but not least, let's try out marshmallows or marshmallows, however you want to say it. All right, here we go. Marshmallow time. Whoa, look at that. It looks pretty cool. It's like all white and stuff. All right, here we go. 
Whew. Three, two, one. All right, let's check it out. No way. Is this ice cream? It turned into ice cream, are you kidding me? What? Marshmallow ice cream. Is it? The it tastes like ice, look at that! There's ice cream in here! What? Wow! I don't know how it did that, that was delicious. Wow, that was awesome! What's up YouTube? Today I'm gonna do the spicy ramen challenge. Apparently this is the spiciest instant noodle ramen and I am going to eat it. So come on, let's cook it! Hi friends, we're gonna make a spicy noodle today. If you don't know how to make noodles, basically get a pot, fill it with water and boil it. It's really simple. Hey, does anyone know what this says? Please comment below, help me out, I'm confused. All right, let's open this bad boy. There's five packets in here. It looks really cute, really innocent, but I know it's gonna be super spicy. So the direction says to boil water. Once that is done, put the little noodles on there. Wait until it's squishy and then, you know, just mix it around a little bit till it's perfect. Wow. The directions told me to leave a little bit of water because we're gonna pan fry it a little afterwards. So once you drain the water out, it's gonna look sexy like that. Yeah. Nice. Now we're gonna put the spicy demonic sauce on here. Look at that. And make sure you mix it up a little bit so it's like really nice and in there. And it told me to pan fry it, like I said earlier. So we're gonna boil it so the, the spiciness kind of like latches on into the noodles. Once we're done with that, basically get a little bowl and pour your noodles on there and we should be good to go. Wow, look at that. All right, here is the moment of truth. How spicy is the spiciest ramen, instant noodle, etc.? Honestly, it doesn't look that bad. Look at this. That, that kind of really looks delicious. Like, I don't know if I made it wrong, but we're about to find out. All right, here we go. Arigatou gozaimasu. It's not, it's not too bad right now. At the moment, it's not too bad. Mm. Yeah, it's getting spicy. Cheers. Mm. If you don't know me, I love spicy food. Like, I really love spicy food. And I can take a lot of spicy things. <clears throat> well, this is pretty spicy. It's not the spiciest thing in the world, because I've, I've already had like Carolina Reapers and ghost peppers and the plutonium like extract that was horrible, but this is pretty good. There's like a, it's spicy in a way, but at the same time, it's delicious. Like my stomach is like confused because I'm super hungry. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if it's because I'm super hungry or it's delicious, but it's pretty good. It's honestly not that bad. Like I saw videos on YouTube of, of like people struggling and I'm just over here just like enjoying it. <laughs> oh my God, this is good. I honestly can make like two more and eat it. This is good. Marlin. You want to try this? Thinking try this. Good. Like, try one bite and let let us know. Cause right now I, it's not spicy for me. I think you're tricking me. No, I'm serious. I like ate already. I like already ate half of it. Roy always tricks me. Okay, here we go. First bite. Hmm. So maybe you bought the wrong one. No, I'm pretty sure I bought the right one. It's pretty good. I can't handle what Roy handles. Roy can you? Oh wait, it's starting to get a little spicy. Wait. How's it going? I don't know. I'm also kind of hungry, so it's just kind of. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's getting spicy. I feel like if you don't oh, eat if it, you don't eat it, yeah, it's like hot Cheetos. If okay, yeah, yeah. My my mouth is spicy though. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like the more air you inhale, the worse it'll get. Mm -hmm. See mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, how yeah. you feel it. 
It's like hot Cheetos for sure. It's like hot Cheetos when you stop eating it. Uh, uh, is my eyes? <coughs> my eyes watering. And there you have it. I finished a pack of um, the spicy ramen. There you go. I feel it now. Like the more I inhale air, the more I feel it. I'm just gonna sit here and see what happens. No water, no anything. I'm just gonna wait. Maybe, maybe for me it'll take a lot, a lot longer to settle in. So let's see. It's not that bad. All right, cool. I don't, honestly don't think it's that bad. Wow, I don't think. Maybe I made it wrong. Who knows? I, I think I made it right. You guys saw me. Okay, the more I talk, the more I get louder. Okay, I gotta end the video now before I die. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. it. It wasn't too bad in the scale of like one to ten as far as spiciness. I give it an eight. It wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, anyways, feel free to try it. The only thing bad about it is after you eat it and you don't have anything else to eat, the more you talk, the more it hurts. But it's okay, just drink water, it'll go away in probably like 10 minutes, so. I have every single donut from Dunkin' Donuts today, and today I will be trying them all and ranking them, and I'm gonna let you know which one is the best donut, because my tongue and my palate is great. Okay. All right, so let's start off with this one, all right. French cruller. So this is a French criller. Oh, this smells so amazing. Here we go. Mmm, it's very soft. Mmm, okay, this is good. That's actually pretty good. I'm gonna put this on the S tier, okay? This is the S tier, the very top. It's actually not bad, it's pretty good. Strawberry frosted sprinkle. Here we go, let's try it. Mm. There are three types of people in this world. People who love sprinkles, people who don't love sprinkles. And your mama. <laughs> mm. All right, strawberry, it's not that great to me. It's a little bit dry too, so I'm gonna put this on the C tier, okay? It's not the greatest. I'm not really a big flavor guy with the uh, things on top of a glazed donut. Make it a little different, you know? Just don't slap toppings on there. Toasted coconut. This is pretty cool because it's different from like getting a glazed donut and just slabbering strawberry on top, so let's try it out. Mm. It's a little dry, but the coconut makes it very pina colada-y. It's like I'm in a tropical forest, but for some reason, I, it's weird. I eat it, but I'm in a forest, tropical forest, but I'm a snake chasing after a beetle, but I can never get the beetle because I can never fly. This one's not bad. I'm gonna give it a B out of five, the B tier. Apple cider. This is how you make kombucha. Let's see if it tastes like kombucha. Hmm. Wow, what a weird, not weird, very interesting flavor. I took a bite into it, and it just reminds me of the Windows XP screensaver, or like the desktop. That's what it reminds me of. I don't know why. It just tastes like the side of that, you know? Wow, it's all right. I'm gonna put it on the beats here. Thank you, apple cider. Blueberry. See, this one is okay. It's not like the best blueberry donut, but Duncan did its best to create a sensation similar to a blueberry donut. If that makes any sense, I don't know. I'm gonna put it on the B tier for blueberries, these nuts. Glazed donut. I'm just gonna open it for you. You can see visually it's a little bit, a little dry. I like my moist, like a little moist donut. Okay, let's try this out, ready? Okay, as expected, a little bit puffy, a little bit, a little bit dry but the glaze on the outside and the wetness on the outside and the moisture of the outside kind of balances it out. I'm gonna rate this glazed donut a seven out of 15. Right there. Boston cream. We got a glazed donut with a little bit outside, but there's a little bit of filling in here. It's cause you go like that. You can see the filling. It's right in there. Not too much, but just enough to get the job done. So let's try it out, okay? So the cream inside, it's not bad. I feel like it adds more moisture, because the filling inside is a little bit dry. The filling inside makes it a little bit wet, so it's a good balance, it's not bad. I would prefer this than the glazed donut itself, so good job. I'm gonna give you eight out of 15. Chocolate butternut. This is a chocolate butternut donut. Dang, say that five times fast. Chocolate butternut. Here we go. I mean, it's not 
bad. It's not that preferred. I put it in the B tier. Good job, butternuts. Chocolate glazed. Quick story, I have a good memory with this. When my parents used to go grocery shopping when I was like 10, I would just go to the donut part of the grocery store and eat these. And I don't know, I just liked it. Um, I wish you were more wet on the inside because you're very dry and it's throwing me off. Like I want you to be delicious, but you're not. Like the glaze is just what's making it, keeping it together here. So I'm gonna rank this a B out of Z, I guess. Pumpkin. I'm gonna change it up a little bit here. Dunkin' Donuts is called Dunkin' Donuts because you're supposed to dunk and donuts into coffee. So maybe that'll change my mind about these ratings here. So let's give it a bite first. And now, let's dunk it. Now it's a little bit wet. Maybe that's why it's so dry inside. You're supposed to wet it. Mmm, it's actually not bad when it's like dipped in like coffee. This is like straight up black coffee. If you dunk it, I give it an A, honestly. But undunking, a B. I mean, could be better, but hey, it is what it is. Chocolate frosted. It tastes super dry. Let's dip it. Wow! Dude, that actually makes a difference. What is this? Sorcery? What the? It tastes good when it's like dunked in like coffee. Wow! What is that? All right, well, life hack. If you want your donut to taste good, just dip it in coffee and you'll be perfectly fine. But as far as taste, I'll put it on the C. I'll put it, give it a C. Jelly donut. This looks great. Like it's a little coated with like a little bit of sugar, a little bit of jelly right here. So let's see. How much jelly is inside though? I'm curious. Oh my! That's a lot! Woo! Mmm! Wow! Holy moly! That was the best thing I had in the last 20 minutes. <laughs> All right, S tier for sure. S tier for sure. That was that was pretty good. Good job, Dunkin' Donuts. Sour cream. Instead of making the donut with milk, they use sour cream instead. Hmm, not bad. Very odd. Hmm, it's like an acquired thing. I'm not really acquired, just preference thing. I'll put on the beads here. It makes sense, but I'm just not my preference. So these donuts are closed. So we're gonna move on to these donuts here. We got the bars, we got the balls, we got more powdered donuts here and some extra ones here. So let's change it up a little bit. Let's start with this one. Chocolate Long John. Okay, try it out, ready? See, I feel like it's too much dough now. It just has to be a good balance between the donut and what's on top. Maybe you're supposed to dip it in the uh, coffee. I don't know, I'm not about it, bro. I don't know. So I'm gonna put this on the D tier. <laughs> That's what I would change it up. <laughs> Maple Log John. Look at this. I'm gonna put it on the D tier. <laughs> Vanilla Frosted Sprinkle. No. I don't know if I'm about this one either. It's like, it's too much sugar, you know? You're gonna have the glaze on it. And why are you coating it with more sugar with vanilla? All right, I'm gonna put this on the C tier. Chocolate Glazed. Chocolate glaze with dumped, like literally dumped a whole bunch of chocolate. This is like diabetes Chewbacca. That's too sweet. That's just too sweet. Like if you're trying to get something really, really sweet, this is the way to go. I mean, it's good, but it's too sweet for me. So I'm gonna put this on the B tier. Powdered sugar. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty good. Mm. Wow, I can eat this. I understand. Holy moly, that was great. Okay, powdered donut. Not bad. Wow, we have our first eight here. Ba -ba -da -da. Ba -ba -bum 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 -bum. Vanilla cream. So there's cream on the inside. Not much though. Here you go. Now we try. I think I'm just, I'm just like at my limit for my sugar. I feel like I'm dying. Like my body is telling me no more. No more, right? No more. My video says, finish it, bro. <laughs> chocolate filled. Let's open it. Let's reveal some chocolatey. Mmm. Old fashioned donut. That is so dry. Munchkins. 
Moving on to these munchkins. They're basically the donut holes of the donuts. This is what they are made out of, okay? Fun fact, if you did not know that. So these donut holes slash munchkins, there's five flavors. Chocolate glaze, pumpkin, strawberry field, blueberry, and glaze, all right? Very nice. What's up, YouTube? Before I start the video, if you guys don't know this already, the Guava Juice Box 2 just came out yesterday, and I was looking through the comments, and I am very touched by the love you have given it and given me. And if you have not gotten one yet, be sure to get one, because I know for sure they will sell out pretty soon. So, yeah, hope you enjoy this video, and stay juicy. Oh! Is it pork brain? It is? Oh my god, ew! That is gross! Ew! What's up, YouTube? Today we're gonna do another round of gummy food versus real food! Let's do this! So just letting you guys know, I don't know any foods that are going to be unraveled today, so everything's gonna be a surprise for me as it is for you. So, round one, here we go. And we have... Corn! Whoa! Nice! What? There's gummy corn? Whoa! This is pretty accurate. That's pretty legit. Whoever invented this thing, good job. Does it taste like corn? We're about to find out. Here we go. Hmm. It doesn't taste like corn. It's good though. Hmm. It tastes like lemons. There you go. It's like a lime and a lemon combined. So in a way, it just tastes like Sprite. There you go. That's hard to describe it. Next up, we have the real corn. Here we go. Mmm, I love corn so much. Do you love corn? Comment down below. This round, I'm gonna have to give the winner to regular corn, just cause I love corn. And it's kinda threw me off with the whole Sprite flavored, so. All right, next round. All right, round two. Let's see what we have here. Oh, we have a water Malone. Water Malone, there's water Malone. Wow, that's beautiful. What? Look at this. Wow, this is the most beautiful gummy I have ever seen. Oh my gosh. I'm super excited to try this out. So uh, let's go ahead and take a bite of this watermelon. Wow, wow, that is delicious. Oh my gosh. 10 out of 10 recommended. That is so good. Wow. Jeez! But well, you know I can't diss the real watermelon. By the way, you wanna know a life hack to eating this fast? All you gotta do is go like this. Here we go, I'll show you, let me. Three, two, one. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, surprisingly, I'm gonna have to give the winner to gummy watermelon. This is insanely delicious, sour. It tastes better than this watermelon. I'm still gonna eat this though. Next round, please. All right, here we go, round three. Just letting you guys know, I'm assuming each round gets more progressively weird. So uh, let's go. What? What? <laughs> Is it alligator? What? Yo, these gummies look so cool though. Oh my gosh, it's a freaking alligator. Get her out of here. Don't tell me there's an alligator head underneath this. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, what the? What is this? Is it alligator poop? Wait, what is this? Alligator nuggets? Alligator nuggets? Is it like chicken nuggets but alligator nuggets? <laughs> What's it look like, like not cooked? Oh, it's just little balls. Alligator nuggets! I'm gonna try this one first because uh, this looks dope. I wonder what this tastes like. I wonder if it tastes like alligator. Probably not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lime, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I work. How? Oh. This is a tough one. It tastes weird though. Have you guys seen that one video with that snake eating the alligator and the snake died because they got too fat? I feel like that snake right now. Okay, uh-uh. No, no. It kind of tastes like perfume with mold. That's gross. Let's do this one. Alligator nuggets. Let's try it out. And... It's very tough. Wow. It's good! I actually like it. And other than the fact that it's like really tough to eat, I can eat this. All right, cool. I'm gonna give the winner to alligator nuggets. This one tastes so weird. It almost broke the plate. That's why I don't like it. Next round. All right, guys, round number four. What do we got here? Here we go, and... What is that? Uh, ew! Ew! What is this? Is it a slug? It's a slug? Ew! It's a slug ears. It's oh my gosh, kind of looks like Shrek, but orange. Are you kidding me? There's a slug under here? Here we go. And whoa! What? These are muscle clams. Couldn't find slugs. You couldn't find slugs? Yeah. 
They have some in the, the garbage can outside, I think. We can redo it. That's okay, I'm, I'm down to eat some clams. So just letting you guys know, I'm allergic to clams, but it's okay. It's actually pretty good. It's just the fact that I'm allergic, I can't really eat it. That's good, that's good. I'm just kidding. I am allergic though. I'm gonna spit it out before I die. That was pretty good. Let's try this one. If this one tastes like orange, this is gonna be a winner. Here we go. It is orange. Aren't you glad this is a gummy slug? I'm gonna have to give the winner to the gummy slug here. That's perfect. All right, next round. All right, round five. Let's see what we got here. Here we go. Oh no! It's an octopus. Hello, hello. Oh, ew. That is gross. Ew. Oh, look at that. Look at these tentacles. Oh my gosh. How do you make an octopus laugh? Tentacles. <laughs> Just like the muscle clams, I'm allergic to seafood, which means I'm probably allergic to this. So let's gonna let's let's try this gummy one first. So here we go. That's good. It kind of tastes like a gummy bear. Okay, just kidding. It doesn't taste good anymore. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's definitely not good. Thumbs down for the octopus gummy. Let's try this uh, octopus tentacles. It's very tough. <laughs> I know it's dead, but I feel like its tentacles were sucking on my tongue. All right, I'm gonna have to give the winner to this one because this guy's is freaky. This is freaky. <laughs> Okay, next round. This is the final round. Uh, it's probably gonna be extremely gross. I don't know that, but it's probably gonna be gross. Here we go. <gasps> what is that? Ow! Is a, what's that, tongue? Oh, it's not bad, it's a tongue. It's a tongue. <laughs> That's pretty fun, actually. I kind of don't want to eat it just because I like messing around with it. All right, here we go. It's gonna be a tongue. Ow, what? Ew, what is this? Oh, oh! Is this a cow's tongue? I think this is a cow's tongue. Ew! You can kind of see it's like the holes and follicles of the tongue. This is a big tongue! Oh, that is gross! Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna test out the gummy tongue first. So uh I'm going to enjoy this gummy tongue because I don't wanna eat that. That's delicious. That's what you call a gummy tongue. Moment of truth. Here we go. Not as bad as I thought. It kind of tasted pretty good. But I'm still gonna have to give the gummy tongue the winner of this round is just because it's more delicious. This one is kind of freaky, to be honest. Before we start the video, I just want to say new shirts are out right now. Look at this. Except, bam! You can customize it yourself. You can put anything right here. In this case, I put my name right. If you want to go to crowdmade.com slash guava juice for your own customized guava juice leaf t-shirt. Alright, back to the video. So I just gotta keep going. So you know how it works. Each round gets progressively grosser and grosser. And just like you, I don't know what's underneath these little containers. So let's start off with round number uno. We have, what is that? Oh, we have some gummy sushi on this end and some real sushi on this end. What? Ooh, that looks delicious right now. Oh, let's just start off with the, the gummy sushi. I'm very excited because I'm not really sure what these things are around here. So let's, let's start with this. Really good. <laughs> Check that out. That is awesome, dude. It's really thick. This one has a marshmallow right inside. Oh, that's kind of cute. It's not cute no more. <laughs> this is the sashimi or the nagatori. I don't know. I don't know even know what that is. Mm. They wrapped a gummy bear with some onion gummy. Oh my gosh, that is delicious. Mm. Do you hear that? I'm like legit really satisfied. Okay, this is the sashimi because there's like a salmon piece of salmon. The marshmallows indicate like rice. That one was okay. All right, so we got that out of the way. Let's try the real sushi this time. Looks very, very appetizing. 
<laughs> this is like perfect because it's salty and it balances out the sweetness and the sourness of these gummies. These two work really well. Oh my gosh. Never mind. This has wasabi in it. I'm not really a big fan of wasabi because I don't like the taste of it. I just never really liked it. <laughs> it's weird. I have to give it to the gummy sushi. All right, next round. All right, round two. Things are going to get a little bit more weird here. So it can't be too weird, right? It's only round two. So we have underneath this container. Oh, we have fish. We have gummy fish versus real fish. Ooh, look at that guy. Let's embrace the pattern on this gummy fish. This is really delicate and very nice. Wow, look at that. See the eyeballs, see the fins. Oh no, oh no, the tail fell down, it's okay. Hmm, tastes really, kind of tastes like fish, but it's okay. Wow, look at this, this is really good. Wow, that is great. That's a strong fish. Have you seen a gummy fish jump around before? Here we go. Oh gosh, I got a fish! Help! I got a fish! Oh! Oh! Real fish, here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, you guys know what fish is, right? That's actually pretty good. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of seafood because I'm allergic to like shellfish. Anything with shells, basically. Comment down below if you have the same allergies. Uh, I'm gonna have to give the winner to the... Gummy fish! Just cause, you know, it looks cooler. I'm not really a big fan of fish anyways. Thumbs up for gummy fish. I wonder what's in here. <laughs> okay, here we go. Three, two, one. What is that? A slug? It's a mustache! Oh, I mustache you a question. <laughs> Wait, so what's in here? Did you, did you actually get like real hairs or whatever? Okay, okay, cool. That makes more sense. A fake mustache versus a gummy mustache. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Let's try this one. It looks like a sour apple flavored uh, gummy mustache. Oh. It's really, um, what do you call it? Really stretchy. Mm. Mm -mm. Just kidding. It kind of smells like, uh, like an old lady's perfume mixed with her underwear where she tried to go to Victoria's Secret to try out some panties, but then she didn't, so instead she lit a candle and farted on it. That's what it tastes like. It's really bad. Oh my goodness. Let's try this fake mustache out. Uh, you guys, you guys trolling me with this? Uh, I'll I just wear it for the rush of the video. How about that? How about that? Cash me outside. All right, so I'm gonna give the winner to the big mustache because this one tasted weird. Plus, you can put this on your face and you'll just have a great day. What's up, a mustache you? Keeps falling out. All right, guys, round number four. This is gonna get weird because round four and five are always so gross. So here we go. What do we have under this container? I'll let you guys see it first. What is it, guys? Is it weird? Okay, here we go, I'm gonna look. <laughs> it's a brain? Wow, this is a really delicate, intricate looking brain. Look how look how cool that is. I'm pretty sure this one tastes really well. That's really how our brain looks like. Ugh. It's right over there, guys. I've had brains before. I've had it in the previous episodes, but I had a tiny brain. Oh, that is gross. Ew! Am I supposed to eat this? Oh, look at that! Oh! Oh! It started bleeding? Oh, what is that? Am I supposed to eat this? Oh, you have a cooked, okay. I was like, dude, okay, all right, that's weird. Okay, cool, that's even better. They cooked it up for me. I was like, I don't think you can eat brain. What, what animal is this? Uh, human. Wait, for real, this is human? Secret. No way, that's a human brain! That's a human brain? No way, human brains are not like that. No, you lying. You right. Okay, that's why. Like that. Okay, we have a brain of some sort of animal that is not human. And now uh, let's just start off with this giant gummy brain real quick. <laughs> Here we go. Mmm. Oh, tastes like water alone. It's good. Do I look like a zombie doing this? Like. Comment down below. Is that a good zombie expression or not? I love brains! <laughs> oh my gosh, what is that? Oh, okay, I'm just gonna try it. Here we go! It's really crunchy. <laughs> I feel smarter already. Smarter every day. 
This is weird. Okay, imagine this. Oh, that is a squishy part. It doesn't taste bad. It kind of tastes like pork. I'm assuming this is pork brain, so. <laughs> Alright, for sure I'm gonna give the winner to the gummy brain Cause this is kinda weird And this is insane Oh man, give me a break Oh dear I, I'm not to hate Alright, next round Final round, round five This is gonna be the weirdest thing In this video So here we go, not too excited I'll let you guys peek first Here we go, what is it? Tell me It's weird, yeah? Snake? Is it a snake? What is this? Okay, well, we're about to find out if it's a snake or a worm. We'll see. I'll let you guys see first. Okay, ready? And action. What do you guys see? Is it a snake or worms? <laughs> They're still alive! Oh my god! No! I've never ever put live worms in my mouth before. This was so moving, look. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna eat it. I'm just gonna put it in my mouth because these guys do well with the environment. All right, let's start with this one first off. Gummy worm, here we go. And you know what would be funny? If you trolled me, you put an actual worm inside this gummy worm, I would be so mad. But luckily there's not, so this is delicious. You're literally still moving. Oh, they're squiggly. How come they're squiggly? Oh my gosh. Oh, they're moving! Why is it moving? <laughs> okay, I, I don't know, man. Some kids like playing with these things, but I don't, man. This is weird. Oh, there you go. Yeah, okay. Let me just uh, get them out from their homes real quick. And no, oh, guys, that's a small one. Oh, this one. Oh, this one's going crazy. This one's going crazy. He's on defense mode right now. All right, all right. Let's. I, I'm not gonna mess with that one. All right, guys. So here we go. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna eat it. Like I said, I'm just gonna put it in my mouth for as long as I can, which is probably not gonna be that long. Oh! I hope it doesn't do that in my mouth because it's gonna go down my throat. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna have worms. Literal worms. Oh, come on, come on, come on, get in here. Okay, let's do, I'm just practicing, practicing the motions here. Okay. Okay, I get it. I got it. That's probably why I'm gonna do I'm about to cry. Here we go, for real. Here we go. Three. Two, one, go. Hope you enjoyed your shower. Those guys left a weird taste in my mouth. It was weird. That's so delicious. What's up, YouTube? Today we're gonna do dog food versus Human food! Let's do this. Alright, so I have my dog here, Oogie, to help me out in this video. So, here are the flavors we're gonna try. We have here, grilled steak and eggs flavor. We have beef and apple puree. <laughs> Scrambled eggs and sausage. Chicken and liver. <laughs> Meat lasagna and New York strip steak. You want some food? You want you want food? You do? You do? You want food? Which one do you want to try first? That one? Okay, let's try it. <laughs> Grilled steak and egg. So uh let's try the, the human food first. So this is the steak. Mmm, very delicious. Mmm. That's good. That's good. Oh my gosh. Oh look at this egg. Oh very delicious. Yum. Mmm. Mmm. That's good, right? That's good. And now we have the grilled steak and eggs flavor dog food. So here you go. I'm gonna open it for you right here. Oh my god! <laughs> this doesn't look anything like that. That is so horrible. Uh, grilled steak and eggs dog food. Here we go. Do you like it? How do you eat that? Please, let me know. How do you eat that? That's so hard. That's so nasty. You're a nasty dog, you know that? All right, next up we have the apple sauces. So this is the human apple sauce. Let me, uh, let me try this apple sauce first because it's probably good. Here you go. Mmm. Mmm! That's delicious! That's so delicious! Oh! All right, next up we have the 
beef and applesauce. There's beef in this applesauce. So, oh my gosh, here we go. Let's try it out. Ew! How is this applesauce? How is that apple? Here we go. Oh, it's not bad. This one's actually not bad. What do you think? This is good? You want some? No? Oh, you like it? Okay, Oogie, he seems to like it. Double thumbs up for that one. Next up we have scrambled eggs and sausage flavor. So, of course, let's try the scrambled eggs and sausage human food. Oh, come on, don't jump, don't jump. Don't jump. I'm sorry. Mmm, that's delicious. That's delicious. It sucks knowing that uh, my appetite is going to change in about like 30 seconds, but I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> Big thumbs up for that one. All right, here we go. Scrambled eggs and sausage dog food flavor. Uh, it's just, what? It's like the same thing. These two are the same looking things. Uh, sausage and scrambled eggs flavor. <laughs> <laughs> That was so crunchy, that threw me off really bad. As soon as I bit into it, I felt bones coming into my teeth. Ooh, maybe I should try that again. <laughs> nope, I can't, I can't. How about you, Yi? What do you think about this dog food? Is it good? He, he seems to like it a lot. Okay, he didn't really eat it. I'm assuming he's saying, it's all right. It's all right, Poppy, it's all right. We're gonna give this one a big thumbs down for taste. Oh my gosh, what is this? Chicken and liver flavored. And uh, we couldn't find liver at the store. So we have chicken hearts. So this is a chicken heart. Here we go. Oh, it's not bad. That's pretty good. First time having chicken hearts, not bad. All right, so chicken heart, good. Let's try this chicken with liver. Oh, it's the same looking thing. It's the same thing. Oh my gosh, why do dog foods look the same? Here we go, chicken and liver. Wish me luck. Can you tell me how you eat this? Why do you eat this? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's really good? Are you a big chicken and liver kind of dog? What kind of dog are you, huh? Want some? Oh, you're just looking at it. Uh oh. Oh, okay, so he didn't really eat it, so I guess he thinks it's all right. So I guess double thumbs down for chicken and liver. Chicken hearts was good though, so thumbs up for chicken hearts. Okay, next up, this one seems more appealing. We have meat lasagna versus human lasagna. Let's try this human lasagna first. There we go. That's delicious. That's delicious. Now let's see this meat lasagna. Does it look the same? We're about to find out, here we go. Oh, no, it doesn't. This one looks more appealing. Yeah, it's not bad. All right, here you go, Oogie. Let's see if this is good. Ah, this one's not bad. This one's good. Here, you want some? You want to try this? Okay, he seems to like it. We both like it. So big thumbs up to lasagna. You can't go wrong with lasagna at all. All right, last but not least, we have the New York Strip. We have dog food New York Strip versus human New York strip. So let's try human, because it's more delicious, obviously. That was good. Now let's try this dog food New York strip. How do you like this? Please tell me, tell me the secrets. Hmm. Here we go. Let's open this thing. Oh, ooh. oh man, that looks kind of disgusting. It's more broken down than the previous like dog foods. <sighs> Here we go, New York strip steak dog food. Uh-uh, uh-uh. That's a no-go. I don't know how you dogs eat this. Here you go, what do you think about this? Is this good? Oh, you're devouring? Okay, okay, he's devouring this right now. You like it? That was good for you? I bet you like this video, huh? This is your favorite video. Uh-huh, right? Mm -hmm. What's up YouTube? Today we're gonna do another round of gummy food versus real food. This is episode four, and the past three episodes have been killing it. It's either you guys love it, or you guys love watching me eat weird stuff. So if you haven't seen the past three episodes, watch them right now. Prior to this, I don't know what they got me, so hopefully you guys didn't get me too crazy stuff. Let's do episode four right now!
Round one. So like all the other episodes, it starts really slow and then gets weirder and weirder. Round one should be really simple. So here we go. Oh, look at that. It's an apple. Or if you want to say apple, if you want to say it the correct way. So a green apple versus. <laughs> so let's try the gummy green apple first. Ah, oh my gosh. I can tell before I ate it that it was gonna taste really good. And I wasn't wrong. This thing tastes delicious. I'm gonna take my time chewing this real quick. You are very delicious! I just wanted to let you know, Mr. Sour Apple. Thank you! That tasted really good. So if this thing beats it in taste, I would be really surprised. So. Yeah, this thing tastes too healthy. I'm gonna give the winner to the sour gummy apple. Good. Next round. All right, round two. Um, obviously it has something to do with a stick here. I'm pretty sure that is something with a stick. Uh, hopefully nothing gross so far. It's only round two and oh, whoa! Is that chicken leg? Is it chicken leg? Oh, look at that chicken leg! Oh my gosh! So we have gummy chicken leg versus. Oh, okay, my bad. It's not a chicken leg, it's a turkey leg. Oh my gosh, this looks so delicious. Like, look at all these oils and fats dripping out of this turkey leg, oh my gosh. Let's start with this gummy turkey leg. Does it taste like turkey leg? No, let's play the game. What does this taste like? A, turkey leg, B, brown sugar, C, chocolate, or four, Coca-Cola. Here we go, I'll give you guys like two seconds. Alright, the answer is D, Coca-Cola. <laughs> wow. Mm, it's actually not bad. If you're craving Coca-Cola kind of thingy thingy, this is where to go. Alright, for the regular turkey leg, let's let's do this right now. Mm. Oh my gosh. I was hungry all day today and Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. oh man, that's good! That's good! Yo, that turkey leg is so good! <laughs> You're so delicious! Obviously, I'm gonna have to give the winner to the turkey leg. <laughs> Alright, here we go, round three. I'm assuming this will be a little bit weirder or whatever, so uh here we go. Let's 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 see if I'm correct. And the round three is. Oh! Oh my gosh, it's a rabbit! No way! That's so messed up, you guys got rabbits? Are you kidding me? Okay, here we go, and... Huh. Ah! Wait, it's not bad. I thought you guys were gonna give me, like, real rabbits. We are. Oh my goodness. You guys are so funny tricking me! <laughs> so let's start off with uh, the gummy rabbit real quick. Give me a kiss. Mm. Kind of tastes like kiwis and strawberries and coconuts. Look at the rabbit. I'm sorry, Mr. Rabbit. Oh no. Kind of tastes like pina colada. If you've never had pina colada, it's just coconuts and pineapples. It, it kind of tastes like that. That's good. That's pretty good. Uh, I guess let's try the chocolate rabbit because you guys gave me this already, so I might as well. Oh, look at that. There's some caramel or caramel or caramel inside. Mmm, that's delicious. Mm! <laughs> this is a uh, real rabbit guys. Look at this. I don't even know what body part this is, but it's still a rabbit. Oh, it's kind of tough. Ah, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I can hear the chewing in my ears. Seasonings are great, kind of like dents out the nastiness. Just the fact that I have a rabbit inside my mouth and I'm eating it kind of makes it weird. Is it messed up to say like I think rabbit tastes good? <laughs> Don't get mad at me! Wow, that's pretty good! Regardless, I'm gonna have to give the winner to the chocolate rabbit. <laughs> I'm just kidding, the, the gummy rabbit is good. This is the best one though, out of these three. What does it taste like if I combine all the rabbits together? Here we go. It's not bad. <laughs> Alright, next round. Alright, so this is the final round. Um <sighs> It's gonna be weird, I'm pretty sure. Uh, here we go, let's just get to it and... Oh no. Oh no! Look at it! 
No, it's not a snail. It's a heart. You can see like the veins popping out of here. And then the artery is right over there. Oh my gosh. Did you know your heart's actually in the middle? But the reason why you feel it more on the left side is because uh, the blood pumps more on the left side. For some people, it pumps on the right side. Fun fact. Let's go to the real hearts right here. Oh, whoa! Wait, are, is this a heart? This looks like something else to me. Are these testes? What are these? Chicken hearts. Chicken hearts? Okay, that's not bad. So these are the hearts of the chicken versus a real heart. So it can't be that bad. So here we go. I heart you. I love you. Ow. This tastes exactly like the gummy bunny I ate. Tastes like pina coladas. This represents my relationship with you. I heart you. <laughs> So that was definitely delicious. Uh, let's try chicken heart. I've never had heart before. Um, I remember my dad offered me a couple and I refused because I thought it was weird, but this goes out to you, dad. I know you're watching this. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. Nope. It tastes good at the beginning. After a while, it kind of tastes like liver. I'm, I'm not a big fan of liver. Actually, it's not bad. I can eat this. If I really have to eat it, I will eat it. If I'm stranded in an island and all they had were chicken hearts, I'll eat it because, you know, food is food. Food is good. I'm gonna dent in the, the taste a little bit with some gummy <laughs> heart. Mm. Okay, I'm a lot better. <laughs> this is Satan's blood. One dip of this sauce in your mouth, you die. And I look at what you want me to die? <coughs> <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Today we're gonna play a game called Would You Rather. I'm gonna be given two prompts, just like this one. Would you rather not be able to feel any pain or have extremely brittle bones? If I choose the least popular answer, huh, well, I have to take a dab of Satan's blood. For this case, it's probably this one. Have extremely brittle bones, 7%. That means I have to take it. But first, I don't wanna do this yet. Okay, first things first, I'm trying to procrastinate as much as possible because I really don't wanna do this video. So we're heading to the grocery store and I'm gonna show you a couple things to uh, help you with the spiciness. First things first, you need Pepto. This is a lifesaver. Next, you need some milk, some bananas. Citric acid helps a lot. I don't wanna do this video at all. Yeah! Hi, uh, can I get a chocolate, vanilla, strawberry milkshake? Can I get all three of them? Uh, Oreo? I'll take, yeah, sure, four. I'll do all of them. You just chilling? What a weird guy. You want a milkshake? Let's play this game. Question number one. Would you rather constantly stumble when walking or constantly stutter while speaking? That's a hard one, that's a hard one. Which one is the least popular one? I will probably say walking, because I feel like people would wanna mess up their walking than their speaking. Here we go. Three, two, one. Got it. Popular answer, so far so good. Woo! Question number two. If you were to bet your life savings on a single roulette spin, would you rather bet it on all black or bet it on all red? That's This is not good because this is pretty much 50-50. It just depends on the color that people want to choose. Would people pick black or people pick red? I feel like red is more appealing. That's why McDonald's logo is red. That's why Target logo is red. People strive towards that target. Is it red? Three, two, one. No! Oh! <laughs> What? Already? Oh my gosh! Oh! Hey, good thing is, at least this is red. Right, Satan? Is that what you wanted? Is that what you wanted? You want me to die? All right, so let's take a dab of this, and then we're gonna just continue to play the game, okay? Ooh, lights on, lights on. There you go. Just so you guys know, this is how much I'm taking. This will probably be enough to kill me, so let's do it. All right, let's keep going. <coughs> Would you rather sit on a cold toilet seat or sit on a warm toilet seat? Obviously, you don't want to sit on a warm one because other people's butts touched it right before your butt. So you want to sit on the cold one. I do cold. There you go. 52% out of 48. We're doing really good. Oh. 
I'm sweating. <laughs> Let's keep going, guys. Would you rather be a famous country singer or be a famous blues guitarist? Probably country singer. Famous country singer. Let's go. People would rather be the blues. You would rather be the blues guitarist? How come each question I get wrong involves a color? Next time there's a color, I'm gonna pick the answer with the color. Here we go. I'm not gonna lie to you right now. This is pretty bad. Look at me in the eyeball. <coughs> I'm crazy. Let's keep going, baby. Would you rather be fat and smell nice all the time or be fit and smell like sweat all the time? Ah! Hold on. This, that last time got me good. <laughs> ah! I don't know, I'd rather be fit, I guess. I'd rather be fit, let's go. See, there you go. 56%. I'm sorry, I gotta, I gotta go for a milkshake. <laughs> Just to let you know, I'm lactose intolerant. So that toilet seat is gonna be warm and it's gonna be explosion. Keep going, baby. You got nothing on me, Satan's blood. Would you rather live in Africa for a year or live in Antarctica for a year? Okay, first thing first, Antarctica, it's all glaciers. At least Africa, you got the safari, you got Egypt. I'm gonna say Africa. Africa is pretty cool, I've been there. Let's go, 64%, let's go. Ah! Would you rather live in a tree house or live in a floating boat house? I will live in a boat house. Tree house, it's very, you just stay there. Boat house it is! What? Are you kidding me? Who answered tree house? First of all, tree house is boring. At least when you're in a floating boat house, you get to travel the world, you know what I'm saying? 961,048 people who said treehouse. Y'all all messed up. You guys need to go out and find an adventure, okay? Three, two, one. Would you rather read romance or only textbooks? Textbooks are triggers. That's a trigger word. Textbook, education, school books. Please read chapter five of your textbook. Who wants to do that? Read some Romeo and Juliet. What the what? Y'all are messed up. Y'all rather go and read your science textbooks. Oh, look at me, photosynthesis. I'm a photosynthesis, my tokanda, yeah. I will read a textbook. Y'all are messed up. What's wrong with you? You're probably the same people who live in the treehouse. Y'all are killing me, bro. Dab number four, baby. This goes out to all the subscribers out there. Thank you for always supporting me and watching me enjoy this pain. I love you guys. Are you kidding me? Textbooks, come on guys. I hate this game. Okay. Mm. Would you rather? Wake up in a bathtub full of ice, missing a kidney, that's messed up. Or wake up in a public bathroom with a handful of singles and a really <clears throat> lazy eye. What's that even mean? I guess bathroom, because I don't want to be missing a kidney. 64%, so far so good. Would you rather have a personal chef or a personal masseuse, someone who massages you? In my opinion, I would have a chef, because that way you always want to eat healthy or whatever you want. Masseuse, I don't want anyone touching me all the time. I say chef, dude. That, that's so cool. Okay, good. You guys are great. You guys are great. Would you rather have all fingernails and all toenails be removed quickly? That's painful. Or would you rather have deep paper cuts on the webbing between each finger and each toe slowly? Fingernails and toenails. Are you the right answer? Boom. Yep, three in a row. Would you rather be credited with the invention of the wheel or be credited with the invention of the internet? The internet, it's more relevant. You know what I'm saying? Come on, we all use the internet. Like wheels, come on, anyone. Would you rather be known as a drug dealer or be known as a liar? El Chapo is a drug dealer. Pablo Escobar is also a drug dealer. They're pretty famous. 
These are pretty bad. These are two bad ones. Ah, this is hard. A drug dealer or a liar? I'd rather just be a liar, I guess. I don't know, I'm gonna pick a liar. I should have been a drug dealer. Why was I, I why am I not a drug dealer? Okay. I don't know how many, how many dabs of Satan's blood this is. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. I'm still gonna play, but I just wanna say I love you. <sighs> Would you rather control the emotions of those around you or control the weather? Oh, shoot. Mm, that's a good, that's a good would you rather. Well, in my case, if you wanna know my deductive reasoning, just move to a place with nice weather and then control people. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I say control emotions of those around you because if you want someone to feel a certain way, you do it. Weather, weather can, just, the weather is fine. That's what I'm saying. 52 to 48%, that's, a, that's a really close. Would you rather put a toothpick under each toenail and kick a wall or be scalped? Like someone just cuts your scalp. I'd rather be scalped. Before I go, I have a message for all you tree loving, textbook loving, toenail kicking drug dealers out there. What's wrong with you? Choose the correct things, use common sense. I feel like all the answers I picked were correct. This goes out to you. I love you. Have a good day. What's juicy, guavs? I know many of you are still looking for last minute holiday gifts, but I have the perfect solution for you. For all my fans based in the United States, some of my guava juice boxes are out now on Amazon Prime. So what are you waiting for? I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, make sure to go stop by the Amazon page and get your own guava juice box for the holidays. Link is in the description below. What the heck? Come on, y'all. Are these, oh my God! What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Chocolate Food versus Real Food. If you're not a subscriber already, click that subscribe button. I have some cool videos out for you guys every single day. <laughs> if you don't know how it works, I take chocolate foods and I get the real life version of it. I see what's good or not. Chocolate versus real. So today we have five rounds. Each round gets weirder and weirder. I don't know what's underneath the container. So I will be just as surprised as you. Here we go, round number one. Let's see what we got here today. Oh, look at that, that's so cool. We have chocolate bacon and eggs versus real eggs and bacon. Look at that, look at this. Dude, seriously, look how awesome this looks. Look at that bacon. Oh, it's crispy and crunchy. That's good. Mm, that's good. Wow, this tastes like hot chocolate. If you take hot chocolate from like, you know, your store or your grandma's house and consolidate it into a solid form, this is what the chocolate bacon tastes like. It's really good. It's really homey. Chocolate egg, here we go. Mmm, egg white. That's definitely white chocolate. All right, let's take a bite of the center with a yellow. Oh, this is really tough. I don't want to break my teeth. Hold on. Mm hmm That is definitely white chocolate as well. I guess they added a little bit of food coloring to make it yellow. That is a pretty, pretty good, delicious chocolate bacon and egg. But is it better than the regular bacon and egg? Let me know in the comments below. Do you say bacon and eggs or eggs and bacon? I want to know. Comment down below. Here we go. Let's try this real one, huh? Mmm. Oh, bruh. I love real bacon. Real bacon is delicious, dude. Bruh. You know what's also good? If you take your bacon and then you kind of like put it right here in the middle of the egg. Mm. No, you eat it. Wow. Bruh. Thank you for watching today's video of me eating. That's basically the whole video of me eating. <laughs> I heard bacon with chocolate's good, so why not bacon with chocolate bacon, right? <laughs> mm. Oh! Mama Sita, that was great! Wow! That's actually pretty good! Chocolate bacon with bacon! It's like salty, sweet, and chocolatey. I think we found the winner. Okay, for the first time ever, I'm gonna have to give it a tie. They are both equally amazingly delicious. Especially when you combine the two bacons together, it's just, ah! It's like mind blowing. Bruh. Round two, here we go. Drum roll, please. We have, What's that? Oh, it's a turkey! It's a chocolate turkey on a lollipop! <laughs> and 
And I guess we have a... Is it a chicken? I'm pretty sure turkey legs are bigger. Oh, it's a baby turkey? Oh, it's a baby turkey leg. Okay, I see, I see. I'm pretty sure I know what this is gonna taste like. It's gonna taste like regular milk chocolate, so here you go. Oh, that's, that's easy to wipe. Mmm, kind of tastes like raisins. There are some raisins in here. Are there some raisins in here? Oh, look at the turkey now. It looks like an owl. I made the turkey into an owl. <laughs> that was delicious as always. I like chocolate. Baby turkey leg. Here we go. Okay, the winner is the baby turkey leg. <laughs> this is good! What does it taste like together? Here we go. Mm. Mm. I feel like if you take anything salty and combine it with chocolate, it's not bad. Like pretzels and chocolate, they work together because it's salty and chocolate, right? All right, guys, round number three, what we got here? <laughs> well, obviously, we got some kind of plant. Some stuff is sticking out, so I'm gonna guess it's either a sunflower, rainbow, two to the left, four to the right. <laughs> either a sunflower or a rose, so I'm gonna say it's a rose. I gotcha, got him. I'm the master detective of the clue making. <laughs> Breathe, sunflower, rainbow. You guys know the reference? And we have a real rose. Oh, wow! I've never eaten a rose before, but I have first times for everything, yeah? That is a really pretty rose, look at that. Here, I got, I got, I got a rose. Hey, shout out to Rose Ariel if you're watching this. This section goes out to you. Mama Rosita, this is for you too. The rose is not actually a pink rose, it's actually a brown rose. Oh, this is really nice! Oh. No! That's not good. Okay, let's just pretend it's there. Oh, look at that rose. It's a chocolate rose. Ah. Okay. All right. It's uh, very hollow inside, so there's nothing really. It doesn't even taste good. What kind of chocolate is that? It tastes weird. It tastes like poop. If you take poop and then convert it into chocolate, that tried so hard to be chocolate, but it ended up tasting like poop anyway, so. Boo. Here we go. This is my favorite part. Oh, look at that. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it tastes pretty. <laughs> oh, really good. It's kind of like an opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. It's purple. Why is it purple? I don't understand. I'm dying. I thought roses are red. And then violets are blue. But my saliva is blue. So make sure to subscribe to this channel and tell your friends too. <laughs> How are you guys feeling? You guys okay? Johnny, you good? All right, all right. Yay, Timothy, I'm not grossing you out or anything, right? <laughs> all right, round number four, okay, you ready? Here we go, round number four. Ooh, uh, we have pickle, it's a pickle. Is it a pickle? I'm pretty sure it's a pickle, unless it's like a kiwi. All right, here we go. It is a pickle! This pickle is bigger than this pickle! Wow, that's amazing. It's a really heavy pickle. It's about like five pounds, like 2.5 kilograms. Pretty sure I can break this plate. Oh, this plate is very sturdy, so it's not that heavy. Let's do it again from a higher thing. All right, yeah, this thing is really, really sturdy. All right, let's... Uh, mm -hmm. Wow, I was expecting the plate to break the first time, so here we go, here's a higher angle. All right, plate, what you got on this one? Oh yeah, you can't. Yeah, that's right, Blake. One. Oh yeah. Bruh. That's what I thought. You should have broke the first time. We wouldn't have to stand on top of the table and do that. All right. Anyways, we have the chocolate pickle. It's really hard, as you can see. It broke the plate after three tries. Wow, it's a really cool musical instrument as well. Uh, uh. Ah. Bruh. Let's try it out. Ready? Look at my bite. That's a really thick pickle. It smells like a pickle. Okay, that's weird. That's the weirdest chocolate I have ever tasted. It tastes like a pickle and chocolate. Like, I'm not even lying. It tastes like a pickle and chocolate infused into one solid pickle chocolate. Kind of tastes like the smell of walking into a pet store and you walk by like, you know, the snake sections and like the, the ferret section. It's like that. Well, we have Pickle Rick. Pickle Rick. I'm Pickle Rick. Here we go. I don't know, man. I'm not really a big fan of pickles. I like cucumbers, though. Do you know pickles are just cucumbers? And they're just pickled? <laughs> it's just like a bad experience. Back in the sixth grade, I ate a pickle and I had the poops for like a week. And I was triggered ever since then. So I'm gonna have to give the winner to the chocolate pickle. 
guys, the final round. All right, this is the weirdest round of all. Um, I'm gonna make some quick guesses. Is that it? Tongue? There's no chocolate tongue, is there? It might be tongue, seafood animal, or whatever. All right, here we go. What you guys got? What you guys got? What do you guys buy me? Huh? What do you guys get me? Three, two, one. Okay, it's a frog. I can do this. I've eaten frog legs. Oh, look at that. Look, it's like a crunch bar. It has little like rice particles or whatever. That's pretty dope. Oh, it tastes like a crunch bar. It's like really crispy. All right, so let's try out some frog legs. Oh my God, is that a real frog? Bruh. Why'd you guys get a real frog? What the heck? Come on, y'all. Are these, oh my God, it jumped. Wait, 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 wait. I was not expecting this. Why didn't you guys just give me a frog leg? Bruh. Oh my gosh, look at him. He's flying. Dang, he is like a Spider-Man. Someone should make Frogman. <laughs> oh my gosh. I did not expect this at all. Come on, Mr. Froggy. There you go. There you go. He's a good boy, right? Good boy. Oh my gosh, it's moving. Bruh. I mean, if it's, oh my goodness, you are crazy. I wish I could jump from that high and live. Come on. Ah! <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I, I know your intentions. You want to go inside my stomach and possess me. I know. That's what you frogs do. You can't. Oh my god. Bruh. Oh my gosh. This frog is going to jump off of the second floor. No, 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 no. No. I'm not going to die right now. I don't want to. What's up, YouTube? Today, we're going to be attempting to make the sourest of sourest of sourest of drinks. Let's do this. Okay, so right here in this table, we have a big, huge array of sour foods, ranging from sour gummy worms, to warheads, to smog balls, to more warheads, to more sour gummy worms, some more warheads, some sour Skittles, lemon and lime, cause you know they're sour. More sour stuff here, crybabies. We got some super lemons, Airhead Extreme, and then the father of all sour of everything, the almighty malic acid. This alone is already extremely sour, but can we make a sour drink that tastes extremely sour but delicious at the same time can we do that i think we can we just gotta pour everything and then we're gonna see if it tastes good comment down below which of these candies are your favorites mine is this sour skittles every time i go to a road trip or on a road trip i always have this delicious you want some here you go just kidding i'll take that back <laughs> nice and we're gonna put some of these smog balls in here i've never had a smog ball but Mmm, wow, that's delicious. You wanna try some? That's good, right? So I'm gonna put some of this here. Apparently sour gummy worms, they have their own little packet where you can make it as sour as you prefer. What they have is an unsour gummy worm. And you kind of just dip it into this thing and then make it as sour as you want it, basically. Wow, all right, we're just gonna use the sour part. There you go. This is the most delicious video ever, man. Next up, we're gonna add some sour Laffy Taffy. I don't really like Laffy Taffy, to be honest. I'm just gonna put a little bit there. Uh-huh. I don't understand Laffy Taffy at all. Next up, we have some sour high chews. Starburst of Asia. Oh, they have a lemon flavored? Wow, that's already super sour, and then you're adding a lemon flavor that's already super sour. Also, there you go. Wow, grapefruit flavor? Mmm, I'll eat that. Ooh, that's sour. <laughs> All right, so far, here's the update. We have a little bit of stuff in here. Look at that, it looks nice, right? Let's go add some more. Next up, we have some Warhead Worms. There you go. And then one for me. All right, this one's okay. We got some sour jelly beans. Ooh. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Cry baby sour mini drinks. There you go. Just pull it out here. Ooh, look at that one. We have the green one. We have the blue one. We have the yellow one. Those are all sour. Check this out. You break it open like this, and then there's this gooey liquid stuff that just comes out. What? Wait, can you eat the... I don't think you can eat that part. What? I don't want to blend it, but I'm, I'm going to start pouring all this here. Wow. Ooh. What? And then here's my favorite, the sour gummy worms. These are just quality gummy worms I can eat every single day. So here we go. Wow. Yes. Some of these sour candies I've never heard of in my life, like this one. Sour dipping pucker packs. Comes with a stick. Put a little bit of your saliva in there. Dip it in here. Look at that. Oh, reminds me of my childhood. All right, but we don't need that. We just need this packet. We have some green apple flavor. Look at that. That is so Great. This is gonna be the most delicious, most sourest drink ever. And we have the almighty Warheads Extreme Sour Candy that you guys all probably know. Comes in these little bag things. Here, and then pour that in here. 
Oh, uh, that's sour. Oh. Uh, next up, we have the Warheads Chewy Cubes. I know, guys. So this might be a little overwhelming to see all this sour stuff into one thing, but we can get through this. And one right here. Ow. Delicious. There we go. This is a giant battleship here. This is the Sour Patch Kids. There you go. Mm -hmm. Starburst gummies, sour gummies. I would recommend it. <laughs> Next is the Super Lemon. Uh, it's in Japanese. Here we go, Super Lemon. But first, let me try what this thing is. I've never had this in my life. Here we go. It comes in this little ball thing. Ow. Oh, they're good. Tastes like a lemon. Literally a lemon in candy form. And we got some crybaby tears. There you go. I prefer this better than uh, Warheads. It's just more flavor. Ooh, dude, sour candy is so bad for your teeth, though. Don't eat too much sour candy, or else you're gonna be like toothless. All right, here we go. Next up, we have the Airhead Extreme. These are actually pretty good. I would prefer this. Woo! This is like the most colorfulest little drink or pre drink. Ah! Next up, we have the spray version of the Warheads. Spray it into your mouth. Mmm. Now we're just gonna spray it in. And then we have more liquid drops from Warheads. Dude, Warheads, you guys are killing it with your sour stuff. Woo! Wow, look at that. Some more Warhead minis. And just a little bit of sweet tarts just to add a little bit of sweetness to this. And then some more spray. Let's spray this thing some more. Next up, we're gonna add some malic acid. This is the source of all sourness. Last but not least, we have lemons and limes here. So uh, let me just uh, chop up some lemons for you. Nice. Ah. And there you go. Now just close this lid, blend it up, and we're gonna see what it tastes like. <laughs> Definitely looks extremely sour. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water so this thing can spin it and blend it really smoothly. This thing is stubborn. There's just so many hard candies in here. Uh-oh! All right, I think I have officially broke the blender here. Yep, it's officially broken. All right, here we go. This is the sourest of sourest right here. Ooh! Oh, that is gross! It looks extremely sour. It has like the, the color and the everything that's sour. Ooh, there's a worm in there. The sourest drink in the whole entire world in my hands. Cheers. Wow! I think it's sour because of this thing. I put so much malic acid. The instant it went to my mouth, it felt like my teeth were deteriorating. Yo! I can't even like keep it in my mouth. My body's reaction to it is just like, yo, spit that out right now or your teeth are going to deteriorate. Deteriorate. What's the word? Deteriorate. Here, you'll get one. Give it a shot. Sour, huh? That's sour. <coughs> I swallow some of it. It's like burning my throat. I'm not gonna die right now. I don't want to. Straight up just burning sensation just going down my throat. That was bad, man. That was so bad. If I die, that's why. Yo, like this drink made my whole entire teeth super dry. I definitely need to brush my teeth because here. You can like hear it, like squeak. That's not good. What happens when you eat a lot of sour stuff? Your teeth evaporates and they're gone. It's bad for your teeth. 